Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly- It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Weapons offline! Somebody get that fire out! Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. The Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Yeah, okay. Help me up. They're coming around for another attack.
Just another routine mission. Why do they always say that before a mission? Of course it's routine. You haven't done anything yet. It's everything that happens along the way. The choices you make, the paths you choose, that turn the routine into anything but. Of course, that's how it started. A routine mission, answering a distress call. And look where that got me. We were testing out the Normandy, Captain Anderson's new ship, when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. And whatever it was, it was massive. I hit the ground with my lieutenant, Caden Olenko. A good kid, loyal, by the book, with a talent for biotics. We came across the lone survivor of the patrol, Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams, a soldier to the core. Tough, disciplined, ready to take on whatever came her way. Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost her squad. That's when we saw it. The ship. Like nothing I'd ever seen. It was massive, scorching the colony and everything around it as it blasted away. We followed the path of destruction to an artifact, a beacon left by a long-dead race called the Protheans. The colony had dug it up, and whoever attacked them had tried to take it. Chief Williams made the mistake of getting too close. It hit her with some type of energy. I grabbed her and threw her out of the way. That's when it hit me. Hard. Every muscle in my body went rigid. I couldn't move, could barely breathe. Everything went black. And then I saw something. A vision, a dream, a nightmare. By the time I woke up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Anderson came along. So did Adina, our political representative on the Citadel. With those two heavyweights, it seemed reasonable we could persuade the Council that the ship we'd seen was a potential threat as was the individual behind the attacks. The main suspect for the Eden Prime Massacre was a Turian Spectre named Saren. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Eden Prime, and there was some evidence to suggest that the ship was connected to Saren. But even Adina's pointed accusations weren't enough to convince the Council. They just couldn't believe one of their chosen elite Spectres could be guilty of something like that. They needed proof, which meant I needed proof. Fortunately, I wasn't alone in my search. Garrus, another Turian, wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel security. Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved, he told me he was suspicious of Saren, and he had some useful leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. That led me to Rex, the biggest, nastiest looking Krogan bounty hunter I'd ever seen. He turned out to be more than just a brute. It was his intel that led to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Saren. The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarian named Tally. A tech expert with a knack for hacking, she'd procured some information on Saren. Evidence that proved Saren was dirty. Tally's evidence proved that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime, and that the immense warship we'd spotted was in fact Saren's flagship. But it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life. These Reapers were blamed for wiping out all life 50,000 years ago, including the Protheans, then disappearing back through the mass relays to dark space, leaving no trace they'd ever been. That explained why Saren was after the beacon, and it made some sense out of my visions, but not much else. We couldn't convince the Council that the Reapers were a threat, but they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. My first task? Bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving up his ship, the Normandy. He told me I would need it more than he would. He also pointed me in a direction. Liara, a Prothean expert, adept in biotics, and maybe most importantly, daughter of Benezia, Saren's top lieutenant. And like most Asari, as beautiful as she is intelligent, and born with a unique ability to meld with other species. Liara was able to help me decipher some of the vision the beacon had given me. Nothing concrete, but it gave me some clues. And a new appreciation for the Asari. Her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected, but not at all unpleasant. 
Ashley was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. I told Liara about how I felt. Apparently, she'd felt it too. But we agreed we wouldn't let it get in the way of our mission. Finding Saren. Thanks to Liara's help, we had our next lead. Benezia. Saren had taken her to Novaria, where he'd enslaved a dangerous race of insect-like creatures, the Rachni. He ordered Benezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract information from the Rachni Queen. The Queen's drones were everywhere, and they weren't happy. We had to fight through hundreds of them to get to Benezia. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone. With the information. I tried to reason with Benezia, but Saren had indoctrinated her. He had somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Benezia wouldn't surrender, and Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't doom an entire species for past sins. And the queen was true to her word. She left and took her army of drones with her. With Saren's top lieutenant dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermeer, but we soon learned it was more than a base of operations. It was a breeding ground. Saren was breeding an army of Krogan. He'd found a cure for the Genophage, a disease inflicted on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. But the Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves. Mindless beasts that obeyed Saren's will. I had to destroy the base, and all its research. Rex disagreed. Violently. Rex wanted the Genophage cure for his people. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, that these Krogan weren't real. But he wouldn't back down. Fortunately, Rex is smarter than he looks. He realized this wasn't the way to help his people, and that Saren was the real threat. When we finally got to the center of the base, I realized just how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication with the Reapers. Sovereign, Saren's flagship we'd all assumed was just a ship, was a Reaper. It spoke to me, threatened me. I could feel the menace it had for every living thing. It wanted me dead, it wanted us all dead. And I knew it was capable of doing just that. What I couldn't understand was why Saren would help it. But there was no time to think about it. Sovereign knew where we were. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split up my team in two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a distraction. We had a nuke, and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign. The Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control. Said he found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence, but he was kidding himself. Or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran. Leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried. But I wasn't fast enough. I could only save one of them. Caden was a good man, and a great soldier. But I had to choose, and I chose Ash. That was the last time Saren would slip away from me. I knew then, the next time we met, one of us would die. With my team mostly intact, we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long-lost planet that had once belonged to the Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship, against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. Liara saw through my words. She knew I was hurting after Caden's death. She could sense my doubts. We both knew this mission could be our last. Until that moment, we'd put our feelings aside for the sake of that mission. But why wait? We gave in to each other, and it was perfect while it lasted. We arrived on Ilos, close behind Saren. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean databank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago, and every 50,000 years before that, 
each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died, like every species before them. But a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays. By sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space, slowing the Reaper's return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and re-establish the relays to dark space, bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. We followed him to the Citadel. It was intact, but heavily damaged. He had caught the Council fleets by surprise and they were only now regrouping. And with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running, and I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Citadel fleets battled Saren's army outside, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower and confronted him. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension, and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our Human Alliance fleet in jeopardy. The Council had to be saved. They represented the hearts and minds of the Galactic Community. Without them, the fleets would be in disarray. Even with the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated, and the Normandy leading the combined galactic fleet. The battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left for me to decide. On the one hand, Udina, the lifetime politician. Ruthless and ambitious, he would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be put in front of him. The other choice, Captain Anderson, the career soldier. Tough but fair, but a friend and someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. Anderson didn't want the job, which was a sure sign he'd be perfect for it. No ambition to get in the way. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the Council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council would only say I was assigned to cleanup duty, rooting out any remnants of Saren's army. Just another routine mission. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. surroundings. My God, Miranda, I think he's waking up. Damn it, Wilson, he's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. 
Brain activity is off the charts. Stats pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dog. Now. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from... Damn it! Those canisters by the door are going to blow. Get behind cover now. Keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Someone's hacking security trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mechs off. still a work in progress. I just woke up. You probably know more than I do. Right, sorry about that. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. It's your station, Jacob. I'll follow you. First step, let's finish off these metal bastards. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit him with the good stuff. this station what's the quickest way to those shuttles depends where the mechs are thickest it's probably best if we check check anyone on this frequency anybody still alive out there hello Wilson this is Jacob I'm here with commander Shepard just took out a wave of mechs over in D-wing Shepard's alive how the hell never mind you need to get him out of there get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. Let's get out of here. You bet. We can get into the service tunnels through this door. Shepard, down here! Bastards got me in a leg! You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. We talk about this after we fix my leg. 
Should be some Metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the Metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot! How do you explain that? You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe, then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Then why did you wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few... We can overload the canisters to... Get out of here. Okay, we took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Saren. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. But there's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Elusive man. Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kind of stuck. I don't care what they did or what you say. I'm not working with terrorists. You can tell it to the boss. But after we've saved our butts, we're almost at the shuttle. Come on. Through here. We're almost at the... Miranda, but you were... Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learnt that by now, Jacob. You should have taken him alive. See what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. If you say so. What's our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the Commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. 
The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a spacer kid. Raised mostly on one ship or another. You enlisted and won a medal fighting Batarians during the Skillian Blitz. Do you remember that? A lot of lives depended on me holding that position. I did what I had to. However you want to put it, it was damn impressive. I had friends who were there. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility, you had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. <laughs> Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. You might be the reason I'm still alive, but that doesn't mean I trust you. You need to put your personal feelings aside. Humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memories still intact. How are you feeling? You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the same side. We just have different methods. Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers just as Saren and the Geth ate its Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. 
I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Is this a volunteer job or am I being volunteered? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? You're a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. That's why I'm here now. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. You said you served in the Alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent Starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard, is that... you're alive? Remember when I gave you that Geth data tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Fraza, weapons down. This is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old commander working for Cerberus? I don't know. Maybe we should ask. I nearly died, Tally. Cerberus spent two years rebuilding me. They want me to investigate attacks on human colonies. Likely story. No organization would commit so many resources to bring back one soldier. You haven't seen Shepard in action, Praza. Trust me, it was money well spent. Perhaps we can work together. We're here looking for a young Quarian named Vitor. He was here on pilgrimage. Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his Sutsio 2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. 
Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. I did want to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. Well take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Lady, those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Target locked. Swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Human, where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters, the swarms. They took everyone. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. I thought the collectors kept it themselves. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seekers swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away, but they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. 
I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and merc groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the Collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Miranda and Jacob aren't enough? How many do you need to keep me in check? I've made it clear to Miranda and Jacob that you're in charge. You decide who joins your squad. Everyone else on this list was chosen specifically for this mission. They're the best. I'll do the best I can with what you've given me. I'm sure you will. Before you go, two things. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. 
I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. All right. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. They only told me last night. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. Welcome aboard the New Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Salarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Welcome aboard, Commander. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, 
It's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Joker would like to speak to you on the bridge. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests, advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the Elusive Man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now that's an enticing thought. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats! Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. It's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I died. Yeah, you were such a downer. Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising. Even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, 
And we have much larger concerns ahead. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Chef surprise again? Come on, Rupert. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? You have everything you need. I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those namby-pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays, the... Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Carry on. Will do, Commander. Welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Aria wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Cut the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Aria for keeping an eye on you. Afterlife, now. Please, you have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. I assume you've been briefed. I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know.
My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. I said, <laughs> shut it. Tried to leave me on a chase all over the systems. You should have known better. These people always run to Omega. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. No. I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. Good thing I asked. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Elfell Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. That's close enough. Stand still. If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. Can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> But you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Don't fuck with Arya. I like it. Easy to remember. If you forget, someone will remind you. And then I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock. So, what can I do for you? I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. Just the kind of guy I'm looking for. Really? Well, aren't you interesting? You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help them. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the mercs realize you're here to help him. I'm looking for Morton Solis. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? 
Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Salarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. Thanks for the information. Yes. Just try not to bring the plague back with you. I hear you're recruiting. Mm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? You three look like you could do some damage. Looking for a good fight? You could say that. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Sun's Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. So does Archangel. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol and I want to use Get your money back. Hey, what are you... Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. Is that you? I, I heard you were dead. I'm Helena Blake. We met a few years ago. I don't expect you to remember. You removed two criminal warlords from power and persuaded me to retire. I'll never forget it. What brings you to Omega? What brings anyone to Omega? Opportunity, success, failure, all of the above. I find this place suits me. I can bring it a certain air of civility, I suppose. What brings you to Omega? What brings anyone to Omega? Opportunity, success, failure, all of the above? I find this place suits me. I can bring it a certain air of civility, I suppose. And now you're on Omega. One's a criminal, always a criminal, eh? Oh no, Commander. I retired. I know better than to go back on my word with you. You convinced me to turn my life around. I'm a social worker now, believe it or not. That seems like a hopeless job in a place like this. Quite the opposite, actually. This place needs it more than most. Doing the good work in a place like this requires that one understand how things truly work, which makes me uniquely qualified. That's more noble than I expected. Noble? No. It's just that someone came along a few years ago and made me see the error of my ways. You convinced me that I could use my contacts and skills for things other than smuggling and exploitation. I thank you for that. Well, I'm glad to hear you're keeping out of trouble. Thank you. This is all to your credit, Commander. I have to go. Of course. You must have more important things to do. Complaining is pointless, you. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. There's a Solarian named Morton Solus in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, crazy bastard opened the clinic in the district a few months ago. The 
Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Listen, you're stuck here until this quarantine is over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. Fortunately, humans are immune to the plague. Human. Should have guessed. <coughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you have the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> anything I can do for you. Get away from me, human. <coughs> Your kind has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. Your faint pity is the final insult. I need to find Morton Solus. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <coughs> I hope the Vorcher burned Morton and his clinic to the ground. <coughs> I hope you... <coughs> I hope... <coughs> Damn it. Damn you. Hey, Damn stay you. with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. Uh, uh, oh, you... you helped me. Why? It's what I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your words sound... sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? What do you wish to know? When I find Morton, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. My time is running short. But at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. I don't want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morton is, I will risk it if he can reach me. I need to find Morton Solis. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. When I find Morton, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. My time is running short, but at least you have given me a flicker of hope. To brighten the darkness of my final hours. I don't want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morton is, I will risk it if he can reach me. I should go. Goodbye, human. Professor Morton Solis? Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else? Vorcha? Crew to clean them out? Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible uses by a weapon. No, no, no. Too many guns, not enough data, equipment. Soldiers, not scientists. Yes, yes. Hired guns, maybe. Relax, maybe. Morton. I'm Commander Shepard, and I came here to find you. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? Ever heard of an organization called Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Salarian aid? I'm on a mission to shut down the Collectors, and I need your help. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop Plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. I'll get in and deal with the Vorcha. What the hell was that? 
Fortune have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take Plague Cure. Also, bonus in good faith, weapon from Dead Blue Sun's marks. May come in handy against Fortune. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Fortune territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future, I hope. I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm, risky. Blue Sun's Forge is still battling. District not secure. See what I can do. Let's head for the environmental plant. Wait, I'm telling you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your... Look out! Don't move. One more step and we kill your friend. I know you're scared of the Vorcha. The plague. But this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. He's right. It doesn't make any sense. If we release the prisoner, we can go. You have my word on it. Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Thank you. I thought they were gonna... gonna kill me. Did Morden send you to find me? The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Thanks again. I owe you... Well, everything. Then hit the fans. Ah, you don't come here. We shut down machines, break fans. Everyone choke and die. Then collectors make us strong. What do the collectors want? Collectors want plague! You work for doctor! Turn on machines! Put cure in air! We kill you first! Ah! We've been spotted! You're done! This will put them down! Locked in. Once we get the fans going, we should be good. Gravity's one mean mother, huh? I have located the fan controls. There are two, one on either side of the room you're in now. Target down! Engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping, patients improving, Vorcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you from me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said.
Good kid, a bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Vorja are gone. We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. We're heading out. See you on the Normandy. It's about time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? Just tell us where to go. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground, but he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. You guys have a plan? A small team is waiting to infiltrate his hideout, but we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in? Exactly. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. Sounds a bit like a suicide mission. Pretty much, but you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. I better go find Sergeant Kathka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. Getting in, simple enough. Getting out, problematic. Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. Shepard, I've scanned the area, but I am unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. Archangel by surprise. Do you need something? You lead the Eclipse? You figure that out by yourself? I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, Freelancer? So the infiltration team is the main focus of the attack? Tarek's plan, not mine. He doesn't want to lose any more men, so he's throwing you Freelancers at the problem. Archangel's not going anywhere, so I suppose there's no harm in trying. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Since you care so much, Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the ESO moving. Sounds very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. Seems like this is personal for you. He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. One of them was my brother, so yes, it's pretty damn personal. What do you know about Archangel? His life expectancy is shortening quickly. Is that it? Nobody seems to know anything about him. Look around, you'll learn what you need to know. He's smart, he's resourceful, and he's dangerous. But we've got him cornered. He won't be making fools of us much longer. Can I assist you further? Where did he come from? Who is he? Even his team didn't know that. Maybe we'll know more once we have his body. Of course, it really won't matter then. I'll get going. Good idea. That should slow him down. Perfect. It'll be hostile if they activate it. You're in the wrong place, Freelancer. You the Blood Pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you Freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. When did the Blood Pack attack? Damn Tarek wants us to wait. I hate waiting. But he says the Suns have a plan, and they don't want us getting in their way. Huh. We're supposed to wait until the Eclipse send their mechs. We'll see. Why are the Blood Pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. 
You need protection or want someone removed, talk to us. The Blood Pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us and everybody hates us. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks. But he's costing me men and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one-on-one. -on -one. What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, which makes him slightly worse to look at than you. And he's brave, till he realizes you're more than he bargained for. Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once, waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life, but I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him, but the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. I should get going. About time. Get this freelancer out of here! I don't have time for this shit! I just have a few questions about the operation. Jenta, get this scum out of my face! Over here. The next wave's going soon. Shouldn't you be outside getting ready? Why is he so pissed off? He's not a big fan of you freelancers. Doesn't trust people he doesn't know. Hates having to bring in outsiders. What do you want to know? What's Derek gonna do if the infiltration team fails? To start, he'll shoot any freelancers that are still alive. After that, he'll let Eclipse and the Blood Pack take their shots. I suggested we work together, but he doesn't trust the other groups. What if Archangel survives all the attacks? Then you sons are on your own. That's why Tarek wants that gunship fixed so badly. But it won't come to that. Archangel's good, but he can't hold out that long. He's already been in there over a day. What do the Blue Suns do on Omega? We supply goods to a lot of the groups and factions here. Goods? Weapons, mechs, machinery, you name it, we can get it. We also broker deals between factions. You wouldn't know it to look at him now, but Tarek can be quite a negotiator. How did Archangel get the Blue Suns so mad at him? He harasses and hounds us constantly. We worry that every job is a trap now. Does he know where this meeting is? Will this shipment suddenly disappear? How many men will we lose this time? Tarek's had enough. I don't blame him. What do you know about Archangel? He's a Turian vigilante who thinks killing mercs is a fun way to pass the time. Other than that, he's a mystery. He shows up, usually at the worst possible time, and screws with our work. He can't die soon enough, if you ask me. Why do you hate him so much? He went after Tarek. At his home. Almost got him. Tarek's been on edge ever since, and he's making my life a living hell. Second guesses every damn thing I do. Getting the other Merc bands to help us shows you just how desperate he is. They're as bad as Archangel. We better get going. Good idea. Make sure you check in with Kafka. Damn it. Kong's blood pack better wait for my screen. Kafka? Sergeant Kafka. Must be the group Salki mentioned. You're just in time. Salki? You met him when you were dropped off. He radioed to say you were coming. You three kinda stand out from most of the other freelancers. Anyway, the infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. Are you gonna give us cover with the gunship? Huh. Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. 
That bastard Archangel gave her a beating last time she was out there. A few more tweaks, she'll be as good as new. Why are you coordinating the attack and fixing gunships? I'm in the infiltration group. Our team coordinates with the gunship. I'm staying back to organize the freelancers and make sure the gunship's ready to go if we need her. So our plan is to jump the wall and head for Archangel's building? And try not to get killed too fast. You're only a distraction, as long as you're alive. You don't have to make it all the way across. Just keep Archangel watching that bridge. The infiltration team will do the rest. How will the infiltration team get to Archangel? They've got two options. They trap them in close quarters and finish the bastard off face to face. If that doesn't work, they have explosives. They'll just need time to set up. So the bridge is the only way in? Until the gunship's working again or the blasters finish with the tunnels. Look, we got a plan. We don't need you trying to come up with any great ideas. Just do your damn job, collect your credits, and go home. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of- Target is in sight, where a go? Check. Bravo team, go, go, go! Archangel's got quite a surprise waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. You're working too hard. <laughs> Archangel is in trouble. Not much time. Well, let's not wait around too long. Come on, we'll give these guys a surprise of our own. Enemies in front! I'm going in. Archangel? Shepard, I thought you were dead. Garrus, what are you doing here? Just keeping my skill sharp. A little target practice. You okay? Been better, but it sure is good to see a friendly face. Killing mercs is hard work, especially on my own. Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for... All my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please. It's uh, <clears throat> just Garrus to you. How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. Figured I could do more good on my own. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. All I have to do is point my gun and shoot. Well, we got here. But I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. So we just sit here and wait for them to take us out? It's not all that bad. This place has held them off so far. And, with three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. How'd you let yourself get into this position? My feelings got in the way of my better judgment. It's a long story. I'll make you a deal. You get me out of here alive, and I'll tell you the whole damn thing. If we fight as a team, we'll hold them off. You're right. Their numbers won't help them in here anyway. 
Let's see what they're up to. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. More than scouts. One less now, though. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You... You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's give them... You want something done properly. All right, let's see how you handle this, Archangel. Kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me. And we got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. Why were you after him? He's been shipping tainted Ezo all over Citadel space. Half the goods I seized back at CSEC came from his team here on Omega. I took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process. Not surprised he decided to work with the other mercs after that. We've still got Blood Pack and Blue Suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They've reinforced the other side heavily, but they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? What the hell was that? Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. Let's split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? Morton, stay with Garrus. Keep him safe. We'll do what I can. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. We're on our way. Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck. I'm going to need some help. Get back here, Shepard. They're coming in through the doors. 
Rip them to shreds! Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang, to help him. I still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his Vorcha showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. tarek has got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. Heads up! Damn it! I thought I took that thing out already. They fixed it, but not completely. I made sure of that. I'm offloading troops. Watch your back. Incoming.
to boring incineration tech. He's in bad shape. We need to get him out of here. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. You're very well informed. Solarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once, retired now, still hear things. Informed of name only, no knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. Don't kid yourself, Professor. Humans still come first in the elusive man's eyes. But this mission is too big for them to handle alone. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No. Spreads too slow. Airborne virus? No. Slower than gas. Drugged water supply? No. Effects not simultaneous. Intriguing. Fascinating. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? This ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify, neutralize technology, need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard. <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Ah, uh, probably for the best. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot at it. Frankly, I'm more worried about you, Cerberus, Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Hmm. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. 
Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I like to know my crew. Forget procedure. Tell me about yourself. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, but I got swept under the rug too. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. What led you to Cerberus? The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. You don't seem like a results at all costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. What was your proudest career moment? The job I'm proudest of wasn't for the Alliance. Nobody really knows about it. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the Council. Miranda and I stopped it. Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. You look like you came through no worse for wear. If nothing else, the Alliance trains their people well. Once you live that life, you can't sit around getting fat. You know how it goes. Although I bet Cerberus puts you back together better than ever. Get any upgrades? I'm glad enough they restored me to stock. Couldn't hurt to keep some spare parts handy, though. I hear that. Your job isn't getting any safer. You know, I used to wonder what the big deal with you was. But now that we're in deep, I'm glad it's not me in the spotlight. There's no hiding, Jacob. Not for any of us. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. Your boat, your call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. Relax, Jacob. I'm just interested in what makes you tick. Anyone else said that, I'd walk away. Most Cerberus people try to play like the elusive man, hiding bullshit behind a smile. But you? I like what I've seen. I'll give you a shot. What do you want to know? Anyone waiting for you back home? Only child and no extended family. Never settled down. Didn't seem fair with this job. But you can't miss what you never had. You seem okay with taking a risk on me. Why? Soldiers like us know how important trust is to the crew. I'm not used to seeing it on a Cerberus ship. Definitely not from people they put in command. But you focus on more than the job. A threat this big, you can't just throw people at it blind. They need inspiration. There's a lot riding on this, but we can't give up everything. Not always a choice we get to make. Good to try, though. I gave it my best back in the Alliance. Got labeled a troublemaker. They were always on the lookout for disruptive types. Cerberus isn't any better. They just put more effort into hiding how much they spy on you. Let them watch. We're not hiding anything. Wouldn't matter if we were. It's not like they can reel us in. We're handling this, whether they like it or not. Anyway, I should get back to prep. Nice talking to you, Shepard. Let's do it again sometime. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the Elusive Man. 
And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture, and I feel like I have a purpose here. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Who exactly is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus, before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. <sighs> How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and, well, it's pretty impressive, really. 
Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe, but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father... created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture, and I feel like I have a purpose here. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Who exactly is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus, before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. <sighs> How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular, very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. You said you were in the Special Tasks Group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. 
I worked with an SDG captain named Kirahi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan Rebellion's bloody. Dangerous. Nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth. Political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked. Population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions. Needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon. Nothing to worry about. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Salarian science team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate. Stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. What was the special task group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. Maybe they were just having a lucky year. Or a fewer mercs left, meaning more Krogan were left to repopulate. Please, Shepard. Social environmental concerns accounted for. Not an undergraduate. Population spike caused by adaptation to genophage. No other possibility. The genophage was a terrible mistake. It nearly destroyed the Krogan and their culture. Now they have a chance to recover. Naive viewpoint. Krogan too dangerous to allow unchecked birth rate. Look at Krogan rebellions. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of genophage. Released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy, Krogan included. If the Krogan are so dangerous, why not just sterilize them outright? Not a war criminal, not a murderer, genocide, unnecessary. Krogan as a whole, violent, aggressive, still have outliers worth saving. Genophage modification protected galaxy, allowed Krogan chance to survive. Everyone wins. Good for us, good for them. How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians on Tuchanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. Messy. Better when things went as planned. How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. The genophage was a mistake bordering on a war crime. Recreating it is unforgivable. Don't want me on team? Don't bring me. Can stay here. Work on collector research. But no apologies.
did what was right. Hope you do the same if necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What did your Merc squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I went back to CSEC after the Normandy was destroyed, but with all the rebuilding at the Citadel, there was too much chaos for me to really help. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch, and there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in, someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. There were twelve of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidomis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him, and because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sedonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Are you sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sedonis out first? No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Do you know where Sedonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. How may I help you, Commander? I have a present for you, Doc. Ceres Ice Brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle. 
when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. <laughs> I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often, they die. And if I can help them, they move on. Either way, they leave. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff, Joko will always have Rolick Syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish it weren't, but sadly, it's true. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or, hell, maybe it's you, Shepard. Our removable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? To Jenkins, to Presley, and to Alenko. May they never be forgotten. Commander, I very much enjoyed sharing that ice brandy with you. But I hope I wasn't too unprofessional. Brandy goes straight to my head. It's nice to see you let your hair down. Guess I hadn't realized how much those feelings needed airing. But I didn't give you much of a chance to vent. So tell me now. What do you think? Everyone's depending on us. We won't let them down. They just don't make them like you anymore, Shepard. Well, promise me we'll share a bottle every year. The next one is on me. The new armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profiles. But engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. I love it when you talk dirty. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The Commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. My Skellion 5's a bit rusty. You'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. Be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. It's so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me up my own game. You're all right, Shepard. Earlier when we spoke, you were very open with me. I like that. But I hope I didn't come across as too flirty. I don't want to overstep my bounds. You're very charming, Kelly. Thank you. The feeling is mutual. Anyway, how may I help you? How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's been through a lot. And not just physically. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. I've been through a lot too, Kelly. Some of your therapy sounds perfect right now. Someday we'll have to set aside some time and really talk. Anything else, Commander?
How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's been through a lot, and not just physically. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. I've been through a lot too, Kelly. Some of your therapy sounds perfect right now. Someday we'll have to set aside some time and really talk. Anything else, Commander? Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. You're very well informed. Solarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once, retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only, no knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. Don't kid yourself, Professor. Humans still come first in the elusive man's eyes. But this mission is too big for them to handle alone. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No. Spreads too slow. Airborne virus? No. Slower than gas. Drugged water supply? No. Effects not simultaneous. Intriguing. Fascinating. You don't have to sit there and guess. We've collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask, is that an AI? This ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify, neutralize technology, need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Ah, uh, probably for the best. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot at it. Frankly, I'm more worried about you, Cerberus Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Hmm. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Commander. There hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Can I 
help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I like to know my crew. Forget procedure. Tell me about yourself. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, but I got swept under the rug too. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. What led you to Cerberus? The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. You don't seem like a results at all costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. What was your proudest career moment? The job I'm proudest of wasn't for the Alliance. Nobody really knows about it. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the Council. Miranda and I stopped it. Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. You look like you came through no worse for wear. If nothing else, the Alliance trains their people well. Once you live that life, you can't sit around getting fat. You know how it goes. Although I bet Cerberus puts you back together better than ever. Get any upgrades? I'm glad enough they restored me to stock. Couldn't hurt to keep some spare parts handy, though. I hear that. Your job isn't getting any safer. You know, I used to wonder what the big deal with you was. But now that we're in deep, I'm glad it's not me in the spotlight. There's no hiding, Jacob. Not for any of us. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. Your boat, your call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. Relax, Jacob. I'm just interested in what makes you tick. Anyone else said that, I'd walk away. Most Cerberus people try to play like the elusive man, hiding bullshit behind a smile. But you? I like what I've seen. I'll give you a shot. What do you want to know? Anyone waiting for you back home? Only child and no extended family. Never settled down. Didn't seem fair with this job. But you can't miss what you never had. You seem okay with taking a risk on me. Why? Soldiers like us know how important trust is to the crew. I'm not used to seeing it on a Cerberus ship. Definitely not from people they put in command. But you focus on more than the job. A threat this big, you can't just throw people at it blind. They need inspiration. There's a lot riding on this, but we can't give up everything. Not always a choice we get to make. Good to try, though. I gave it my best back in the Alliance. Got labeled a troublemaker. They were always on the lookout for disruptive types. Cerberus isn't any better. They just put more effort into hiding how much they spy on you. Let them watch. We're not hiding anything. Wouldn't matter if we were. It's not like they can reel us in. We're handling this, whether they like it or not. Anyway, I should get back to prep. Nice talking to you, Shepard. Let's do it again sometime. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father... created me. 
He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Who exactly is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus, before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. 
Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father... created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Who exactly is your father? A businessman. But a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus. Before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular, very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. You said you were in the Special Tasks Group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I worked with an SDG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. 
personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado, jargon, chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan Rebellion's bloody, dangerous, nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth, political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked, population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions, needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon, nothing to worry about. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team, deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago, affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate, stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, we'd like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. What was the special task group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term, no. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. Maybe they were just having a lucky year. Or fewer mercs left, meaning more Krogan were left to repopulate. Please, Shepard. Social environmental concerns accounted for. Not an undergraduate. Population spike caused by adaptation to genophage. No other possibility. The genophage was a terrible mistake. It nearly destroyed the Krogan and their culture. Now they have a chance to recover. Naive viewpoint. Krogan too dangerous to allow unchecked birth rate. Look at Krogan rebellions. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of genophage. Released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy, Krogan included. If the Krogan are so dangerous, why not just sterilize them outright? Not a war criminal, not a murderer, genocide, unnecessary. Krogan as a whole, violent, aggressive, still have outliers worth saving. Genophage modification protected galaxy, allowed Krogan chance to survive. Everyone wins. Good for us, good for them. How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians on Tuchanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. Messy. Better when things went as planned. How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. The genophage was a mistake bordering on a war crime. Recreating it is unforgivable. Don't want me on team? Don't bring me. Can stay here, work on collector research. But no apologies. Did what was right. Hope you do the same if necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. 
Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What did your Merc squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I went back to CSEC after the Normandy was destroyed, but with all the rebuilding at the Citadel, there was too much chaos for me to really help. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch, and there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in, someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him, and because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Are you sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sidonis out first? No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. How may I help you, Commander? I have a present for you, Doc. Ceres Ice Brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle, when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. 
<laughs> I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often, they die. And if I can help them, they move on. Either way, they leave. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff. Joker will always have Rolic Syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish he weren't, but sadly, it's true. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or, hell, maybe it's you, Shepard, our removable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? To Jenkins, to Presley, and to Alenko. May they never be forgotten. Commander, I very much enjoyed sharing that ice brandy with you. But I hope I wasn't too unprofessional. Brandy goes straight to my head. It's nice to see you let your hair down. Guess I hadn't realized how much those feelings needed airing. But I didn't give you much of a chance to vent. So tell me now. What do you think? Everyone's depending on us. We won't let them down. They just don't make them like you anymore, Shepard. Well, promise me we'll share a bottle every year. The next one is on me. The new armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profiles. But engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. I love it when you talk dirty. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The Commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. My Skillion 5's a bit rusty. You'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. Be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. It's so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me at my own game. You're all right, Shepard. Earlier when we spoke, you were very open with me. I like that. But I hope I didn't come across as too flirty. I don't want to overstep my bounds. You're very charming, Kelly. Thank you. The feeling is mutual. Anyway, how may I help you? How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's been through a lot, and not just physically. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. I've been through a lot too, Kelly. Some of your therapy sounds perfect right now. Someday we'll have to set aside some time and really talk. Anything else, Commander? How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's been through a lot, and not just physically. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. 
I've been through a lot too, Kelly. Some of your therapy sounds perfect right now. Someday we'll have to set aside some time and really talk. Anything else, Commander? So many aliens before. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. Welcome to the Purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high security vessel, you'll need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. I can't do that. Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kirill, and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. It's my standard procedure to keep my gun. Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the fund's clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to out-processing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Cell Block 2. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you? Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin and got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. Eventually I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space and the galaxy is a safer place. You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. What happens if the home world doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help, so we'll be forced to release him back onto his homeworld at an unspecified place and time. So it's an extortion racket? You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. Let's get on with this. Have you had any escape attempts? We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. We have many ways to control the population. 
I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Out processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the Supermax wing. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. Is there something I can do for you? There's no excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. This degrades you as much as him. We have orders. You're not important enough to make your own decisions? I admit, I sometimes get tired of this. Does this really get us anything useful? Stop this. For your own sake. Yeah, you're right. Call it off. At least for now. Hey. Hey guys, over here. If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's gotta be better than this. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own, if you understand. Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. He offed someone in the showers yesterday, I think. Guy he killed was worth a lot to the Warden. Yeah, sucks to be Bimmy right now. They're going at it pretty hard. Do they ever kill prisoners by accident? I haven't heard of anyone dying. Warden can't make money off us if we're dead. Funny thing, though. The more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. So they rotate him through. So, what are you in for? I killed a few people. Only about 20 or so. And I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. Tell me more about Jack. The worst trouble you ever saw. Mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. What's it like here? Bad. And you gotta watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Your smokes, your clothes, your... pride. I haven't taken a shower in three months. I should go. Wish I could go. Now processing's through the door on the far side of the room. My apologies, Shepard. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. Maybe I can change your mind. Activate systems! Shepard is on the loose. Repeat, Shepard is loose. Get people down here. If we hack that control, every door on the cell block opens. It's the only way to get Jack out of cryo. I'm doing it. Be ready. We have to get down there.
You're valuable, Shepard. I could have sold you and lived like a king. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader, and I don't have time for it. I do the hard things civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. Deploying oh. tech overload. do you want? You're in a bad situation and I'm gonna get you out of here. Shit, you sound like a pussy. I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. I'm here to ask for your help. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? This ship is going down in flames. We can get you to safety, and we're asking for your help. We could just knock her out and take her. I'd like to see you try. We're not gonna attack her. Good move. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. Join my team, and I'll do what I can for you. Don't make promises you can't keep. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. I'll give you full access. Shepard, you're not authorized to do that. Oh, it upsets the cheerleader. Even better. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move up. Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, Precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. Jack's tattoos are beautiful. As colorful as her past, I'm sure. I have concerns with her temper, though. You have worries about Jack? I know she'll be solid under fire, but her attitude suggests deep personal issues. She pushes people away, yet approaches sex casually. I don't think she understands her own motivations. I wouldn't be surprised if she makes advances on you. If you want her respect, think twice. I'll do my best not to piss her off. Please warn me if you fail. I want a chance to hide. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. 
If they're helping you, that's good enough for me. Don't be my buddy. You need me to kill for you, I need you for these files. Let's leave it there. Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy's gonna be a lot emptier when I'm done. I won't let you go on a killing spree. I'm here for your mission. After that, what I do is my business. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm gonna chase them. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a king. I could help. We have to stop the collectors. I don't have time for piracy. When this is done, we'll either be dead or out here in space with this ship. Think about it. Lots of creds. Freedom to go wherever you want. And all the mayhem and fighting I could want. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Simple. I should go. Yep. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. What are you up to? Still checking out your ship. Wouldn't mind putting her through her paces when you're not around. I doubt Joker would appreciate that. At least not while we're working. Relax. Joyriding doesn't have the thrill it used to. Besides, if I wanted it, I'd take it. That's so? I've been around. Ran with gangs, wiped out some gangs, joined a cult. Kept the haircut. I learned how to survive and not be a victim. It's hard to imagine you in a cult. That usually involves a lot of rules. I was looking for answers. Drugs and sex and going to a better place. A better place, right. It was all about money. They wanted to take a colony, shake the suckers down to fund their spread, and guess who was their ace in the hole? They were just like the rest. Didn't give one shit about me. What did you do when you found out? What do you think? You must have met some good people, too. Everybody wants something. And because of that, everything is fair game. Murder, assault, kidnapping, drugs, stealing, arson. Done it all. And that's the boring shit. Piracy, theft of military craft, destruction of a space station, and vandalism. That was a good one. Military's a hard target. Bet that made you some friends. Shouldn't have left the thing unlocked. Besides, parades are boring. I helped. A space station. You're pushing what I can believe. Ain't saying it was easy. Not everything is spur of the moment. Sometimes you gotta work to give people what they deserve. Had some people I hung with for a while. Outlaw colony. Felt like they were like me. Guess that made us a nice target. Turians think they know something about a scorched earth response. Fuck them. You were a pirate, too? Ties in with the kidnapping. If you hijack a passenger ship and don't kill everyone, anyway. Good lesson. Simpler to just kill them all. I'm surprised you'd even mention vandalism at that bunch. That's what the Hanar call it when you crash that space station I mentioned into one of their moons and make a new crater. They really liked that moon. Do you ever wonder if you could have done things differently? No. Shouldn't you? There's no reason I should be alive, but I am. You know why? Instinct. It's worked for me so far, and I'm not gonna change. Hey, Shepard. 
No one's ever asked me about this shit. It's strange to talk about. So fuck you. And thanks for asking. Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about? Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. These credit services. Looks like they've tightened up security. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. I was listed as missing in action a couple of years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. You'll have to make him scream a little. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My console says you're dead. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done? You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. That said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly asses. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Got time? Kalisa been seen in Al Jelani, Western the News. 
I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? What, so you can try to do another smear job on me? Now, Shepard, you may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. Your bat, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Bigger each had a crew around 300. The Ascension, the Asari Dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Chen Yang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid. And yes, I remembered them all. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. Commander Shepard, first human Spectre. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the Voice of Humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. The Collectors are abducting human colonists in the Terminus systems. Worse, we think they're working for the Reavers. The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. The Reapers are involved. Ah yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard. No one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real. Just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this Council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. I accept your offer. 
It's good to have the Council on my side. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You what? Consular, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? The Council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Counselor. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Sorry about that. Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Udin is just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How have the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line. That's got to be yours. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could, but between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Now, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. What happened to Gunnery Chief Williams after the Normandy was destroyed? Operations Chief Williams is still with the Alliance, but she's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus.
dossier doesn't say if Okir is on this planet by choice. Assume hostiles. There is only one measure of success. Kill or be killed. Perfection is your goal. I already want to kill this person. Stay focused. We're looking for a Krogan warlord. Shit. Shit. I won't stop bleeding. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Son of a bitch. Doesn't look that bad, actually. He doesn't need to know that. I knew it wasn't Berserkers. Ah, not at range. You're Mercs. Or Alliance. I'm not... I'm not telling you anything. I've got a nice application of Metagel ready to go. But if you'd rather, I just keep walking. Son of a bitch. I just... I don't know anything. I just shoot the overflow from the labs. The old Krogan up there, he, he's really been cleaning house lately. Jador hired him to make her an army, but the Krogan he creates are insane. So we use them for live ammo training. It's all crap. I don't get paid enough to goddamn bleed out. Outpost 4, Jador wants us to move. We need coordinates on that Krogan pack. I want your friends gone. Understand? Uh, patrol, the last group dispersed. Lost sight five minutes ago. Dispersed? Jador will be pissed. She wanted a show. You asked for a report, you got it. Dispersed. Understood. Returning to the labs. There, you see? I'm helping. If you start limping now, you might find a shady spot before you bleed out. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Funny. I thought so. Come on, our warlord is somewhere in Jador. You are different. New. You don't smell like this world. Seven night cycles, and I have felt only the need to kill. But you... Something makes me speak. Seven what? He's a week old? They must breed them full size, ready to kill. Not much improvement over regular mercs if they need training. Bread to kill. No, I kill because my blood and bone tell me to. But it's not why I was flushed from Glass Mother. Survival is what I hear in my head. Against the enemy that threatens all my kind. But I failed, even before waking. That is what the voice in the water said. That is why I wait here. Can you show me the laboratory? I need to speak with Okir. The... Glass Mother. She is up, past the broken parts, behind many of you fleshy things. I will show you. <laughs> Brute strength. Key aspect of Krogan. You fleshy things are slow when big things are in your way. You could have run or tried to fight your way back to the labs. Why stay here? I am waiting. The voice told me if they come, I fight. But I will not run. And I will not follow. I am not perfect, but I have purpose. I must wait until called. Released. Shepard, don't shoot. You know me. I shut down the security cams as soon as I saw it was you. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm glad it's you shooting up the place. Sorry, Ranathanoptis. You let me go when you destroyed Saren's lab on Vermeer. Had to outrun a nuke in a utility pod, but it's still a second chance. I assume you have a good reason for being at this lab. Don't worry, I'm not wasting the chance you gave me. My work here, strictly beneficial. Not for the mercs. Jador's on a standard power trip. But Okir is trying to do something good, even if his methods are a little extreme. Everyone deserves a second chance, right? And sometimes giving one pays off. I take care of my debts. What's Okir trying to do here? It's complicated. Jador wants a private army, but Okir mostly ignores her. He's running the project for his own reasons. I created a mental imprint routine to educate his tank bread. Most don't get through it. He dumps them for some reason. 
He wants to help his people, but he's not looking for a genophage cure, and he's not going for numbers. That's all I know. Finding you in a place like this makes me think letting you go was a mistake. You don't want that. We agree on that. Don't worry. I plan on staying as far away from anything to do with you as possible. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna run like hell before you blow the place or something. I know how you work. Should have killed her. Too much knowledge without ethical boundaries. It's about time. The batteries on these tanks will not wait while you play with these idiotic mercs. I take it you're okay here? You don't seem particularly caged, or grateful that I'm here. You may claim to be here to help, but the formerly deceased Shepard is not a sign of gentle change. Surprised? Old Krogan should know you. I'm sure Rana has already revisited your actions on Vermeer. I'm sure you're eager to retell the story. Such a tale. Saren, the Spectre Traitor, threatens the return of the Krogan Horde by curing the Genophage, undoing the gentle genocide of the Turians and Salarians. But... Before Saren can deliver his endless troops, in rides Shepard, securing victory through nuclear fire. I like that part. It has weight. I didn't have a lot of room for finesse. If there'd been any other solution, I'd have considered it. But I approve. Saren's pale horde were not true Krogan. Numbers alone are nothing. The mistake of an outsider, one that these mercenaries have also made. I gave their leader my rejects for her army, but she grows impatient. It's time for you to take me out of here. Personal issues irrelevant. Here for the collectors. I see. Yes, collector attacks have increased. A human concern. My requests were focused elsewhere. I acquired the knowledge to create one pure soldier. With that, I will inflict upon the Genophage the greatest insult an enemy can suffer. To be ignored. Your search for the perfect soldier created a lot of failures. You don't care about them? I failed no one. My rejects are exactly what Jador asked for. She simply lacks the ability to command. They are strong, healthy, and useless to me. I need perfection. If a few thousand are rejected, so be it. My work will purify the Krogan. We will not be restored. We will be renewed. I thought the Krogan ideal was a return to the numbers that threatened the galaxy. We will not need numbers. My soldier is a template. It is a greater threat than all the phantom siblings that would have been at its flank. The galaxy still bears the scars of the Horde, but it will learn to fear the Lance. You're just as cruel and manipulative as those who released the Genophage on your people. Perhaps, but I will restore the Krogan. And my soldier will not provoke a nuclear response as a cure or horde would. My legacy is perfection, with each pure Krogan reaching higher by standing on our dead. They will exceed, but not forget. What did you get from the Collectors? I need whatever you know about them. They are strange, so isolated, yet very available when your sacrifice is big enough. I gave them Mini Krogan. I may have information for you, but the tech was consumed in my prototype, after I determined how to use it without killing the subjects. The deaths were unfortunate, but I only need one success to start the process. So you don't want to cure the Genophage? Contrary to what survivors claim, the Genophage does not produce strong Krogan. The only quality it filters is the ability to survive the Genophage. For every thousand stillborn, too many weaklings live. Every survivor is branded as precious. That's produced more cuddling than your collective human teats. 
I say, let us carry the genophage. Let a thousand die in a clutch. We will defeat it by climbing atop our dead. That is the Krogan way. Your methods are extreme, but you know how to deconstruct a threat. Will you help us? Perhaps I can strike a deal to secure passage. But my prototype is not negotiable. It is the key to my legacy. Attention! I have traced the Krogan release. Oak here, of course. I'm calling blank slate on this project. Gas these commandos and start over from Oak here's data. Flush the tanks! That weak will. She'll kill my legacy with a damn valve. Shepard, you want information on the collectors? Stop her. She'll try to access contaminants in the storage bay. You could just start over like she plans to. What's the big deal? This tank is pure. It involved as much trial as data. Starting over will not duplicate it. It must survive. Jador will be with the rejected tanks. Kill her. I will stay and do what must be done. Can we shut that bitch up now? I done back in his lab. Shepard, the lab has coincided with the system's failure. The contamination detected. Emergency vent in progress. Contamination detected. Emergency vent in progress. killed how many, but vented the tanks into the room to save this one? Delusional. Unlikely one Krogan, however strong, could have impact Okir wanted. Am... Um, almost certain. Suggest leaving it. Afraid he'll make your genophage obsolete? No. But Krogan genetically dangerous, socially dangerous as well, have enough enemies without adding this. Normandy, 
Okir is a no-go, but we have a package that needs retrieval. And he's a big one. Bringing the Krogan for study makes sense, but I have concerns about waking it. Yeah, you've said that a few times now. A normal Krogan is dangerous. This one was created and likely educated by a madman. There's no way he's getting out unless one of us lets him out. Or unless Okir installed some sort of failsafe. Or a malfunction causes the tank to shut down. I'm not saying we take a crowbar to it right now, but I'm not giving up a potential resource. It's your decision, Commander. Just be careful. Noted. The cargo holds is safe enough while I decide what to do with them. Is it true we have a pod containing a baby Krogan down in the cargo hold? Not a baby. He's a full-grown super soldier, ready for combat. Please be careful if you decide to... birth him. His personality is completely unknown. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything... The subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. Can he see anything in there? Does he know where he is? Unlikely. Current neural patterns indicate minimal cognition. Barring shipwide power loss, the nutrients in the tank could sustain him for over a year. Any idea how dangerous this guy is? He is a Krogan, Shepard. If you were asking whether he is actively hostile, I don't have the necessary data to answer. Okir's technology could impart data, not methods of thinking. The subject may know of his views, but would not necessarily share them. What can you tell me about this guy? Anything unusual? The subject is an exceptional example of the Krogan species, with fully formed primary, secondary, and tertiary organs where applicable. No defects of any kind, aside from the genetic markers of the genophage present in all Krogan. I cannot judge mental functioning. Stand by. I'm gonna open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. He's either a powerful addition to the crew, or a time bomb. I'd rather deal with it now. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch, and consequences, are yours. Commander Shepard, and I don't take threats lightly. I suggest you relax. Not your name. Mine. I'm trained. I know things. But the tank, Okir couldn't implant connection. His words are hollow. Warlord, legacy, Grunt. Grunt. Grunt was among the last. It has no meaning. It'll do. I am Grunt. If you are worthy of your command, prove your strength and try to destroy me. You wouldn't prefer Okir? Or Legacy? It's short. Matches the training in my blood. The other words are big things I don't feel. Maybe they fit your mouth better. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. I'll do what I'm bred to do. Fight and determine the strongest. But his imprint has failed. Without a reason that's mine. One fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with you. I have a good ship and a strong crew. A strong clan. You'd make it stronger. If you're weak and choose weak enemies, I'll have to kill you. Our enemies are worthy. No doubt about that. Hmm. Hmm. That's... acceptable. I'll fight for you. I'm glad you saw reason. Huh? <laughs> Offer one hand, but arm the other. Why, Shepard? If I find a clan, if I find what I... I 
want. I will be honored to eventually pit them against you. Shepard, I think we have them. Horizon, one of our colonies in the Terminus systems, just went silent. If it isn't under attack, it soon will be. Has Morden delivered the countermeasure for the Seeker Swarms? Not yet. Let's hope he works well under pressure. There's something else you should know. One of your former crew, Ashley Williams. She's stationed on Horizon. Last I knew, Ash was Alliance. Why is she out in the Terminus systems? Officially, it's an outreach program to improve Alliance relation with the colonies. But they're up to something. And if they sent Chief Williams, it must be big. Perhaps you should take it up with her. The Collectors just happened to pick a colony with one of my former crew? I don't buy it. It shouldn't be a surprise the Collectors are interested in you. Especially if they're working for the Reapers. They might be going after her to get to you. We should send a message to the Citadel. The Alliance can give us reinforcements. Not until you investigate. I don't want the Alliance getting in our way. Once you have the situation under control, I'll send the message personally. Send the coordinates. We'll head straight there. This is the most warning we've ever had, Shepard. Good luck. Joker, set a course for Horizon. I've got to go see the Professor. Aye, aye, Commander. Tell me you have something. Yes. Lilith, we've got a problem. Still can't calibrate the targeting matrix? Those defense towers are useless if we don't figure it out. Sorry, Chief. Getting our comm systems back online takes priority. Yeah. Okay. Surprised people haven't tried to blame that one on me, too. People out here don't trust the Alliance. It's nothing personal. What is that? Get everyone to the safe house. I'll cover you! Run! We 
are the harbinger of their perfection. Prepare these humans for ascension. You sure these armor upgrades will protect us from the Seeker Swarms? Certainty impossible, but in limited numbers, should confused detection make us invisible to swarms. In theory. In theory? That sounds promising. Experimental technology. Only test is contact with Seeker Swarms. Have to test them in person. Should be exciting. Hmm. Husks have human characteristics, possibly repurposed colonists. No. The Geth impaled their victims on giant spikes to turn them into husks, but we haven't seen any. The Collectors must have already had the husks. They want the colonists alive for something else. The Collectors aren't getting away with more victims. Let's move out. Let's go. Company. Get out here! Now! You're... You're human! What are you doing out here? You lead them right here! You had to hear them try to get in. Seems like it's hard to hide from the Collectors. Those things are Collectors? You mean... They're real? I thought they were just made up, you know, propaganda, to keep us in Alliance space. No, oh, they got Lilith. I, I saw her go down. Sten, too. They, they got damn near everybody. What's your name? What do you do here? Name's Delan. Mechanic. I came down to check on the main grid after we lost our comm signals. And I heard screaming. I looked outside and there were swarms of bugs. Everyone they touched just froze. I, I, I sealed the doors. Damn it, it's the Alliance's fault. They stationed that Chief Williams here and built those defense towers. It made us a target. Tell me more about this Alliance rep. Chief Williams? Heard she was some kind of hero or something. Didn't mean nothing to me, though. Would have rather she just stayed back in council space. Any idea what she was doing on Horizon? 
Supposed to be helping us get the defense towers up and running. I got the feeling she was here for something else. Spying on us, maybe. Tell me about the colony defense towers. A gift from the Alliance. High-powered Guardian lasers. Supposed to keep hostile ships from landing near the colony. Had to build a massive underground generator just to give it enough juice. Only we couldn't get the targeting systems online. So the Alliance gave us a giant gun that couldn't shoot straight. Stupid sons of bitches. Why do you think this is the Alliance's fault? We're just a small colony. Nobody bothered us before we started building those damn defense towers and drew attention to ourselves. I left Council Space to get away from the Alliance. Nothing good ever comes from getting mixed up with them. The Collectors are targeting remote colonies. The Alliance was trying to help. I don't need their help. Too many strings attached. That rep said she was just here to get the towers online, but mark my words, there's more to it. If you have defenses, we can use them against the Collector ship. You'd need to calibrate the targeting system first. It's never worked right. Shouldn't be hard to figure out. Just need the location. Head for the main transmitter on the other side of the colony. Pretty hard to miss. The targeting controls are at the base. It's probably just better if you stay out of the way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I'll let you out, but I'm locking the door behind you. I'm not taking any chances. Good luck. I think you're gonna need it. Normandy, do you copy? Joker here. Signal's weak, Commander, but we got you. Edie, can you get the colony's defense towers online? Errors in the calibration software are easily rectified, but it will take time to bring the towers to full power. I recommend a defensive posture. I will not be able to mask the increased generator output. Collectors will respond with force to stop it. We'll stop them. Easy enough. Maybe not. Enemy reinforcements closing in. I suggest you ready weapons. Edie, we need that system online. A new one. Whatever it is, don't get too close. Target was immune. Problematic. This should slow him down. Ignition batteries at 100%. I have control. shot. Get away! There's nothing we can do. They're gone. Half the colony's in there. They took Egan and Sam and, and Lilith. Do something! I didn't want it to end this way. I did what I could. More than most, Shepard. Shepard? Wait. I know that name. Sure, I remember you. You're some type of big Alliance hero. Commander Shepard, Captain of the Normandy, the first human Spectre, savior of the Citadel. 
You're in the presence of a god, Delan. Back from the dead. All the good people we lost and you get left behind. Figures. Screw this. I'm done with you Alliance types. I thought you were dead, Commander. We all did. It's been too long, Ash. How have you been? That's it? You show up after two years and act like nothing's happened? I would have followed you anywhere, Commander. I thought you were gone. I... You were more than our Commander. Why didn't you try to contact me? Why didn't you let me know you were alive? I was out for two years. You've moved on with your career and your life. Why reopen old wounds? I moved on. But here you are, pulling me back in. And now we've got reports about you and Cerberus. Reports? You mean you already knew? Alliance Intel said Cerberus could be behind our missing colonies. We got a tip that this one could be the next to get hit. I went to Anderson, but he wouldn't talk. But there were rumors that you weren't dead. Worse, that you were working for the enemy. Our colonies are disappearing. The Alliance turned its back on them. Cerberus is the only group willing to do something about it. Bullshit. I know what Cerberus is like. They talk about putting humans first, but at what cost? I wanted to believe that you were alive. I just never expected anything like this. You've turned your back on everything we stood for. Ash, you know me. You know I'd only do this for the right reason. You saw it yourself. The Collectors are targeting human colonies, and they're working with the Reapers. I'd like to believe you, Shepard, but I don't trust Cerberus. And it worries me that you do. What did they do to you? What if they're behind it? What if they're the ones working with the Collectors? Damn it, Williams. You're so focused on Cerberus that you're ignoring the real threat. You're letting how you feel about their history get in the way of facts. Or maybe you feel like you owe Cerberus because they saved you. Maybe it's you. Doesn't matter. I still know where my loyalties lie. I'm an Alliance soldier. It's in my blood. I'm reporting back to the Citadel. I'll let them decide if they believe your story. I could use someone like you and my crew, Ash. It'll be just like old times. No, it won't. I'm no fan of aliens, but Cerberus has a history of being extremist. I'll never work for a group like that. So long, Commander. Good luck. Joker, send the shuttle to pick us up. I've had enough of this colony. Shepard, good work on Horizon. Hopefully the Collectors will think twice before attacking another colony. It's not a victory. We interrupted the Collectors, but they still abducted half the colony. That's better than an entire colony, and more than we've accomplished since the abductions began. The Collectors will be more careful now, but I think we can find another way to lure them in. Ash said the Alliance got a tip about me and Cerberus. Is that you? I may have let it slip that you were alive, and with Cerberus. You risked the lives of my friend, my crew, and that entire colony? Just to lure the Collectors there? A calculated risk. I suspected the Collectors were looking for you, or people connected to you. Now I know for certain. I told you I wouldn't sit and wait while the Reapers and Collectors gather strength. Besides, they would have hit another colony eventually, and without a way to predict which one, they would have abducted everyone. We have to make sure they don't abduct anyone else. I want the Collectors stopped for that very reason. That's why we're doing this, Shepard. I'm devoting all resources to finding a way through the Omega-4 Relay. We have to hit them where they live. Your team will need to be strong, as will their resolve. There's no looking back. The same goes for you. Can I assume you've put your past relationships behind you? 
None of your damn business. If it affects the mission, better you should leave it behind. Shepard, once you find a way through the Omega-4 relay to the Collector homeworld, there's no guarantee you'll return. To have any hope of surviving, you and your entire team must be fully committed to this. Let me worry about them. You just find us a way to the Collector homeworld. I just want to be upfront about your odds. You'll need everyone at their best. I've forwarded three more dossiers. Keep building your team while I find a way through the relay. And be careful, Shepard. The Collectors will be watching you. I guess we're really gonna do it. Hit the Omega-4 relay. Take the fight to the Collectors in person. Looking forward to the action. After seeing what those bastards did on Horizon, though, makes you think. They're powerful, but we've got a few tricks for them. If anyone can stop them, we can. No argument there, Commander. Horizon just made it hit home. What we're doing, what we're up against. Gonna go take care of a little unfinished business. I imagine everyone else is, too. Getting some closure, you know? I saw the reports on Horizon, Commander. What you did was amazing. The report mentioned that Ashley Williams was there. How did that go? It was good to see her. Do you have strong feelings for her? Ashley's an incredible woman. I didn't like saying goodbye. I'm sorry. Parting ways with someone so close is never easy. I appreciate that, but I'll be okay. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. The Yeoman said you wanted to see me. What's this about, Jacob? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back, the ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I've buried everything but a body. I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. I'd think you'd be more excited that your father might be alive. He wasn't around enough for me to have bad memories. It's an old, well-healed wound. But if he's actually alive and needs help, I also want to note that it's not normal procedure for distress calls to be routed to the Normandy. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but... It'll be good to close the record. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer.
Who's in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First Officer Ronald Taylor promoted infield to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours, following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback. Activation was triggered remotely after eight years, 237 days, seven hours, on the authority of acting captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in beacon protocol is recorded as record deleted. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Come on, let's get going. Let's check the ship. My father had the beacon for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. Avoiding it for a decade seems... unlikely. You came? From the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. Uh, I... I don't remember how to say it. He's our leader and we serve so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were... they were cast out. He exiled them. So they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will... Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them! Agents of the Liar! He will not escape! Enemies in front! <clears throat> it's a good shot! <clears throat> Got it! wasn't neural decay. They were feral. My father wouldn't let this go on. Something is very wrong. They're clearly docile, but in the same uniform remnants as those who attacked us. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently. Makes males get violent? Possibly. But the woman on the beach said the exiled ones came back as hunters. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat, to decay. You are 
cursed with his face. Not the best reaction to the family resemblance, Jacob. Why would my father force his crew to eat toxic food? Whatever's happening here needs to stop. What the hell? Somebody had to push them to make that. That's borderline worship. Trolls like that are a little much. Please, here, you could end it. You have his face, but you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read, but this was the start. What he promised and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Jacob, what does it say? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. It wasn't command material and it got to him. Couldn't keep the crew in line without violence. It didn't stop there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. Do you see an explanation for this? He's your father. Is he? None of this fits. Maybe the initial decision, but the rest? Abuse of power doesn't get any clearer than this. I need to find this man. You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've gotta have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you're acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would ten years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not unreasonable, Captain, but ten years? What happened? God damn it! Why did you do this to your crew? There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance like an instinct. Pure authority was easy at first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial, rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea.
We can help these people. Cerberus can have ships here in days and pull everyone out. He's not worth the fuel to haul him out or the air he's breathing. He's damn lucky I don't think he's even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. We'll secure him for an Alliance court. For every year here, he'll have ten to think about it. Give him all the time in the galaxy. The man who did this doesn't know right from wrong. I'm sorry, Jacob. I did the best I could. I'm ten years past believing that. Ships are inbound to secure Captain Taylor and his crew, Commander. We'll be long gone by the time they get here. Don't even give them the taillights. Roger that. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did, but I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor can rot in prison. It doesn't change who I am or what I know. I've already mourned the man he used to be. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. You had no idea Miranda was behind this? No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. Come on. We've got work to do. Aye, right, Commander. Shepard. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Jacob. Shepard? Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. The hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships, anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. What other human info was floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarians, Sasari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> uh, never mind. Something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I see suffering, the dead, and I think, weak. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. So you started small, but you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just 
am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it. Shepard. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. <laughs> I was just... <laughs> just sitting here thinking. The picture, I'm finally starting to get it. There's a tank imprint, the battle at Canrum. A dead Turian, stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. A Krogan boot on his head, and a claw hammer. It's under the brow plate, pulling it back, right? Eyes have gone black, and you see tension in the muscle. You can feel it ready to snap. I get it. Canrum isn't ringing a bell. Death of Shiagar, female warlord. Turians killed her, so they were hunted down and made examples. Even if they won the war, it was the last push before the rebellions ended. Maybe I had to be there, but I don't get the joke. There's no joke. It's just great. It's a Turian, and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing before, but now I get it. It was a good fight. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. I thought you'd be glad. Don't start anything with Garrus. I won't have trouble on my ship. I don't hate Garrus. I hate the Turians. Garrus is just one Turian, and he's your clan. No point in ripping his face off unless he turns on me. It's hate, but it's mine. Okir was blind, and he tried to make me the same. But I'm starting to feel what they did. To see why I should care. Anyway, I'm still figuring where I fit, but it made me laugh. Nothing else really on my mind, Shepard. I don't know what to feel about Grunt. My psych reports were for Okir. We have no guarantees that Grunt is mentally stable. I get the feeling he just doesn't care about anything, including who lives or dies. Don't worry, Kelly. I wouldn't let him touch you. If there's any touching being done, you'd better be involved. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else? Hey. Tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Why? I want to know more, and I'm not going away. I'm here to fight for you. Nothing says we have to be friends, but whatever. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. I could be genuine. You have no way of knowing. I have eyes, and I have history. You'll back off. As soon as you realize you're not the first, and I'm immune to your help. Oh, bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because, hey, why the fuck not? You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. If you let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. Seems like you miss it a little more than you want to admit. Pick every little word apart if you want, but it doesn't change the way the galaxy works. Come on, you've been around. You're tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl, Minara, and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. <sighs> right. They helped me into their bed. And when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading. And I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. They sound like selfish pricks. That doesn't mean they were gonna kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. 
I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. I have to go, but we should do this again. Wait. My turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? Are you eyeing me up? Because if this is just about sex, maybe you should just fucking say so. I'm in no hurry. I want to know what makes you tick first. You don't need to know someone to sleep with them. You just have to know where to put it. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Maybe not. I got thoughts, like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes? I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some superbiotic. The doctors. The other kids. Every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't going to see it. I was wired up in a cell. They tortured you just to see if they could make a strong biotic? That's it? Wasn't in a position to ask, Shepard. All I know is... a little girl crying in a cell, begging for the pain to stop. You love the power they gave you. They never gave me a choice. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency, and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guards. I just killed everything in my way and ran. Guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground. Drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me. Then sold me. That's my uplifting escape story. There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them, but there's a loose end I need to deal with. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. I'm gonna talk to the elusive man, and he'd better have some answers. He'll just deny everything. That's not what I'm after anyway. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia, where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. I'll set a course for Pragia. I owe you, Shepard. I forgot how much I hate this place. See the landing pad? Has to be on the roof, or the vegetation would overgrow it in a few hours. Shepard, I am picking up thermal signatures everywhere, except at your landing zone. Something's distorting the sensors. This was a secret Cerberus facility. Yeah, they build their equipment to last, assholes. It was a mistake coming back here, Shepard. Get a hold of yourself. It'll be okay. I'm fine. Okay, let's get on the ground. This looks like an arena. That's right. They used to stage fights here, pit me against other kids. I loved it. Only time I was ever out of my cell. What were they studying? Hell if I know. Maybe that's how they got their kicks. 
I never understood anything that happened here. How often did they do this? I was in a cell my whole life. Sometimes they took me out and made me fight. Filled me with drugs, other stuff. Time gets funny in a cell. Did other children die in these fights? I was a kid, filled with drugs. I got shocked when I hesitated. Narcotics flooded my veins when I attacked. They actually rewarded you for attacking? I still get warm feelings during a fight. What the hell was wrong with those people? I don't know. Doesn't matter now. Security Officer Zimkel, Telton facility. The subjects are out of their cells. They're tearing the place up. Subject Zero is going to get loose. I need permission to terminate. I repeat, permission to terminate. All subjects besides Zero are expendable. Keep Jack alive. Understood. I'll begin the... That's not right. I broke out when my guards disappeared. I started that riot. Things might have happened that you didn't see. The other kids attacked me, the guards attacked me, the automated systems attacked me. That doesn't leave lots of room for interpretation. Entry 1054, Telton facility. The latest iteration of Pergnum went poorly. Subjects 1, 4, and 6 died. No biotic change among the survivors. We lowered core temperatures of surviving subjects, but no biotically beneficial reactions occurred. As a side effect, all subjects died. So we'll not try that on zero. I hope our supply of biotic potential subjects holds up. We are going through them fast. This is bullshit. They weren't experimenting on the other children for my safety. You can't help what they did to others. You don't get it, Shepard. I survived this place because I was tougher than the rest. That's who I am. You move on, harder and tougher. It's all fallen to pieces. The subjects are rampaging and Zero is loose. We're shutting Telton down. What a disaster. We'll infiltrate and piggyback onto the Alliance's Ascension program. Hopefully, that will give... Who are they? Zero, wait! Shepard, they started up somewhere else. Ascension is an Alliance program. It's a school for biotic kids. They don't torture children there. A lot of this isn't the way I remember it. There was a lot going on. I was dumb. I keep my eyes open now, and I always shoot first. We're getting close to my cell, the place I came from. Let's keep going. Hey, Arash. It's Kira. Yeah, the intruders are here. You want them dead? We have to talk creds. You promised us lots of salvage, but this place is a waste. Fine, we'll put him down. Then I'm coming in there and we're gonna talk salvage. What are you doing here? First we're gonna kill you. Then we'll see. Kill them on my own. I want them dead. is my old cell. Whoever Arresh is, he's in there. I want to plant the bomb there anyway. Might as well do it on his corpse. Come out. We know you're here. 
Who are you? My name is Oresh, and you're breaking into my home. I know you, Subject Zero. So many years have passed, and I thought I was the only survivor. My name is Jack. How the hell do you know me? We all knew your face, Jack. They inflicted horrors on us so their experiments wouldn't kill you. You were the question, and I'm still looking for the answer. Looks like you're not the only one pulled back here, Jack. I tried to forget this, but a place like this, it doesn't forget you. It follows you. I hired these mercs and came back almost a solar year ago. We're rebuilding it piece by piece. I'm gonna find out what they knew, how to unlock true biotic potential in humans. I'm restarting the Telton facility. It will be beautiful. I wanted a hole in the ground. He's trying to justify what happened by using it? You'd do the same thing to new kids? Wasn't this forced on you? Some were bought from poor families on Earth or kidnapped from colonies. Most ended up here the way I did. Batarian pirates. They did such horrible things to us. They must have had good reasons. There's no reason good enough. Are you nuts? You lived it. We can blow up the place, but that still leaves him. What do we do with another you? That's easy. Just leave me here. This is where I belong. Fuck that. Jack, he's trapped in his past. You need to move on from yours. He wants to restart this place. He needs to die. He's crazy, and he's never gonna restart this facility. You have to let it go. Your past doesn't have to control you. Fuck! Get out of here! Go! He's not worth chasing. None of it is. You did the right thing, Jack. Maybe. This room was my whole childhood. Give me a minute to look around. Go ahead. Nothing's changed, but it's all different. Sometimes I dream that I'm back in this bed being tortured. I used to tie the sheets around my wrists and try to rip them off. I want to stop coming back here. I used this table for everything. It was like my best friend. I'd crawl under it to cry. I was pathetic. See the scarring on the wall here? That's where I killed my first man. One of the guards tried to stop me. Instead, I stopped him. I thought that room out there was the rest of the world. I'd pound and yell. Never did any good. Okay, no more wallowing. Let's blow this place to hell. find a local forger. He goes by the name of Fade. Yeah, I know him. The alias, anyway. He's been a thorn in the network division's side for the last year. He works with the Blue Suns. Where can we find him? <laughs> if I knew that, he'd be in a cell. Best I can do is put you on the trail. There's a warehouse in the marketplace. Some of Fade's contacts work out of there. Go ask them some questions. Gently, of course. I should be going. You need anything else, let me know. This looks like the plane. I just got a refund in exchange. I was told to pick up the new office jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. Fade? You're not quite how I imagined you. Looks can be deceiving. 
So, which one of you wants to disappear? I'd rather see you make someone reappear. Ah, uh, that's not the service we provide. Make an exception. Just this once. Damn it! Quick! Shoot them! Shoot them, you lumbering mountains! Why don't you two find somewhere else to skulk? Just like that? You're not getting paid for this. What's the point of hiring protection if they won't protect you? We're looking for someone. A client of yours. Not mine. I'm not paid. I just work for him. Sort of. I knew it. Well, then maybe you'd like to tell us where to find him. Yes, of course. He's in the factory district. Works out of the old prefab foundry. I know the place. Oh, he's got a lot of mercs there. Blue Suns. Harkin thinks they're protecting him. How the hell did Harkin end up being the Fade? Well, he got fired from CSEC a while back. He used his knowledge of CSEC and their systems to help a few people disappear. Then he made himself disappear, and Thade was born, so to speak. Interesting. But it changes nothing. We still need to find him before we can get to Sedonis. Well, let's go pay Harkin a visit. We'll need to go to the transit station. I can get us to him from there. So I, uh... I can go? Sure, but if we don't find Harkin, we'll be back for you. Oh, good. Look, it took me a long time to get this refund. It's a Sijin Omnia over. He said there'd be one waiting for me. Do you have a service order? No, I got the refund. Stand there! Stop them! Stop them! Run all you want, Harkin! We'll find you! Hostile spotted. Harkin's finally gone completely bad. He was always a pain in the ass, but I'm in no mood for his games. If he doesn't cooperate, I'll beat him within an inch of his life. You seem to be getting tense, Garrus. Harkin may know why Sidonis wanted to disappear. If so, he knows why we're here, and I don't want him tipping Sidonis off. See that? I saw something. He's getting ready for us. We won't catch him waiting here. Right behind you.
You were close, but not close enough. <laughs> So, Fade, couldn't make yourself disappear, huh? Come on, Garrus. We can work this out. What do you need? I'm looking for someone. Well, I guess we both have something the other one wants. We're not here to ask favors, Harkin. You don't say. You helped a friend of mine disappear. I need to find him. I might need a little more information than that. His name was Sidonis. Turian came from the... I know who he is, and I'm not telling you squat. Harkin, this doesn't have to be hard. Screw you. I don't give out client information. It's bad for business. <clears throat> you know what else is bad for business? A broken neck. Uh, all right, all right. Get off me! Uh, 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 uh. Ah. Terminus really changed you, huh, Gareth? No, but Sidonis opened my eyes. Now arrange a meeting. I'm going. Yeah, it's me. There's a chance your identity may be compromised. That's why I'm calling. I'm sending an agent. Where do you want to meet? All right, he'll be there. Don't worry, I got it covered. It's all good. He wants to meet you in front of Orbital Lounge, middle of the day. So if our business is done, I'll be going? I don't think so. You're a criminal now, Harkin. So what? You're just gonna kill me? That's not your style, Garrus. Kill you? No. But I don't mind slowing you down a little. You don't need to shoot him. He won't be able to hide from c -Sec now. I guess it's your lucky day. Yeah. I hope we can do this again real soon. <clears throat> I didn't shoot him. Come on, let's move. Sidonis better be there, or I'm coming back to finish the job. Harkin's a bloody menace. We shouldn't have just let him go. He deserved to be punished. I'm getting a little worried about you, Garrus. You were pretty hard on Harkin. You don't think he deserved it? It's just not like you. What do you want from me, Shepard? What would you do if someone betrayed you? I'm not sure, but I wouldn't let it change me. I would have said the same thing before it happened to me. It's not too late. You don't have to go through with this. Who's going to bring Sidonis to justice if I don't? Nobody else knows what he's done. Nobody else cares. I don't see any other options. Let me talk to him. Talk all you want, but it won't change my mind. I don't care what his reasons were. He screwed us. He deserves to die. I understand what you're going through, but do you really want to kill him? I appreciate your concern, but I'm not you. This isn't you either. Really? I've always hated injustice. The thought that Sidonis could get away with this? Why should he go on living while ten good men lie in unmarked graves? I'm sorry, Shepard. Words aren't going to solve this problem. I need to set up. I can get a clear shot from over there. You just want me to get him in position? Basically, keep him talking for a minute. When I've got him in my sights, I'll let you know. Give me a signal so I know you're ready, and I'll take the shot. You better go. He'll be here soon. Shepard, can you hear me? Loud and clear. All right. 
There he is. Wave him over and keep him talking. Let's get this over with. You're in my shot. Move to the side. Listen, Sedonis, I'm here to help you. Don't ever say that name aloud. I'm a friend of Garrus. He wants you dead, but I'm hoping that's not necessary. Garrus, is this some kind of joke? Damn it, Shepard. If he moves, I'm taking the shot. You're not kidding, are you? Screw this. I'm not sticking around here to find out. Tell Garrus I had my own problems. Don't move. Get off me! I'm the only thing standing between you and a hole in the head. Fuck. Look, I didn't want to do it. I didn't have a choice. Everyone has a choice. They got to me. Said they'd kill me if I didn't help. What was I supposed to do? Let me take the shot, Shepard. He's a damn coward. That's it? You were just trying to save yourself? I know what I did. I know they died because of me. I have to live with that. I wake up every night, sick and sweating. Each of their faces staring at me, accusing me. I'm already a dead man. I don't sleep. Food has no taste. Some days, I just want it to be over. Just give me the chance. You've got to let it go, Garrus. He's already paying for his crime. He hasn't paid enough. He still has his life. Look at him, Garrus. He's not alive. There's nothing left to kill. My men, they deserved better. Tell Garrus... I guess there's nothing I can say to make it right. Just... go. Tell him to go. He's giving you a second chance, Sedonis. Don't waste it. I'll try, Garrus. I'll make it up to you somehow. Thank you for talking to him. I know you want to talk about this, but I don't. Not yet. I know it didn't go the way you planned, but I think it's for the best. I'm not so sure. Give it time. Yeah. Maybe that'll be enough. I want to know I did the right thing, not just for me. For my men. They deserve to be avenged. But when Sidonis was in my sights, I just couldn't do it. The lines between good and evil blur when we're looking at people we know. Yeah, there was still good in him. I could see it. So much easier to see the world in black and white. Gray. I don't know what to do with Gray. You've got to go with your instincts. My instincts are what got me into this mess. Don't be too hard on yourself. Thanks, Shepard. For everything. Let's get going. I need some distance from this place. I'm with you. Shepard, I've got a problem and I may need your help. But I need to ask you something first. I need to know if I can trust you. Some of this might involve fleet security. Cerberus cannot be involved. You have my word. If necessary, I'll contact the elusive man to make sure he stays out. Don't bother. He just lied to you. Hearing it from you is enough. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing, with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an Admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. Okay, let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank you, Shepard. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The admirals will be waiting for us.
Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicate a Justicar named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. Also, I have a message for Miss Lawson. Lantea has reserved a room at Eternity and will be waiting. Thank you, Edie. 25. Excuse me. Excuse me, are you Commander Shepard? You're Commander Shepard? I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. What message were you asked to give? Shepard, we hide. We borrow, we build, but we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours, and our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. I'm glad to hear that you're rebuilding. Are you somewhere close by? The Rachni Queen is not here. That message is one of many memories I carry from her. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. Thank you for giving me that information. I'm glad my friend in Averia is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. Holy crap, Shepard! I thought you were dead. Shepard? The news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. Happy to help. What happened to Administrator Analeas? He made the one mistake Novaria won't tolerate. He got caught taking their money. He's doing a few years in white-collar prison. More importantly, he won't work in the field again. Sit down. If I remember right, I owe you a beer. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. You ever heard of the Collectors? They're attacking human colonies. I'm gonna stop them. Damn, Shepard. For me, a tough job involves more paperwork. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've got to go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. Welcome. You look like someone who needs high quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. Is everything here so expensive? I plan to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outfitting a team for a dangerous mission. I need the best and I'm willing to pay for it. As long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount. And when I get special items in, you can take a look. What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs, nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. 
That's because it's still in development on Novaria, and illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini, you set me up! But this isn't Novaria. You don't have the authority to arrest me. I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. Is that everything you needed? Everything and more. You're a lifesaver, Shepard. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Ah, oh, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. I'll take it. This looks interesting. Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing Asari. So ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. It must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. I wanted to be a cop, or C-Sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White-collar crime is nice and clean. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. How'd you end up on Novaria, anyway? Scholarship program, and a competitive internship. Turned out I was only middling at the science, but I could always ferret out secrets. You grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. Helps with going undercover. What's up next for you? Research. We've had some hacking attacks lately, and I want to make sure they're external. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. My bosses want to know if it's something to worry about. That'll hold me over until I have to go back undercover anyway. It must be hard, going undercover so often. It's not so bad. Go new places, be new people. The only weird part is when you go home and try to talk to people, and you forget how to react. Like it's another cover, you know? Deep down, part of you likes fooling people. That's what makes you good at it. Part of me, yeah. I grew up poor and working class. Now I walk around the rich and powerful, taking notes, getting evidence. And they never see me coming. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. Oh, hell with it. Mwah. Much better than an autograph. Take care of yourself, Shepard. I haven't had any luck yet. Shepard. I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it, and saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. How is Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorian. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again, or did the Thorian somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus Hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive, and the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I'd prefer not to start trouble. 
Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans. But the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Wait a minute. Shiala, you were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue, like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true, but we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable, which they have. Can they actually force these procedures on you? No. But they can declare us in breach of contract. Which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes, the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontier's representative knows about the issue. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Their use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All of you. Humans. Salarius. Turians, you come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Why are you so prejudiced against aliens? Phew, where do I begin? With Salarian explorers unleashing the Rachni upon us, then unleashing the Krogan to correct their mistake? Or the Turians, so eager to bomb every problem away. Or humans, the new arrivals who already think they should be in charge. Every war that has plagued this galaxy has been caused by your people. My people's deaths are on your hands. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth uprising. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked in the Embassy, the other was a greeter for the Consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not. I, I didn't. Oh.
I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. I you did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus Hope again. I don't think I could have... Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. You're really holding out on me? I'm a man on the edge. I got nothing to lose. Uh huh. I'll do anything to get the job done. I'll go all the way without a second thought. Uh huh. You want to see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from Commander Shepard. Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard, is it really you? It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel. I wanted to become a Spectre. Oh, uh, and then you shoved a gun in my face. You showed me. Whoa, wow. it's you. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I spend most of the time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! Conrad Werner! Remember? There are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human Spectre. That's incredible! Being a Spectre is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And they also say that you don't take crap from anybody. You're showing them what humans can do. Hey, can I get your picture? I don't have a problem with it, but why? You're a hero, Shepard. Decades from now, humanity's going to remember you. And I'll have your picture. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. Uh, Commander, I've been waiting for you to get back. I've got an idea, and I wanted to run it by you. I've got a lot going on right now, but I can spare a moment. Great! This'll just take a minute. With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one Spectre is enough. What if you signed me on as another Spectre? Conrad, I don't think that's a good idea. But I'd make a great Spectre. I'd be right there with you, showing the Council what humanity is capable of. I want to be with you, fighting the good fight like you did on Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. I believe you, Conrad. But there's another fight that needs you. What? I, I don't understand. You know what keeps me going out here? Knowing that people back home are keeping humanity strong. You... You're right. I just got so caught up in all of it. I wanted to help. I'll go home. Thanks for setting me straight. My face, you showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson well. So you're alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? 
I got some asses to kick. Conrad, why are you acting like me? What, are you crazy? I'm nothing like you. I'm not a specter working for the Council. I'm on my own, backed only by my wits and my nerves. No rules, no laws, just whatever it takes to get the job done. I'm not like you at all. Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time for training. Don't you get it? You are a big jerk. But you saved the galaxy and showed other races that humans mattered. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. How did you get that arm? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off-world. So, you just wander the galaxy, righting wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? Ask them if they have big problems that only I can solve. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. Sometimes I poke through crates, too. You know, for extra credits. <sighs> Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. Can I help you with something? I talked to an old friend, Conrad Werner. He told him that the Eternity Lounge was selling red sand. Oh, you're Conrad's friend. Yes, that place is really dangerous. I should know. I'm an undercover cop. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to, uh, stop the red sand dealers. I softened up the bar owner, but you need to go in and finish them off. Really? Are you sure? Absolutely. You just need to close the deal. Go in, be tough, and let them know you're with me. They'll hand the deed right over. Well, great. Here, I'll set you up for a discount. Thanks for the help. Damn it! This is just a misunderstanding! Tell it to the judge. My surveillance vids caught your extortion attempt from four different angles. I was misled! I was told that you had agreed to sell! Take her away, before I have my bartender throw her out. What happened? The undercover cop from the weapons kiosk just got arrested. She wasn't a cop. She was a deep cover operative from a terrorist cell. I'd never have found her if not for you. Really? Really. You did a great job, Conrad. Now please go home. Let me take it from here. Can do, Shepard. And thanks. It's really good to have you back. Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Oriana's family to the terminal instead. He didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a, a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other alien contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and Niket are the only two I trust on this. 
What information do you have about the mercenaries? I've confirmed that they're Eclipse, and that they're working for an organization Ms. Lawson warned us about. I could try to alert the authorities, but so far they've done nothing illegal. You made the right decision. We'll handle this ourselves. It's your sister, Miranda. What do you want to do? Lentea, we'll follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. I doubt Eclipse will send all their people just to stop you. Do you want to give Niket any backup? Niket can take care of himself. Besides, any armed backup just draws attention to him. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. Damn it! Eclipse mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. Put us down in that cover behind them. Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. <laughs> I said hold fire, damn it! I got this. Since you're not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. Think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. You're not getting Miranda's sister. If you push this, it'll go badly for you. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want... Hang on, I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. Why didn't you tell me that we were saving a kid? She's not a child. She'll be 19 this year. But, well, it didn't seem relevant at the time, I suppose. There are people who'd use her against me. I'm very protective when it comes to Oriana. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. You deserved to know. I can understand choosing to go your own way, but you stole a young child from her father. If you knew my father, you would understand. I wasn't the first one he made. I was only the first one he kept. I was brought up with no friends, pushed to meet impossible demands. I wasn't a daughter to him. I was... I don't know what I was. Ariana has had a normal life. I made the right decision. If Eclipse knows where Ariana is, they'll be moving in on her soon. We need to hurry. Agreed. I'm a bit worried by what the Merc said. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Ariana. Let's go find Niket and Ariana. Right. Listen to me, I've got authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. 
This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... Miri. This should be fun. Niket, you sold me out. How do you want to handle this, Miranda? Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. How did Miranda's father turn you? They told me you kidnapped your baby sister all those years ago. They said I could help get her back peacefully, no trauma to the family. I told them you'd never do that. They could go to hell. And you finally told me what you'd done. I called them back that night. Why didn't you call me, Niket? We've been through a lot. You could have at least let me explain. I deserve to know that you'd stolen your sister, Miri. I deserve to know you were with Cerberus. But I had to hear it from your father first. How much did Miranda's father pay you? A great deal. Damn it, Niket! You were the only one I trusted from that life. He knew you felt that way. That's why he bought me. So you just took his money? Don't get holy with me, Miri. You took his money for years. Whether or not you agree with Miranda, Oriana has been with her family for years now. Her father can still give her a better life. You don't know what my father wants for her. I know that I've been poor, Miri. I didn't much care for it. He wants to take a girl away from the only family she's ever known. Doesn't that tell you what he really is? If you're working for Miranda's father, that means he knows about Oriana. We need to find a new solution. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Miri, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. I'm going to miss you. Miranda, wait. You don't want to do this. This has to end here, Shepard. My father will keep trying to find Oriana. Maybe Niket can help. Talk to your father. Just say you got here first. Oh, I'll tell him that you hid her. That I don't know where she is. I never want to see you again, Niket. <laughs> Done. Now, if you don't mind, I have a shipment to deliver. You'll die for that, bitch! On Time our right! To die. Feel that, bitch? <clears throat> Believe Niket sold me out. I didn't even see it coming. Even with all your upgrades, you're human, just like the rest of us. But I let it get personal and I screwed up. Why didn't you let me kill him? I could have handled that. But watching him get gunned down by that Asari bitch. You still cared for him, even if he betrayed you. You're right. And my father knew it. He used that against me. It's always been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted. 
but there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except Niket. Weakness on my part? He can't toss aside everything he care about just to be safe. It's okay, Shepard. My father hurt me, but he didn't break me. As much as he tried to turn me into exactly what he wanted, I'm my own person. You still have Oriana. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her, but yes, you're right. I still have something. Thank you. No sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family. Come on, we should go. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. She doesn't need any details. But would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister who loves her? I guess not. Go on. We'll wait here. I'll deal with it. Take pictures. Touch me and I will smear the wall with you, bitch! Enough! Stand down, both of you. The cheerleader won't admit what Cerberus did to me was wrong. It wasn't Cerberus. Not really. But clearly you were a mistake. Screw you! You've got no idea what they put me through. Maybe it's time I showed you. Our mission is too important to let personal feelings get in the way. Fuck your feelings. I just want her dead. You both know what we're up against. Save your anger for the Collectors. I can put aside my differences. Until the mission's over. Sure. I'll do my part. I'd hate to see her die before I get a chance to fillet her myself. You two gonna be okay? It's a good thing you came by when you did. As long as she does her job, we'll be fine. Thanks, Shepard. You clean up well, Mr. Solomon Gunn. Hawk won't know what hit him. I assume Solomon Gunn is my cover? You run a small but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation. Papers, witnesses, article in Badass Weekly. Just don't start talking business with him, and you'll be fine. Remind me, what kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapons dealer and smuggler. He killed my partner and stole his gray box. Other than that, he's not so bad. Rich, charismatic, willing to crack open a man's skull to get at the neural implants inside. I take it I'm wearing this getup for a reason. You'd look really out of place at a society party in armor, don't you think? You look great. You should wear this stuff more often. Now's probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend Hawk is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. Our tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend Saren, rendered with loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a sidearm. 
Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. Then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's gray box, and I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. You've worked really hard on this. KG must have meant a lot to you. Was I that obvious? KG's gray box holds a lot of priceless, personal memories. It's all that remains of who he was. But the secret he discovered is dangerous. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. This is our stop. After you, Mr. Gunn. Uh, just one moment, sir. There seems to be an issue with the statue. Is there a problem, yeah? No, Mr. Huck. Just doing a scan. I don't believe we've met. Donovan Huck. I've heard a lot about you. Name's Solomon Gunn. And though I've heard a lot about you, you've been very busy lately, if the extra net is to be believed. Sir. The scanners aren't picking anything up. Hmm. I don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? You may pass through, Mr. Gunn, with my apologies. But I will ask your companion to remain outside. You understand, I hope. No problem. You're the host. Enjoy the party. Well... That didn't go as I expected. Any idea why he'd send you away? No. We've never seen each other in person. And no one knows what I look like. Just watching his ass, I'm sure. I can't blame him. What do we do now? We go on with the plan. You'll just have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. We need to find the door and case the security. We'll figure out the next step then. Very nice. There's more here than I expected. Password protected voice lock, kinetic barrier, DNA scanner. Looks like an EX700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. This gonna be a problem? Please, remember who you're talking to. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password too. DNA, child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. And the barrier? Cut the power. Never fails. If we can find it. KG could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get to it. There he is. All you need to do is keep him talking long enough for me to get a voice print. Pull out the charm on this one, Shep. Whenever you're ready. After you. Mr. Gunn, hope you're having a good time. That scene at the door hasn't soured your evening, I hope. I understand the security, but who would dare try to break into Donovan Hawk's home? Gunn, in our line of work, we attract a certain element. Few understand the pains we take to keep the barbarians at bay. People these days want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. They only have to worry about simple luxuries. Why? Because people like me, and you, are doing the terrible things that keep the galaxy spinning. This party is for us. The cleaners. The support structure for the galaxy's gleeful delusions of peace. May there always be a market for the things we do. I 
I said get him talking, and you got him talking. We've got enough of a voice sample. Let him go. Enjoy the party, Mr. Gunn. Let's go crack that voice scanner. That got it. The barrier's down. Password required. Perusia. Voice ID accepted. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. DNA identification affirmed. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. I'll check for security cams. Go ahead and get dressed. So this is Hawk's fault. Very nice. This scanner will hone in on the gray box. It's not far. Michelangelo's David. Just... Wow. Think we could get this out through the door? Creepy. still get money for something like this, even outside the Alliance. Asari go nuts for this sort of thing. How did Hawk get Lady Liberty's head? Damn you, Hawk! A model of the Kara. It's like a Turian Titanic, the way I hear it. Wow. Imagine that thing coming at you in a dark alley. This is nice. Oddly relaxing. Ugh. Rachni Queen. I guess everything's valuable to someone. Doesn't look like much, but that might be one of the most valuable pieces here. Turian art is rare outside of Palavin. For good reason, I say. I feel like its eyes are following me. Yikes. This looks like Quarian script. Wow. This has got to be old. When was the last time the Quarians wrote on stone? That's... impressive. Not sure what it is, though. That's a Casa Locust. No. THE Casa Locust. The gun that killed two presidents. Gorgeous. It even comes with a perfect copy, too. I'm sure Hawk won't mind if we borrowed these. This should come in handy. Oh my god. There it is. Don't bother Miss Goto. It's code locked. I had a feeling that was you at the door. I knew if it was really you, you'd get through anyway. You know me. I don't like to disappoint. 
I need what's in your grey box, Kasumi. You know I'm willing to kill you for it. I'll admit your skills are impressive. You got into my vault like I'd left it open. But you're still going to die. No! Have I got your attention? <laughs> that shut him up. Kill them! to show you the hard way. Got a clear shot. Here we go. Tear that thing apart. Look left. Here they come. Kasumi, if you're seeing this, it's because I'm dead. The information we found is all here. It's big, Kasumi. If the Council ever got wind of this, the Alliance could be implicated. Kasumi, I... I encrypted the information to keep it safe. And I uploaded the encryption key to your gray box, so no one could get the whole package. But if I'm dead... And if anyone knows about this, then I've made you a target, my love. I'm so... so sorry. Keiji... I know you, Kasumi. You'll want to keep these memories forever. But you don't need some neural implant to know I'll always be with you. Please, Kasumi... Destroy these files. There's nothing more I can do to protect you. I can't do that. This is all that's left. Goodbye, Kasumi. I love you.
Is there any way we can just destroy the information? No. Keiji's a master at encrypting files. He laced the information into his memories. You can't get one without experiencing the other. If it's that important to you, keep it. Just make sure you're ready to live with the consequences. Yeah, I am. I'll stay off the grid. No one will know I exist. I think I want this. Thanks, Shepard. Sounds like he hasn't changed. I get the feeling you have a past with this Vito. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So yeah, we have a past. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. Twenty years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For twenty years I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes. Every time I sighted down on a target. Every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. We'd better get moving. Bring it on, you son of a bitch! Zaid Masani, you finally tracked me down. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Again. What was that? Gone nearsighted old friend. Burn you, son of a bitch. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. What are you doing? Opening the gate. We don't sacrifice lives for the sake of the mission. There's always a better way. Like what? Wandering out in the jungle for hours looking for another way in. You want to waste time out here? Go ahead. I'm gonna kill people. You're endangering lives. And the mission for your own selfish revenge. You really want to do this, Shepard? I had to knock you the hell out. But thanks to you, we have a burning refinery to save. Let these people burn. Vito dies, whatever the cost. Help! We're trapped! 
We can't get to the gas valves to shut them off. The whole place is gonna blow. No time. Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. You're willing to watch these people die? Damn right I am. We stop to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. We're here to free these people. We're going in. I knew this was a mistake. If we're gonna do this, we'd better get to it. Just cost me 20 years of my life! Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh. Zaid, you alright? The hell do you care? I'm fine. Now come on, get me out of this shithole. I'm not sure I need a man like you on my ship. If you didn't need me, Cerberus wouldn't have paid my fee. I'll do what I was paid to do. Nothing more, nothing less. Now stop screwing around. Let's go! You put your own goals ahead of the mission. That's not the way this works. I've survived this long watching my own back. No time to worry about anyone else. You're part of a team now, Zaid. There's no way we can do this unless we're all working together. You... you have a point. I'm not done with Vito, but I can put that behind me long enough to get your mission done. Let's get the hell out of here. Shepard, we got a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corliss system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a collector ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous, but we can't let an opportunity like this slip by. If they had a patrol out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmissions. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. You're close enough that you can be in and out before the Turians learn the truth. Are you sure this information is good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. 
She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Coordinates punched in. Let's go find us a collector ship. We have a visual on the collector ship, Commander. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? Radar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no mass effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck. out by this? Looks like a giant insect hive. Penetrating scans have detected an access node to uplink with collector data banks. Marking location to your hard suit computer. What happened here? Ugh. Why would the collectors just leave a pile of bodies lying around? They could have been used for testing. If they were a control group, they would have been discarded at the end of the experiment. There are worse things than death, like being a test subject for twisted aliens. I know you're right, but it doesn't make me feel any better. That's a collector. Were they experimenting on one of their own? Edie. I'm uploading the data from this terminal. See if you can figure out what they were up to. Data received. Analyzing. The collectors were running baseline genetic comparisons between their species and humanity. Is there something we can use in the data to give us an edge? These are only preliminary experiments, but they reveal something remarkable. A quad-strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure, the Protheans. My god. The Protheans didn't vanish. They're just working for the Reapers now. These are no longer Prothean, Shepard. Their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic rewrite. The Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. The Reapers didn't wipe out the Protheans. They turned them into monsters and enslaved them. Still, they're working for the Reapers now, and we have to stop them. They're not doing to us what they did to the Protheans. Let's find what we need before the Collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. Look, on the ceiling. More of those pods. There must be hundreds of them. How many do you think are full? Too many. I detect no signs of life in the pod, Shepard. It is probable the victims inside died when the ship lost primary power. We can use this. Commander, you gotta hear this. On a hunch, I asked Edie to run an analysis on this ship. I compared the EM profile against data recorded by the original Normandy two years ago. They are an exact match. The same ship dogging me for two years? Way beyond coincidence. Something doesn't add up, Commander. Watch your back.
take every human in the Terminus systems and not have enough to fill these pods. They're gonna target Earth. Not if we stop them. Edie, I'm setting up a bridge between you and the Collector ship. See if you can get anything useful from the databanks. Data mine in progress, Shepard. Can't be good. Everyone's all right, Joker. What just happened? Major power surge. Everything went dark, but we're back up now. I managed to divert the majority of the overload to non critical systems. Shepard, it was not a malfunction, this was a trap. regained control of the platform, Shepard. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Edie. I always work at optimal capacity. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. 
I have also found a Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The collectors were the source. It is unusual. Seems logical to me that they would have sent the initial message as bait. No, it is unusual because Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? We don't have time to throw blame around. We'll question him when we're out. Cerberus has a long history of betraying its allies. I should have seen it coming. No, the commander's right. There must be some other explanation. Uh, commander, we got another problem. The collector ship is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move. I am opening a door on the far side of the room. Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Edie told us the distress call originated from the collectors. You betrayed us, just like I knew you would. We're at war. The collectors are taking humans, and every minute we waste is one more we give the enemy to prepare. I know the stakes, but we're supposed to be on the same side, and I can't trust you. 
Without that information, we don't reach the Collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. You could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you sure try hard to get me killed. I needed the Collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. I don't risk people. There were always alternatives. You may not like being on the receiving end, neither would I. But the facts are with me. As much as we try to avoid them, these decisions need to be made. But more importantly, it paid off. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I'm guessing you have a plan. We have a science team working on a derelict Reaper right now. I need you to go and pick up its IFF. Where did you find a derelict Reaper? An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. Aren't brown dwarves basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. I get the feeling this isn't going to be a simple swing by and pick up our package. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us, used us, needed access to the collector databanks. Necessary risk. There really wasn't any other choice. Let's just hope this IFF works. My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. Can't be right. Edie doesn't make mistakes. The Collector homeworld is located somewhere in the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction, space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common, and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Just because we can follow the Collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. 
Sooner or later, we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the Collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. You had me so worried when you were trapped on the Collector ship. Thank goodness for Edie. That sounds like more than just professional concern, Kelly. You're more than just my commander. You're my friend. Edie brought you back to me. If she had a body, I'd give her a big hug. I'm standing right here. Where's my hug? Oh, Shepard. I wish there were time to get to know you better. Why don't you join me in my cabin for a meal? It would give us the chance to talk. That sounds wonderful. I've been hoping for some private time with you. Lead the way. Goodness, I haven't stayed up that late since my college days. I had a wonderful evening. Thank you, Shepard. This is Talizora Vasnima Naraya, requesting permission to dock with the Raya. Our system has your ship flag to Cerberus. Verify. After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, I will return to where I began. Permission granted. Welcome home, Talizora. We'd like a security and quarantine team to meet us. Our ship is not clean. Understood. Approach exterior docking cradle 17. Captain Shepard, Tali Zora told me a lot about you. I wish we could be meeting under more pleasant circumstances. I never actually reached the rank of Captain. Technically, I'm no longer in the Alliance military at all. You're the commander of the Normandy, responsible for the lives aboard it. That entitles you to respect among our people. May you stand between your crew and harm as you lead them through the empty quarters of the stars. Keep us alive. It's an old ship captain's blessing, Shepard. Telly helped the Normandy's crew out of many difficult situations. I'm here to return the favor. I understand. As the commander of the vessel she serves on, your voice carries weight. I wish I could do more to help, Tally. The trial requires that I be officially neutral, but I'm here if you need to talk. They're charging you with bringing active Geth into the fleet as part of a secret project. That's insane. I never brought active Geth aboard. I only sent parts and pieces. Let's deal with that later, Tally. What's our next step, Captain? Technically, I'm under orders to place Tally Zora under arrest pending the hearing. So, Tally, you're confined to this ship until this trial is over. Thank you, Captain. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. The hearing's being held in the Garden Plaza. Good luck. Zorovas Normandy. I am glad you came. I could delay them only so long. Auntie Ron! Shepard Vas Normandy, this is Admiral Shalaron Vas Tonbe. She's a friend of my father's. Wait, Ron, you called me Vas Normandy. I am afraid I did, Tally. The Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nima. You're an admiral. Does that mean you're one of the judges? I'm afraid not. My history with Tali and her father forced me to recuse myself. I imagine father had to do the same. You'll see inside, Tali. For my part, I moderate and ensure that the rules of protocol are followed, but I have no vote in the judgment. I guess we should get started. Does Tali have a defense counselor? Someone who speaks for her side? 
Indeed she does, Captain Shepard. She is part of your crew now, recognized by Quarian law. And remember, an accused is always represented by his or her ship's captain. So, uh, you would actually speak for my defense? I'll do everything in my power to help you, Tally. Thank you, Shepard. I could not ask for a better counselor. Our legal rules are simple. There are no legal tricks or political loopholes for you to worry about. Present the truth as best you can. It will have to be enough. Now come. I promise that I would not delay you. This conclave is brought to order. Blessed are the ancestors who kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Kill us a lie. The accused Talia Zora Vas Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself against the charge of treason. Objection! A human has no business at a hearing involving such sensitive military matters. Then you should not have declared Tally crew of the Normandy, Admiral Chorus. By right as Tally's captain, Shepard must stay. Objection withdrawn. Shepard vs. Normandy. Your crew member Tally Zora stands accused of treason. Will you speak for her? If it helps Tali, I will. But in her heart, she remains Tali Zora Vas Nima, a proud member of the migrant fleet. I regret that our captain is forbidden to stand at her side today. Nobody has been forbidden from anything. It is a simple... Lie to them if you must, Tal Chorus, but don't lie to me and expect me to stay silent. The human is right. Admirals, please. Shepard's willingness to represent Tali Zora in this hearing is appreciated. Tali? You're accused of bringing active guests to the migrant fleet. What say you? Tally would never endanger the migrant fleet. She pleads not guilty. I left parts and technology for teams to pick up. My father ordered me to do so. But I would never send active guests to the fleet. Everything I sent was disabled and harmless. Then explain how Geth seized the lab ship where your father was working. <laughs> What are you talking about? What happened? As far as we can tell, Tally, the Geth have killed everyone on the Alarai. Your father included. What? Oh, Kila. I appreciate the need for this trial, Admirals. But right now, our first concern must be the safety of the migrant fleet. The Normandy stands ready to assist in whatever capacity necessary. Thank you. Quarian strike teams have attempted to retake the ship. So far, without success. Shepard, we have to take back the Alarai. The safest course would be to simply destroy the ship. But if you are looking for an honorable death instead of exile... I'm looking for my father, you Boshtet! You intend to retake the Alarai from the Geth? This proposal is extremely dangerous. With your permission, Admirals, yes. The good of the fleet must come first. And Tally needs to find her father. Agreed. And if you die on this worthy mission, Tally, we will see that your name is cleared of these charges. We can discuss that later. Then it is decided. You will attempt to retake the Alarai. You are hereby given leave to depart the Raya. A shuttle will be waiting at the secondary docking hangar. Be safe, Tally. This hearing will resume upon your return, or upon determination that you have been killed in action.
thank you for agreeing to take back the Alarai, Shepard. The Admiral sounds sure that my father is already dead, but... I don't know. We won't know anything until we get there. How are you holding up? They just threw a lot of fire at you, even before telling you about your father. I knew this would be bad, but I guess you're never really prepared to be charged with treason. And my father, I... I don't know. He... he could still be alive. They don't know for certain that he's dead. I just don't know, Shepard. And I need to find out. Let's go. Right. The sooner we get to the Alarai, the sooner we'll know what happened. You set me up, Shala! You told Captain Donna not to say anything? I don't hear that my father may be dead until I'm in the trial? Why? The Admirals needed to hear the shock in your voice, Tali. Otherwise, they might not have let you try to retake the Alarai. That is your best chance at recovering evidence that can exonerate you. I am sorry. We cannot afford sensitivity, Tali. I know you're trying to help her, Admiral, but that was over the line. She has nobody else to speak for her, Shepard. I am doing everything in my power. That's what her father would have wanted. Don't say it like that. He could still be alive on that ship. You should get to the Alarai soon. Is there anything else I can tell you? How long have you known Tally's family? Since before Riel was an admiral. 25 or 30 years, I'd guess. I was there when Tally was born. Her mother and I had synced up our suits so we could be in the same open air room. I was sick for a week. But it was worth it. I was the one who took Tally from her mother and put her in the bubble. She cried so hard. I don't understand. You put your children in bubbles? Environmental units. It's a step between relying on the mother's immune system through nursing and getting a suit of one's own. The bubbles let parents take their children out of the clean room safely. We don't wear suits until adolescence. There's a celebration when a child gets her first suit. It's a coming of age. I'm not hearing much about Rail's involvement in Tally's life. It's difficult to explain. I shouldn't. It's all right, Anshala. No secrets between shipmates. I think I told Shepard about my father. If you say so, Riel was committed to the Quarian cause. That didn't leave him a lot of time for his family. He wanted to give Tally and her mother the home world, or a strong fleet at least. That was how he showed his love. What kind of evidence will carry weight with the Admirals? Tally, you admitted to sending Geth parts to your father for his project. Yes, but never anything that could have come back online on its own. I took every possible precaution. Then find records of your shipment and experiments. Something that proves you were careful. Something that proves that this is all just a terrible accident that nobody could have foreseen. We should move on. Good luck on the Alarai. Look. Shepard? How did you get onto the Raya? Shepard is here to help me with my trial. Oh yes, I heard about that. I hope you didn't really do what they said you did. No, Vitor. I would never endanger the fleet. Oh, well, good. So, can I help you with anything? I mean, probably not, but you helped me. Take care of yourself, Vitor. Not many could have gone through what you did and come out sane. I know. I didn't. But thank you, Commander. It's only because of your help that I've come this far. Call Rieger. Shepard, Telezora. Good to see you both. Wish you were under better circumstances. What did they get from our readings? Damnedest things, just like they said. No way the sun on Haystrom should have been acting that way. So that dark energy theory is right. That's troubling. Can't really comment on that, ma'am. I just shoot things. Have you been, Rieger? You took kind of a beating on Haystrom. Physical damage wasn't bad. I was down for about a week with infection, though. Figure I got off easy. I don't have to face those admirals.
With your immune systems, it couldn't be easy for Quarians to fight a war. You'd lose more people to infection than injury. We can't afford a frontline attack, that's for sure. Have to fight smart. Ideally from orbit. We do have stockpiles of antibiotics. It's not as though everyone would die from a single shot. No, Shepard's right. You've only seen our strike ops, Tally. Don't have all the fancy equipment in a frontline fight. Supplies get strained. Things get ugly, fast. You said that your mission had something to do with dark energy. Right. Remember the damn sun on Haystrom? Shorted out everything. Way too much radiation? The sun's getting old. Only it's not. Dark energy. It's reducing the mass of the star's interior. Techs are worried. What does that dark energy buildup mean? Is it something we should worry about? Sorry, Shepard, I don't know what it means. Just that it has the scientists worried. Hopefully it's isolated, some rare phenomenon. If dark energy can destabilize solar material. Probably not something to worry about now. But resources in this galaxy are scarce enough without stars suddenly going dead. Some days I think flying around in the fleet without a planet of our own is the right idea. What are you doing aboard the Raya? It sounds like you gave your report to the Admiralty already. Well, uh... I stayed to argue the charges against Talizora. I've served with her and she deserves better than what she's getting. Thanks, Carl. Just stating facts, ma'am. We should get going. Good luck on the holiday. Right. Tali Zora, given the circumstances, are you certain that speaking to me is appropriate? I'm looking for information about the Alarai. I don't intend to bribe you in the middle of the plaza, Admiral. Pleasure to meet you, Commander Shepard. We owe you a debt of gratitude for your actions against the Geth. Tally was with me. Saren and the Geth would have destroyed us all without her help. Your political machinations are transparent, Commander. They are also unnecessary. If you and your father were actually experimenting on active Geth subjects, then you are simply idiots. No reason to waste resources on a trial. If not, then this was a tragic accident in the pursuit of a higher cause. Again, no trial is needed to determine that. It sounds like your ideas about synthetics are in the minority. Yes, at least on the Admiralty board, Han Geralt sees an enemy that must be crushed. Salchorus would run away and hide on some new colony world. Shalaran is still undecided. I had thought Rail to be firmly in Han's camp, but if his experiments were on active Geth, perhaps we have ideas in common. If we don't find Rael alive on the Alarai, what do you think will happen? The power balance will be disrupted. Han loses a vote for his foolish and self-destructive war. That would favor peace then, as Shala Ran is too careful to risk her own neck. But, if the Admiral replacing Rael agrees with me, things could become very exciting. You support experiments on living creatures? Rail should have felt no more guilt experimenting on Geth than I did while performing surgery on a childhood toy. The fact that you performed surgery on your childhood toys explains a great deal, Admiral. A ship travels faster than I can. With the right programming, it can choose locations, even defend itself when attacked. But it is just a machine. It was built for the sole purpose of serving its master, and it can be dismantled whenever its master desires. Thank you for the information. It was a pleasure to meet you, Commander. Tally. I'm glad Admiral Ron got you leave to hit the Alarai. Hopefully you'll find something that clears your name. I'm more concerned with finding my father, Admiral. I wish you luck. Blow up some geth on the way. And your Captain Shepard, Admiral Hangarel Vasnima. You got Admiral Corris backing up worse than a Krogan toilet. I'm glad to see Tally's captain knows how to handle a courtroom. I get the sense you're inclined to believe the defense. 
I'm glad one of the judges is. If you were only giving Rail an active equipment for weapons tests, I've got no problem. We need to test weapons against Geth material. I know you and your father. You put too much of yourselves into this fleet to do anything to jeopardize our safety. And you're both smart enough not to make mistakes like the ones they're saying you made. You and Tally's father go back a long ways? We served together on the gunship Yaska during a bad Batarian raid. We were kids, serving pre-pilgrimage as trainees. A crew of ten, and six were dead. Kinetic barriers were down. Rail and I were alone on the bridge, and the Batarians had drawn off a tramp freighter. Did you save the freighter? Our ship was under orders to hold position, but Rail looked at me and said, we're underage. They can't charge us for breaking formation. <laughs> he took the helm, I took weapons, and we brought that freighter back. The crew called us heroes. The brass called us idiots. They slapped medals on our suits, then kicked us off to pilgrimage a bit earlier than usual. <laughs> That's Rail for you. Can you tell me about the other admirals? Anything that might help me change their minds about Tally? The one you didn't recognize Tally is Admiral Zen. She's on the fence. She takes fleet safety very seriously. On the other hand, she's always been in favor of studying the Geth. I hope she sees the benefits of Rail's research. <laughs> Admiral Chorus is the same whining suit wetter he always was. You disagree with Admiral Chorus's policies, I'm guessing. Or is it personal? The man is a damn Geth apologist. Thinks we were wrong to try to destroy them centuries ago. He wants us to search for new colony possibilities instead of taking back the home world. Any research on the Geth makes him angry. You don't have much of a chance with him, I'm afraid. It sounds like we're dealing with more politics than just Tally bringing back equipment. <laughs> You noticed that, did you? Tally's father wasn't just running weapons tests on the Geth for fun. He was looking for something to give us an edge when we attacked the Geth in full-scale war. I know father wanted to retake the homeworld someday, but are we that close? I don't know, kid. We almost had the votes. We just need to give people hope for victory. I hope the Quarian people find some place to live, Admiral. But it sounds like you're playing with fire. We're too comfortable now, Shepard. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy, and we just ride around doing nothing. We might need that fleet to help fight the Reapers, Admiral. Then we need a world to shelter our non-combatants while we do it. Thanks for the information. Hang in there, kid. Thank you, Admiral. Judging by your ability to play to a crowd, human, I have done Talia a favor by stripping Vas Nima from her name. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zalcoris Vas Quibquib. Do not ask about the name. I take no pleasure in this, Tali, truly. But you have gravely endangered and dishonored our fleet. What exactly is your problem with my crew member, Admiral? I respect Tali immensely. Her actions against Sarah are to be lauded. But, like her father, she wants nothing but the destruction of the Geth. The people we created, the people we wronged. The Geth drove us from our homeworld. Of course they did. We tried to kill them. You and the other admirals appear to have some disagreements beyond Tally's trial. You are correct. Tali, I apologize for it being brought into your proceedings. The other admirals are pushing for war. Rail Zora was researching new weapons to use against the Geth. They would see our fleet destroyed in the skies over our homeworld, rather than find a new colony and adapt. Can the Quarians coexist with the Geth after all your history? I don't know. We all deserve to find out. 
They are our children, Shepard. We have all done horrible things to each other, but it has to end for both groups. That is why I cannot sanction whatever experiments you helped enable, Talizora. I believe this message needs to be sent. I understand, Admiral. I do not agree with you, but I understand. You have a ship named Quip Quip? Oh, here we go. Our people have, during difficult periods, purchased pre-owned vessels from other cultures. And have, on occasion, had difficulty altering the ship's registry information. The citizens of these foreign-named ships have borne the stigma of these names with grace and honor. If it bothers you, maybe you should find another ship. I've occasionally entertained the idea of requesting a transfer. Something with a nice, respectable name, like the Defrens or the Ictomy. But I am proud of the Quip Quip. And I will not flee because of petty insults. We should move on. Goodbye, Talizora. Be well. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I don't hate you, Tali. I just think your father's plans for war were wrong. Talizora Vas Nima. Oh, uh, sorry. I mean Vas Normandy. No offense taken. The change in name was not my choice. Per Admiral Rand's orders, the shuttle is prepared for you and Captain Shepard Vas Normandy. Let's head to the Alarai. Of course. I'll unlock the shuttle now. Good luck with those geth, Talizora. Kill us alive. This is one of the storage units I sent to Father. Looks like parts from a disabled repair drone, plus a reflex algorithm that I didn't recognize. I got this on Haystrom. How did you get these things to your father? Sometimes I left packages at secure drops in civilized areas. Someone on pilgrimage would see that it was shipped home. For very valuable finds, I'd signal home, and Father would send a small ship. What made a part worth sending back to your father? It had to be in working order, something that could be analyzed and integrated into other technology. Anything new had priority. Technology the Geth had developed themselves, signs of modification, clues to their thinking. Hastrum was a war zone. How did you salvage gear in the middle of all that? These suits have more pockets than you'd think. Quarians have learned how to salvage whatever we can, whenever we can. Within reason. We're not Vorcha, but we repair what most people would throw away. Hundreds of the ships in our fleet were salvaged wrecks, either found dead in space or purchased for next to nothing. Does that salvaged gear give you a clue as to what happened here? No, I don't know. Shepard, I checked everything I sent here. I passed up great finds because they might be too dangerous, prone to uncontrolled reactivation or self-repair. I don't know which possibility is worse. That I got sloppy and sent something dangerous, or that Father actually did all this. This console might have something. Most of the data is corrupted, but a few bits are left. They were performing experiments on Geth systems, looking for new ways to overcome Geth resistance to reprogramming. Do you think testing weapons on the Geth was right? It's not testing weapons on prisoners, Shepard. I only sent Father parts, even if he assembled them, they wouldn't be sapient. You saw what Saren and Sovereign did with the Geth. Any research that gives us an advantage is important. Did you know what kind of tests your father was running? No, Father just told me to send back any Geth technology I could find that wasn't a direct danger to the fleet. 
I suspected he might be testing weapons, but I thought he was just working on new ways to bypass shields or armor. Could any of that data clear your name? Doubtful. This is mostly results data, effects of different disruptive hacking techniques. I don't understand all of it. But they may have been activating the Geth deliberately. I don't know. Nothing here says specifically, but if they were, then Father was doing something terrible. What was all this, Father? You promised you'd build me a house on the home world. Was this going to bring us back home? Maybe it's time for your people to let go of reclaiming your world from the Geth. You have no idea what it's like. You have a planet to go back to. My home is one whole breach away from extinction. You've got a place here, Tali. Don't throw it away in a war you don't need. Don't need? Shepard, if I don't wear a helmet in my own home, I die. A single kiss could put me in the hospital. Every time you touch a flower with bare fingers, inhale its fragrance without air filters, you're doing something I can't. Damn the pilgrimage. Without it, I might never have known what I was missing, what we had lost when we lost our home world. Have the Quarians considered colonizing a new world? We'd have enough difficulty reacclimating to our own native environment. Adjusting for exposure to a foreign colony would be even harder. It's the difference between 60 years and 600. For anyone alive now to watch a sunset without a mask, we must take back our home. At the very least, we can take back one ship. <sighs> Come on. Father! No. No, no, no. You always had a plan. Masked life signs or, or an onboard medical stasis program, maybe. You, you wouldn't. They're wrong. You wouldn't just die like this. You wouldn't hey. be... Hey, come here. Damn it. Damn it. I'm sorry. You've got nothing to be sorry about. Maybe he would have known I'd come. Maybe he left a message. Tally, if you are listening, then I am dead. The guests have gone active. I don't have much time. Their main hub will be on the bridge. You'll need to destroy it to stop their VI processes from forming new neural links. Make sure Hangel and Darozen see the data. They must. Thanks, Dad. He knew you'd come for him. He was trying to help you. It's not perfect. It's not what you wanted. But it's the best he could do. I don't know what's worse, thinking he never really cared, or thinking that he did, and that this was the only way he could show it. It doesn't matter. One way or the other, I cared. And I'm here. And we're ending this. This console is linked to the main hub Father mentioned. Disabling it shut down any geth we missed. It looks like some of the recordings remained intact, They'll tell us how this happened, what Father did. You sound like you don't really want to hear it. No. We have to. I know. I just... This is terrible, Shepard. I don't want to know that he was part of this. Do we have enough parts to bring more online? Yes, the new shipment from your daughter will let us add two more geth to the network. We're nearing a breakthrough on systemic viral attacks. Perhaps we should inform the Admiralty Board, just to be safe. No. We're too close. I promised to build my daughter a house on the home world. I'm not going to sit and wait while the politicians argue. We'd have an easier time of it if Tally Zora could send back more working material. Absolutely not. I don't want Tally exposed to any 
political blowback. Leave Tully out of this. Assemble new guests with what we have. Bypass security protocols if need be. It sounds like he was doing this for you. I never wanted this, Shepard. Keela, I never wanted this. Everything here is his fault. I, I tried to pretend it didn't point to him, but this... When this comes up in the trial, they'll... We can't tell them. Not the Admirals, not anyone. Tally, without this evidence, you're looking at exile. You think I don't know that? You think I want to live knowing that I can never see the fleet again? But I can't go back into that room and say that my father was the worst war criminal in our people's history. I cannot. We're not going to decide anything here. Let's see what the Admirals say once we get back. You're my captain in this hearing, Shepard. It's your decision. But please, don't destroy what my father was. Come on. If we wait too long, they'll decide we're already dead, and none of this will matter. Very well. Is the Admiralty Board prepared to render judgment? Sorry, we're late. Tully's Oravas Normandy saved the Alari. I hope this proves her loyalty to the Quarian people. Her loyalty was never in doubt, only her judgment. Perhaps Tally Zora can offer something to encourage more trust in her judgment. Did you find anything on the Alari that could clarify what happened there? Shepard, please. Does Captain Shepard have any new evidence to submit to this hearing? Tally helped me defeat Saren and the Geth of the Citadel. That should be all the evidence you need. I fail to see what relevance... You're not really interested in Tally, are you? This trial isn't about her. It's about the Geth. This hearing has nothing to do with the Geth. You want people to sympathize with them. And Geralt wants to go to war. None of you care about Tally. She knows more about the Geth than any other Quarian alive. You should be listening to her, not putting her on trial. Tally Zora saved the Citadel. She saved the Alari. She showed the galaxy the value of the Quarian people. I can't think of stronger evidence than that. Are the Admirals prepared to render the judgment? Tali Zora, in light of your history of service, we do not find sufficient evidence to convict. You are cleared of all charges. Commander Shepard, please accept these gifts in appreciation for you taking the time to represent one of our people. With all due respect, Admiral, I didn't represent one of your people. I represented one of mine. So you did, Shepard. This hearing is concluded. Go in peace, Talizor of us, Normandy. Kill us alive. Kill us alive. I can't believe you pulled that off. What you said. I've never had anyone speak like that on my behalf. Thank you for being there for my father and me. Even when... Thank you. We can still go back in and get you exiled if you want. <laughs> Thanks. But I'm fine with things like this. It's fun watching you shout. Tally, about what your father said, what he did. You deserve better. I got better, Shepard. I got you. Come on, Tally Zora Vas Normandy. Let's get back to our ship. Thank you, Captain. Now what's this? Quarian politics. 
All that in- You were the only one there for me, Shepard. The only cover I had against that storm. Thank you. The whole trial was insulting. You should have had time to mourn your father. I don't think life is about what you deserve. But my father would be honored that I chose to mourn him by blowing up a lot of gap. I should get back to work. But thanks for checking on me. Shepard, what can I do for you? Can you do anything to give the Normandy an edge over a collector ship? My shield fortification will help, but I don't think there is much more I can do. I'll let you work. Talk to you later. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. It's good to see you too, Liara. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... well... for the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the Collectors with Cerberus. That's not exactly public knowledge. Neither is you being alive, Shepard. Information is my business now. And if you need information on finding people, I'm happy to help. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilya. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with Tracking Officer Dara. You can find Dara at the Transportation Hub. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. What about you, Liara? I could use your help on this mission. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here, things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise, someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Did you check today? You've been a slave to your employees for too long. Shouldn't it be the Shepard, it's good to see you again. Thank you for getting me that system data. Here, it's not much, but hopefully it will help you on your mission. Do you remember the Shadow Broker? With the data you got me, I may be able to find information caches from his agents. Are you on the run from the Shadow Broker? I can help you. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that the Shadow Broker is on the run from me. We crossed paths not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. With this data, I'm a step closer. I've never seen you ready to execute someone in cold blood. What did the Shadow Broker do to you? 
I was on a job with a friend. The Shadow Broker's people caught us. My friend didn't escape. I don't know if he's dead or being interrogated. But I need to find him. I owe him my life. And I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. You can't come with me because you're after the Shadow Broker? What if I help you find him? I'm sorry, Shepard. The galaxy doesn't work that way. I need to find leads, trace information. I need to work. I can't do that on the Normandy. I wish I could. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I will. No. Is there anything else I can help you with? How's your own work going? The data you gave me was extremely helpful. It gave me a target. The Shadow Broker has several contacts here on Ilium. The most powerful is someone called the Observer. Taking down the Observer will put me closer to the Shadow Broker. I could use your help. Tell me what I can do to help. Your data pointed me at logs kept by Shadow Broker agents. The logs were deleted, but it may be possible to reconstruct some of it. The Shadow Broker is cautious. His agents are referred to only by their title and race. My inquiries have narrowed the Observer down to one of five operatives. A Turian, a Salarian, a Krogan, a Batarian, and a Vorcha. If you can refine the list, I'll know where to strike. Do you have any specifics on these agents? I'm afraid not. Nixeris was lucky to get as much as she did. I was happy to help, ma'am. The data is our only hope of determining which one is the Observer. And if we wait too long, they'll all disappear. I'll reconstruct the data and tell you what I find. Thank you, Shepard. When you find something, call me on the radio channel we used in the old days. I can't risk handling this in person. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Shepard, did you get any information on the Observer? All five of the suspects are male. The Observer is female. Something's not right. Who gave you this lead? My assistant, Nixeris. She got the information. Nixeris gave me the information. Nixeris, could I see you in here for a moment? Shepard, I'll talk to you later. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Nixeris had some interesting data hidden away. Thank you, Shepard. I wouldn't have caught her without you. I'm one step closer to the Shadow Broker thanks to you. Here. Nixeris was very well compensated. You need it more than I do. Did you have any trouble with Nixeris? She was very talented. I imagine that had she been ordered to assassinate me, I had never seen her coming. But her barriers needed practice. Practice I'm afraid she won't be getting. What's the next step in your hunt? Now I gather information, peel away layers of lies, and shine light into the shadows. And when I find the Shadow Broker, I hit him with a biotic field so strong that what's left of his body will fit into a coffee cup. Be careful out there, Liara. Don't turn into the thing you're hunting. Says the dead Spectre working for Cerberus. Don't worry, Shepard. I'm not my mother. Everything I'm doing, I'm doing of my own free will. For better or for worse. No. Is there anything else I can help you with? I'll talk to you later, Liara. Serena? Who wants to know? Name's Shepard. Liara Tassoni said you might have information on Thane Krios. Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? Maybe you could help me find him? <laughs> I can tell you, but you won't stop him. When he contacted me, I checked up on him. The man never gives up on a job. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. 
She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. Just tell me where I can find Thane. The Dantius Towers. Penthouse level of Tower 1. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. It doesn't sound like Nasana's just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. I'm ready now. That's what I like to hear. We'll go tonight, as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. The towers are heavily guarded, and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So, this assassin, you planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. There they are, the Dantius Towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. We might find him before it goes that far. Maybe. At least you'll know where he's headed. All right. Let's do this. Hold on. too long they'll be here to greet you soon enough good luck Shepard Who did this to you, and why? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. They just attacked you? Yes. They were too slow. It was horrible. Everyone screaming. The mechs said there was no time. Nasana wanted us out of the way immediately. Then... <coughs> Dogs. <laughs> Here. That should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. He doesn't know where the assassin is. Take your time. I think I'm better. Find the other workers. Help them. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Let's get moving. Hey, I think he went in here. We'll go get him. You go. Get your ass in there, and the Santa's not paying you to stand around. Fine. But I... Please, don't kill us. We'll go, we'll go. Hey, look. They're not Eclipse. You're here to help us, right? It's one reason I'm here. Come on out. It's safe enough. Thank you. We are in your debt. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone, not a merc. He's on his own. Well, whoever sealed us in here. When he found us, I thought we were dead. But he just closed the door and locked us in. This assassin lacks commitment. 
assassin? Here for Nasana, I bet. She's got it coming. You treat people like this, it always comes back to bite you in the ass. I wouldn't stay here too long. It should be safe down on the lower floors. I was just thinking the same thing. Let's go, everybody! Thank you. And tell your assassin to aim for her head. Because she doesn't have a heart. Get moving! We don't need any reinforcements. I'll take care of it. It's under control. I'll go down there myself. Turn around. Very slow. Damn it. Have you seen the assassin? Why are you looking for him? You're not one of Nasana's works. Who are you? Answer my questions and I'll let you go. Look, pal. Even if I knew where he was, I wouldn't tell you. Not the answer I was looking for. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me, my team's right through there. They'll be all over you. Is a little information really worth dying over? He's Nasana? No. I suppose not. Okay, look. Last I heard, the assassin was down on the mezzanine. But the teams on the bridge think they might have spotted him. Nobody knows for sure. Get out of here. I'm going. Are you guys all right in here? Get back! Get back! I'll shoot! Drop the gun, lizard. I don't want to hurt you, but I will. I said get back! I'll do it! Please, don't make me do it. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. What's your name? I... I'm Talon. Don't... Don't come any closer. Talon, I'm Commander Shepard. I don't work with the mercs and I don't want to hurt you. I'm here to help. I... All right. Here. I, uh, don't feel so... Talon! He's my brother. I just want to see if he's all right. Are you the ones who shot the Merc? It wasn't me. Your brother didn't do it? No. Talon was standing here with me. What happened exactly? The Merc found us and shouted at us to move. We, we panicked, and he shouted more. I thought he was going to kill us, then his head just exploded. Talon picked up the Merc's gun, but we were too afraid to leave. Then you showed up. Clean shot. Very nice. There were still Mercs up here. You should get to the lower levels. No need to convince me. Talon, come on, get up. Can we go home now? Yeah, we're getting out of here. Thank you. I'm afraid your men aren't able to respond, Nassana. Damn it! Shepard, but you're dead. I got better. And now you're here to kill me. You really are paranoid, aren't you? Don't patronize me, Shepard. Charming as ever. I'm sure you find this all very ironic. First you take care of my sister, and now you're here for me. Well, you made it this far. Now what? You really think I'm here to kill you? Do you have another reason for destroying my tower? Decimating my security? I'm just looking for someone. You expect me to believe that? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. All the credits in the world won't make this problem go away, Nasana. Who the hell gave you the right to play God? I may not be perfect, but look at you. We both kill people for money. What's the difference? 
You kill people because you think they're beneath you. They're in your way. I kill people when they leave me no choice. You've got a choice. You don't have to do this. I can tell you. What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... Who? <laughs> Nice entrance. I was hoping to talk to you. I apologize, but prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. Do you really think she deserves it? Not for her, for me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. I do want to talk to you, but how did you know I was here? Gunfire and explosions. I prefer to work quietly. If I have to fight through guards, I've made a mistake. I rarely make mistakes. You disrupted my plan, but your distraction eventually proved valuable. Let's cut to the chase. I need you for a mission. Indeed. You're familiar with the Collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's Progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. They told me it was impossible to get to Ilos, too. A fair point. You built a career on performing the impossible. This was to be my last job. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. I hadn't heard that. Is there anything I can do? Giving me this opportunity is enough. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. Talk to the non -Asari. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem, or... Did she kill somebody already? Relax. I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me.
What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off of this world. Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. We've got that covered. If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. Besides, she's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. She knows how to handle herself. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. We can disobey suicidal orders. Why wasn't I told? That's about twice a day. Most of the time, I'm not being stupid about it. I can't say the same for Anaya's superiors. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. I have to go. Good luck. Those were my best troops. Tell me what I need to know, and I won't be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar! <laughs> what was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell! Find peace in the embrace of the Goddess. My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? I'm Commander Shepard, and I need your help with a critical mission, Samara. You honor me, but I am in the middle of an investigation. I need you to help me take down the Collectors. The Collectors are a worthy foe. I would relish testing myself against them. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off-world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. 
You won't be able to stop me. There must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse mercs are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. Hello again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? Why are the mercs after you? I know nothing about any mercenaries, Earth Clan. I'm merely an innocent merchant trying to make his way in life. The Eclipse are out for your blood. I need your help to break into their base. Shouldn't we work together? Yes. You're right, Earth Clan. I'm desperate. I've got angry mercs after me, and now this Asari Justicar. Let's talk. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. So they are perturbed and want to kill me. It sounds like you're a swindler, and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. weapon once. I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. I'm not one of them. I'm new. I thought being Elnora the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. You chose your side, Elnora. And you lost. Screw that bastard and screw you. night when I killed that ridiculous bolus. A close exploding rounds blew the little bastard's suit wide open. <laughs> I can't wait to see some real action. Next time I go home, my friends are gonna be so jealous. Elnora was the killer. It's a good thing we took her out. Detective and I would be interested in this. Gunship above!
the planner. Hold the fire! This looks like a shipping manifest. It shows the Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of red sand. This isn't the information Samara needs, but it does implicate the Volus. I'm sure Detective and I would be interested in this. We've got to keep moving. I am a biotic god. I think things, and they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am biotics made flesh. You need help. You need help? You stand before the mightiest biotic ever. Yes. The Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. They may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. But I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Are you part of Pitney Forest Trade Group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. He hasn't reported your disappearance. Probably so his departure will get delayed. Pitney will pick money over friends every time. Bah! I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first... The leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasea about like a rag doll. Shepard, this guy couldn't tie his bootlaces, much less fight. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. Wasea will tear you apart. Take a nap. You'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic rich blood. But, great wind. Biotic god. I'm. I. What was I saying? I'm. tired. You. may be right. Yes, I'm tired. Old map. Destroy the universe later. So much for Godhood. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off world. First, a Justicar shows up. Now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass! Enemy! Then stay down. some more. Some record of that ship must be around here. We're clear for the moment. That must be the ship Samara was looking for. Should we head back to the police station and give her the name or look around first? Let's give her the name and keep moving. I've got the name of the ship. 
Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service, so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. I can see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company of honorable heroes. Shall we return to your ship? I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you've got there. Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard, and any evidence he brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Thanks, Shepard. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger, and a human at that. But you came through. Never heard of this Elnora. Sounds like she was just starting her career. Good thing you cut it short. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. I have proof that Pitney 4 smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. We'll take this. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Obviously he is too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected in an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah, and he may not. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're gonna find when we hit the Collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. Do you need something? 
Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Keppral Syndrome. Are you going to be alright until the end of the mission? I should be fine for another 8 to 12 months. The more time I spend in humid environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious. Or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. Can't they do something about that? The Hanar have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. Then don't live on Kaji, or use breathers. Drell have a close relationship with the Hanar. We rely on each other. The best we can do is keep our homes very dry inside. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar illuminated primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. Shepard. I heard you wanted to speak with me. Yes. Now that you are here, though, it seems more difficult to talk about. Are you feeling sick? I could get the doctor. No, no. Though I suppose that is a part of it. My mortality has me dwelling on things. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyad. I haven't seen him for a very long time. How long has it been since you talked? Ten years. He showed me some of his schoolwork and asked if we could dance crazy. We did that when he was younger. What sort of dance is that? It's... I checked my extranet contacts. I expect an update on my next target. The console plays music. Oh, unfashionable. Kolyat jumps into the room. My father runs around in circles. I scoop him up, toss him into the air. He shrieks, laughs, spin me. The console beeps. I put him down. Click the message. Father, he pleads. He tucks my sleeve. I need to read this, I say. I don't look at him. Did something happen to them? I abandoned them. Oh, not all at once. Nothing dramatic, no sneaking out in the middle of the night, no final argument or slammed door. I just did my job. I hunted and killed across the galaxy. Away on business, my wife would tell people. I was always away on business. You never mentioned this before. Why now? When my wife departed from her body, I attended to that issue. I left Kolyat in the care of his aunts and uncles. I have not seen him or talked to him since. Well, that's not the choice I expected. Why didn't you raise him yourself? My body is blessed with the skills to take life. The Hanar honed them in me. I have few others. I didn't want that life for Cole yet. I hoped he would find his own way. If he hated me, so be it. He would not have shared the path of sin. I used my contacts to trace Cole yet. He has become disconnected. He does what his body wills. You'll have to explain that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self, the soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul is weakened by despair or fear, when the body is ill or injured, the individual is disconnected, no longer whole. What's wrong with him? Is he hurt? Something happened that should not have. He knows where I've been, what I've done. I don't know his reasons, but he has gone to the Citadel. He has taken a job as a hitman. I would like your help to stop him. He is... This is not a path he should walk. 
I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you need me. Shepard. How are you? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. I may be rusty at it, however. If you are patient, I would love to talk. How much do you know about our mission? I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you, and that you seek to destroy the Collectors. That is enough for me. You don't want to know why the Collectors need to be fought? When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, you learn the dangers of curiosity. If I must kill a man because he has done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? I'd like to hear more about the criminal you were chasing on Nos Astra. I hope you will understand if I wish to avoid this topic. It is deeply tied to my code and beliefs. You might say it is personal. What do you think of Cerberus? I've heard rumors, but learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. I should get back to work. It has been my pleasure, Commander. I am glad you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. It's all right. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Tell me about her. She is an Ardat Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardat Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain, you end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this... monster. She is my daughter. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I own nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long-lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth. Customs. The CSEC office may have more information. You 
think Citadel security would be the tightest in the galaxy. I see no fewer than 14 fatal flaws a skilled assassin could exploit. Eight of them existed when I was here 10 years ago. Yes? My associate is trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many drell here. There we go. One of my men reported a drill recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Duct rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. Me? Yeah, when you erased a file, it would say I delete data like you on the way to real errors. Buggy, though. It crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake and you should fix the problem yourself. What was it you called, Mouse? A duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. Aren't the ducts dangerous? Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them. Lacerated by fan blades, broken by a deadfall, suffocated by vacuum exposure. Those are just the ones we know about. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. The mouse survived long enough that he can't fit in the ducts anymore. He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. I've heard enough. The mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepherd VI when you talk to him. It sounds like your boy's running with the wrong crowd. Yes. I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. We better hurry then. You didn't tell him that Kolyat plans to assassinate someone. He's a cop. He tried to stop Kolyat and one of them could end up dead. I don't want that. Yes, of course. That might Thank be you. more difficult. No, that's fine. Yeah, sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You mouse? What are you- Oh shit! Krios! I thought you were tired. Commander Shepard? I, I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. We need you to answer some questions. And the people I work for- Look! I can't answer questions for just anybody. But you can for me. You gave another drill instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I didn't ask. Because the people I work for, they can make me disappear. I'd like to help you, Krios. You always done right by us, but I ain't gonna die for you. Look, you know Thane. He wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Do it for him. I want to. He was always nice to us. But these people ain't nice, Krios. Nobody's gonna know you talk to us. Mouse, I swear that you won't be named. All right, all right. He came with that hollow you took of me. He said he wanted a job. I ran through your old contacts to see who might give him a shot. The guy who offered was Elias Kellum. One other thing. That Shepard VI you're selling? Oh shit, you heard- Look, you were dead. It was totally legal to make a VI of you. Give me a copy, we'll call it even. What? I mean, sure, yeah, absolutely. Sorry about the whole... Just so you know, there's three Volas who are patching it all the time. Tell me about Kelly. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in them big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward. Shin Akiba. He's seriously bad news. You did good, Mouse. Yeah. 
I live long enough to pat myself on the back. Kellum will never know. I hope not. I'm out of here, Krios. Next time you're in town, just don't bring the family. That couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees. Bare feet black. A dead-end future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then. But I left him as I left Kolyat. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? We must carry the weight of our decisions, Shepard. You, of all people, know this. Yes? Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse? Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum? Shit. Uh, look, this is awkward. Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. He pays you off. You were eager to help us before. What about now? Is it too inconvenient? I said I'd help. It's just there'll be repercussions if I don't handle it right. He and I give each other space. It keeps the peace. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight. And if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. We've got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Captain, his lawyer's here. Bet Elias has his VI set to page him if c -Sec gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? You talk to him. Appeal to his self-interest. I'll put the screws to him if he needs it. Very well. I'll pretend to be on his side. But if we waste too much time negotiating, Bailey won't be able to stall Kellum's advocate. Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. What the hell are you two? Bailey has nothing to do with this. We just want a few answers. Off the record. Off the record in a C-Sec interrogation room? Sure. You hired an assassin. Who do you want dead? I want to see my advocate. Your advocate hasn't arrived. We're trying to find him. I'm not saying a damn word until he's here. You two are in way over. Pay attention, Mr. Callum. That wasn't a good idea, kid. That is gonna cost you. Control your temper. We want him to talk. Sorry. My associate gets a little excited during interrogations. Hit me again, asshole. Every bunch is another credit in my pocket. Yeah, thought so. Chicken shit. Think carefully, Elias. I want to catch the assassin, not you. Why stick your neck out for him? You want me to confess to putting a contract on someone? You think I'm stupid? I get the name, I walk out. You never see me again. I got no reason to believe you. You don't have a reason to disbelieve, either. This isn't working, Shepard. We're making no progress. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. I'm done being ah! patient. Give me a name, or I'll cut your balls off and sell them to a Krogan. All right, all right. Fucking quit it. Ain't worth this. Joram Talid. Turian running for office on the Zakir Award. He messes with legitimate businessmen. I'm gonna stop it. Where and when? His apartment, the 800 blocks. You better hurry. 
What's going on here? Get away from my client. You... you played me! I've enjoyed our chat, Elias. Thanks for your help. This isn't over. Nicely done. Wait. You got what you wanted. Who ratted me out? I guess you'll have something to think about while you're in here, huh? I'll find out. And once I have a name, I'll... Elias, as your legal advocate, I advise you to shut the hell up. Where were you five minutes ago? Held up in traffic. What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram Talid. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. Are things so bad that people can openly campaign as anti-human? Before the Battle of the Citadel, the alien population thought we were violent upstarts. Look what's happened since then. A human fleet guarding the station for months? C-Sec filled with humans? Anderson does what he can, but some people have lived on the station since before humans had starships. They see it as a coup. If a majority votes for him, like it or not, that's how the system works. That's a nice ideal, Shepard. Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, sir. There he is. How do you want to play this? Follow to lead on the maintenance catwalks. Tell me what he's doing. The Krogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Where will you be? The darkest corner with the best view. I'm on Kira, Lord of Hunters. Grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. You can count on it. Show the humans they won't get their way. Ha! <laughs> Thanks. Just remember, it's not all about the humans. They couldn't have gained this much power without the Council's support. Taking back our ward is only the first step. We must remove the cowards and appeasers on the Council. This doesn't stop here. I won't rest until the humans have been removed from power. Other races wait patiently for hundreds or thousands of years to earn an embassy. To the humans? No! They win one battle and think they're owed a Council seat. My people won a Krogan war before we asked for that honor. That's not how we do things. We respect tradition. Humans think anything ten years old is obsolete. Worthless. How can they contribute to a 2,000-year-old government? Have we seen anything good since the humans moved into Zakara Ward? <laughs> I like their food. <laughs> I'll have to take your word for that. I can't eat human food. But let's be serious. Since the Shinakiba Enclave opened, crime has increased. Incidents of racial tension are up 24%, despite 116 new CSEC officers assigned to the ward. Of course, most of those officers aren't Turians, or Salarians, or Asari. They're humans who turn a blind eye to the crimes of other humans. That corruption goes all the way to the top. Don't think a human with a CSEC captain's badge is any less a crook than the thugs he deals with. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. You can count on it. Show the humans they won't get their way. Ha! <laughs> Thanks. Just remember... I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day.
One of his guards is talking to the bartender. Looks like a shakedown. Target in sight. No sign of trouble. Where is he now? He's meeting a couple of mercenaries. Looks like the same group his bodyguard comes from. Maybe he saw Kolyad in here somewhere. Also a possibility. There are obstructions ahead. I'll try to go around. Don't lose him. You're running for office. Lots of people watch you. Yes, sir. Hey! Who are you? What are you doing back here? I'm with the Citadel Health and Safety. We've had vermin reports and storage areas around here. You can't be serious. How did you get in here? If I didn't have authorization, how did I get in? You see any other doors? There's the keeper. Never mind. Just... just go on through, okay? Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Just don't let my boss see you. Vane. I saw. He's heading to the lead department. Call yet? This, this is a joke. Now, now you show up. Help me, Drell. I'll do whatever you want. C-Sec. Put the gun down, son. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. They'll have snipers outside. I don't need... <laughs> what the hell? Delete. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, I will. Take the boy into custody. You son of a bitch! Your father doesn't have much time left, Paul yet. He's trying to make up for his mistakes. What? So you came to get my forgiveness? So you can die in peace or something? I came to grant you peace. You're angry because I wasn't there when your mother died. You weren't there when she was alive. Why should you be there when she died? Your mother. They killed her to get to me. It was my fault. What? After her body was given to the Deep, I went to find them. The Trigger Men, the Ringleaders. I hurt them. Eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were... older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? Kolyat, I've taken many bad things out of the world. You're the only good thing I ever added to it. This isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys, take Kolyat and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. You're doing them a favor, Bailey. Thanks. Yeah, well, send me a Christmas card or something. I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. They've been in there a while. Uh, the kid's been through a lot. I ran some searches in the CSAC archive. About ten years back, a bunch of real bad people were killed. Like someone was cleaning house. The prime suspect was a drill. We never caught him. Ten years is a long time. Whoever was responsible for that probably doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I guess you're right about that.
How'd it go? Our problems are... They aren't something I can fix with a few words. We'll keep talking, see what happens. Your boy shot some people. No one I feel sympathy for, but there it is. I watched those guys shaking down businesses and threatening humans. But he can't just get away with it. The kid wants to make a difference. Give him community service. Community service for attempted murder? What jury would agree to that? None that I've seen. This would need to stay out of the judiciary. Strictly within CSEC. Interesting. I'll think about it. Thank you, Captain. job she needs doing. You up for some work? That depends on what Arya has in mind. Arya's gotten word that some blood-packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers, a Krogan named Patriarch. She'd like you to keep that from happening. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done, and you'll get your due. I'll be back when the job is done. Good luck. So, either of you ever been to the Citadel? Shepard. I'm sorry. What's going on here? You ought to be all right. Just take her easy. Looks like you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. Humans aren't welcome at Afterlife? It's just that one Batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. Humans ain't exactly held in high regard around here. That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive it. Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk, and an hour later he was puking blood. Duly noted. Let's get back to work. Be careful out there. party and everything. <laughs> no hard feelings, though, huh? No, really. Thanks for taking the time to chase a small-time crook off the Citadel so I could squat in this shithole for years. And if you leave the straight and narrow, I'll be there to follow up. Right, right, because you don't have planets to save and bigger shit like that. Nothing better to do than keep me down. Goddamn saviors of the galaxy. Messing with a man's living. What do you think these people will do when they find out you're poisoning your customers? Poisoning what now? This has nothing to do with you! Who's next? Turians? You don't like them either, right? Answer the damn question, Forvan! You want a piece of me? I'll leave your corpse for the fortune. Not taking any chances. Then he had close family. They'll just want revenge. 
kill the family first. Then he'll get angry and come at you stupid. And then you kill him. I don't think I know you, human. I'm the Patriarch. Arius Patriarch. What do you want? Some people want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course. Arya wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. But perhaps Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay. And see who thinks me important enough to kill. Here's an idea. Let me handle the assassins for you. And so your name grows, while I remain an old man who lets others fight his battle. No. You remain a powerful warlord with forces at his command. Not just Arya's trophy. Well, you could be. You could be my Trent, fighting for my honor. If you would do this for me, I would be grateful. I might even be a Krogan again. Out of our way, human. You here for Patriarch? What if we are? You gonna do something about it? Patriarch sent us. Said to do whatever it takes. Your patriarch's cramp? I wasn't aware the old man had one. You should have done your homework. them all. And everyone knows that the Patriarch is not to be crossed. Thanks to you, Arya may think of me as more than a trophy. A real advisor, maybe. Or even a threat. Take care, Patriarch. For the first time, I like that name. By the way, be careful with Arya. Will approve of what you've done, I think. But not of you altering the balance of Omega. I think it reminds her too much of herself. Arya wants to speak with you, Lord. She heard you took on the Blood Pack assassins yourself. I wouldn't keep her waiting. Word has it that Patriarch's Krant took out the men sent here to kill him. Funny, I didn't know he had a Krant. Patriarch has more influence than you thought. I see. Well, maybe I should watch my back then. It's not what I asked, but you got the job done. Do you need something else? This data pad was on one of the mercs that was after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? I'll, I'll look into it. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. I'm not looking for payment from you. Look at you. So proud. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. It sounds like you and Patriarch have a history. Our history is Omega's history. Long, bloody, and always ending in my favor. The details are complicated. When I arrived, Omega was lawless, a land of opportunity. I built alliances and destroyed the fools who wouldn't get in line, which was most of them. But Patriarch was something different. A powerful friend. I'm surprised you were ever anything but rivals. 
We were allies for a hundred years. I suppose he decided that was long enough. It wasn't a surprise when he turned. He controlled the muscle. My people contributed more subtle action. Espionage, politics, assassination. Fortunately for me, his men had become accustomed to certain benefits of working with Asari. Superior intel? Assassination? That's cute. No, I took advantage of certain skills my people try to downplay. Patriarch's men abandoned him in droves. In the end, we fought face to face on this very spot. The toughest fight of my life. But of course I won. Patriarch doesn't sound like something an Asari would come up with. I found it humorous. He wanted power. And we pretended he had it with a word that doesn't exist for my people. I eventually found a certain respect for the title and the man. So you kept him around as a trophy? I did. A trophy and an example. Whenever someone thought about taking me on, I pointed them to Patriarch. Dignity is one of the few commodities not available on Omega. Interesting, but let's move on. Do you need something else? An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I'd start looking. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. Are you here about my daughter? My nephew died a week ago and no one seems to care. The medic said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I think she was murdered too, and I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you one of Arya's people? I'm here to help. Does it matter who sent me? No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. <laughs> my baby is gone. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. We will be respectful. I'll examine her things. Neff. I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the Halex is flowing through me, the way she looks at me with a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Read the oldest entry. Hey, Diary. Cycle 34, Orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your roots name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. 
I'm sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces, we can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Close the hollow journal. This is Morin's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. Then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Anyone who successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds more like a highly evolved killer than a genetic defective. The condition has been present since my people huddled around fires at night. Perhaps it is symbiotic rather than a defect. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. So, we have to lure her out? Exactly. Shepard, you read my mind. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. Hello again. Did you find anything? Is there anything I can do to help? What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and... Uh, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time to the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morinth. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Morinth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this Morinth did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... That... I will bring justice to the one that did this. We swear to you. Neff will rest easy soon. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> My baby. I should go. What do you want? Someone told me the rest of Afterlife is nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jerud. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. If someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. You 
must go in alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake and Morinth will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. Hey, do you know where to get tickets for Expel 10? I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I wanna... I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. I don't have any tickets. If you score some, I got some creds for you. Don't be like that. I got creds. We'll go back to my place. I got simple tastes. Back off, asshole. I'm a dancer, not a hooker. You got a mouth on you. I'll enjoy watching you use it. The lady asked you to step away. What the hell? I'm just looking for a good time. This isn't your business. Good times are over. Thanks for that. Security was asleep. The music here used to be avant-garde. Uh, hi. I need help right now, and I don't know who to ask. You're human, and you don't look high, so you're it. Can you help me out? Slow down and tell me what the problem is. Right. Slow down. Sorry, I, I just don't know what to do. My friend Moiral is doing a piece on Omega Games. She's hanging with Floret. He's the worst of the worst. Your friend could get hurt. Yeah, and she's going to. See, Floret's on to her. His gang is on the way here, and they're going to make a mess of her. I have to get a message to her, and fast. You seem to have a lot of information. I'm her tech. I've been monitoring the gang's calm. The last transmission said Floret's going to splatter her. Man, I'm a tech junkie. I don't know how to handle this. What do you want me to do? She and I have a code. If you go over and say two words to Florent, my friend will get the message and get out of there. The two words are terminal and eternity. In that order, please tell me you can do that. She's going to die. I can do that. Thank you, thank you. Remember, terminal and eternity. In that order, just work them into a sentence. Oh, are you still here? You're an interesting one. You need something, man? Is there a public extranet terminal around here? In a club? You don't have an Omni tool? That is a pretty strange question. I get by on public terminals. My Omni tool's been broken for an eternity. That's a tough break. I'm done talking to you now. Hey, Florit. I have to pee. Yeah? Hurry back, Moirol. I'm ready to head out. gone from here. Hey, we gotta pay the man. We work for Hink. You hear that? So, what do you think of us now? How about I give you enough creds for your boss, then you leave and stay gone. No one gets hurt. Works for me. Let's go. My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. 
Why is that? You and I want the same things. Do we? What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? I'm curious about a band called Expel 10. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon. Maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that, you know? What do you think of Halle? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? Do you know the artist Borda? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Do you know Bayanya? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and I want you alone. I love clubs. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? People feel safest right before they die. It's true, we're never safe. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission? I think we share that, you and I. We've both killed many times, but that's where the similarities end. Why do you say that I've killed? What do you know? Let's stop playing games. Look into my eyes and tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. Don't count on it. But you... Who are you? Oh no. I see what's going on. The bitch herself found a little helper. Marin! Mother, do not call me that. I can't choose to stop being your daughter. Mother, you made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me. Enough, Morin! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari, but they are not ready to reveal this, so I must die. You are a disease to be purged, nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. End of the line, Morin. And they call me a monster. <coughs> in the embrace of the goddess. I am ready to leave this place and get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? Do you want to talk about what happened? Shepard, what do you think I will say? What can I say? I just killed the bravest and smartest of my daughters. There are no words. I will try another time. For now, show mercy on a broken old warrior and let us leave. Let's go.
My name is Dr. Gavin Archer. The situation is urgent. We're facing a catastrophic VI breakout. I'll explain the details later, but you must retract that transmission dish. The controls aren't far from your position. You have to hurry. Be advised, this is a secure facility. All weapons must be... Over here. in a computer room on the far side of the base. There are Geth on the loose. A rogue VI program has seized control, and I've lost a lot of friends today. I'd hate to see you join them. Please, watch yourself. Be advised. This is a secure facility. All weapons must be declared upon entry and checked with security personnel on duty. going on around here man's reach exceeding his grasp come on I'll explain you have my thanks commander Shepard you bought us some time though probably not much this isn't over yet you owe us that explanation this is project overlord an attempt to gain influence over the Geth by interfacing a human mind with a VI. The results have been less than satisfactory. I'd hate to see what you'd call a disaster. You can't dismiss the entire project. We did succeed, at least partially. My brother, David, volunteered to serve as a test subject, but his mind couldn't handle the VI connection. He's like a virus now, infecting our networks and seizing control of any technology he finds. It's why you had to destroy the dish. Imagine if his program got off-world. How does he take control of electronics? This is a hybrid intelligence the likes of which I've never seen. I don't know where the man ends and the machine begins. You should have considered that before you started the experiment. We couldn't be expected to account for every outcome. Certainly not the abomination David has become. David... The VI has fortified itself in the main laboratory at Atlas Station. It's in lockdown now. To enter, you need to manually override security from our facilities in the Prometheus and Vulcan stations.
And what happens if I have to kill your brother? Let's just hope it doesn't come to that. Tell me about the Vulcan and Prometheus stations. Vulcan station is our geothermal plant. It generates power for the four outposts. Prometheus station is a crashed Geth ship full of dormant machines. We use them for our experiments. What went wrong with the experiment? David volunteered to interface with the VI to give it genuine consciousness. Theoretically, it should have been safe, but with artificial intelligence, there's no such thing as safe. Then you shouldn't have attempted it. And what if you've never attempted to find the Reapers, Commander Shepard? Where would the galaxy be then? Sometimes you have to ignore the risks. What can you tell me about Atlas Station? Atlas Station is the main laboratory where all of our VI experiments take place. It's your final goal once you've overridden the lockdown. It's also where my brother became something else. Tell me more about Project Overlord. We wanted to turn the Geth's religious impulse into a weapon. When we saw them following Saren, we realized they could be swayed. And if a proper figurehead was created, a virus with a face, if you will, the Geth might be controlled. That's an ambitious undertaking. It would be the perfect weapon. Victory without casualties. We could avoid war with the Geth altogether. That was the plan, anyway. I'm heading out now. The other stations are all within driving distance. Best of luck, Commander. Doctor, we've hit the override at Falcon Station and are moving on. Shepard out. the catch. I knew this was too easy. Come on, let's move.
Gears up. Get ready. I wouldn't be surprised if this button summoned a reaper. says hello. Eureka, David. You're a miracle worker. <laughs> Square root of 906.01 is 30.1. Square root of 912.04 is 30.2. David, can you repeat my notes from Thursday's experiment? Square root of 918.09 is 30.3. David, please pay attention. Loud. It's getting loud in here. I'm sorry. You didn't deserve that. Would you mind repeating my notes from Thursday's experiment? Log 137.3. The experiment yielded no discernible patterns of geth obedience. End dictation now, David. Hell, the elusive man will have my head for this. Thank you. And how are you feeling today? Square root of 924.16 is 30.4. Your plugs would be good. David, I want you to order the Geth to take a step forward. How does he do it? David is a mathematical savant. His autistic mind can interpret the Geth language at its most basic form and mimic their fanatics. With his photographic memory, cross-referencing the meaning as a snap, he's literally a human computer. And you think he can interface with the Geth's neural network? I do. Is that even safe, Doctor? I see no harm in finding out. Thank you. 
I'm begging you. Don't do anything rash. Rash? Like forcing your own brother into an experiment? I know how this must look, but I never intended any harm to come to him. You must believe me. It's not like I planned this. It was an accident. Seeing David communicate with the Geth, it all seemed harmless. And before you knew it, you were running your own private hell. I had no choice. The demands were incredible. The elusive man doesn't broker failure. Any war we fight with the Geth will be bloody. I was asked to find a way to avoid that. And how many have already died for this project? More souls than will ever forgive me. But I won't apologize for radical ideas. If my work spares a million mothers mourning the loss of a million sons, my conscience will rest easy. Look at him. Your brother will never be the same. The damage may not be permanent. He might recover some semblance of his mind. Cerberus will never leave him alone. Your brother will always be a lab rat. Bit a well cared for lab rat. At least he'd still be alive. So you'll sacrifice your brother's happiness for your own ambition. enough of your cruelty to know he'll never be free from it here. I'm taking him away. No, leave him! He's too valuable! <laughs> you even think about coming after your brother and this bullet will be waiting for you. Then we'll see who's valuable. Where will you take him? Grissom Academy. They can help special cases like David. Minus the torture. Joker, contact the Academy and let them know we've got someone who needs their help. Aye, aye, Commander. The elusive man can fire me if he doesn't like it. Square root of 912.04 is 30.2. It all seemed harmless. Square root of 912.04 is 30.2. It all seemed harmless. Square root of 912.04 is 30.2. It all seemed harmless. Building plans have spike shares industry-wide. 
Shepard, it's good to see you again. So, what can I do for you? I know you're looking for the Shadow Broker. Cerberus gave me data on where to find it. Interested? Absolutely. I had no idea. Let me see what you've got. It looks like a leaked transmission between Shadow Broker operatives. Some hints as to the location and... It's about Farron. He's still alive. Who's Farron? He was a friend. He helped me recover your body from the Shadow Broker. Why did the Shadow Broker want my corpse? He was going to sell you to the Collectors, but Farron and I stopped him. Farron sacrificed himself to save me. So you rescued me. Then how did I end up with Cerberus? Well, they gave me intel to help recover you. They actually put Farron with me in the first place. After I got out, I gave you to them. They said they could bring you back. You kept me out of the Collector's hands. Without you, I couldn't have come back. Thank you. You don't know what that means to me, Shepard. I didn't know who you'd be when you came back. If you'd feel... They brought you back. And now they're giving me a chance to find Farron. After two years, I hadn't even dreamed. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. What's the next step? I... I don't know. I need to prepare to think. I'm going home. Use my terminal if you need any local intel. You okay? I've spent two years plotting revenge. Now I have the chance to make it a rescue. Let me help. I'll come by your apartment. Okay. Hopefully I'll have a plan by then. Thank you, Shepard. Seal off those trace samples and get them back to the lab. We got multiple shots fired. Yeah, techs are going over the place now. Central, we got an open carrier on this end. Switching to a coded relay. What's going on? This area is sealed off. Please step back, sir. Sealed off? Why? Someone tried to kill your friend, Commander Shepard. Thank you, officer. Your people are dismissed. You can't do that. Already done. Tila Vasir, Special Tactics and Recon. A Spectre? I heard your status was reinstated. Good. You're one of our most famous operatives. Might even get you to sign my chest plate. So, I assume you had business with your friend this evening, Commander. Liara was following a lead on the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? Dangerous enemy to have. Liara was expecting me. She would have left a message here. Her office wasn't safe. I'm not surprised. Ilium is just Omega with expensive shoes. I haven't found anything useful for tracking her down yet. You knew Tassoni better than I do. Where would she have hidden her backups? Let me take a look around. The picture changed when you touched it. It must be keyed to your ID. What does it show now? It's a Prothean dig site. Liara did leave a message. There are a few Prothean-looking objects around the apartment. Let's see what we can find. Vasir, I've got something here. Backup disk. Let's try it on her terminal. It looks like she recorded a call. What have you got for me, Sagat? It was tricky, but you paid for the best. 
I can narrow it down to a cluster, maybe even a system. How soon can you have it? Shouldn't take long. Come to my office. Barrier Frontiers in the Dracon Trade Center. Gotta say, though, to Sony, you're making me a little nervous. How big is the trouble that could come out of this? Relax, Sikat. I'll see you in a few hours. This must be important. The Shadow Broker's people already tried to kill her once. I know where the Dracon Trade Center is. My car's outside. Let's go. Area Frontier's offices are located on the third floor. I don't hear police chatter. We must have missed the party. Liara's in there! Kila. They just took out three floors to make sure she's dead. I'll grab this guy car and seal off the building from the top. I'll start down here and work my way up. Just leave some for me. Might have been a few seconds faster, I could have stopped them. Is this Saket? Must have been. No sign of that data Liara talked about. Looks like a dead end. Oh, uh, speaking of which, did you find your friend's body? You mean this body? Liara. This is Vasir. She's a specter. This is the woman who tried to kill me. You've had a rough day, so I'll let that slide. Why don't you put that gun down? I saw you. I doubled back after I left. I watched you break into my apartment. You didn't know where Liara went, because she hid the message. You needed me to find it for you. Thanks for the help. Once she had my location, she signaled the Shadow Broker's forces. They bombed the building to take me out. She found Sakat, took his data, and killed him. I'm guessing she's still got the disc on her. Good guess. Not that you'll ever see what's on it. You pure blood bitch! I'm fine, by the way. Thanks for asking. Come on, she's getting away! There she is. Hang a right. No weight left. I'm on her. Hang a left.
She's around the corner. We're not going into the construction site, are we? Oh, goddess. I'm not letting her escape with that data. Go, 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 go! I'm going! Traffic! Oncoming traffic! We'll be fine. She's almost out of range. She's dropping proximity charges. I noticed. She's got reinforcements! What kind of guns does this thing have? It's a taxi. It has a fare meter. Wonderful. Truck! I know. Truck! I know. There we go. You're enjoying this. A head-on collision at this speed. Yeah, I hear those can be bad for you. Some damn backup. Come on, we can climb over to get to Vizier's car. What kind of hotel is this? Azure. It's a luxury resort with an exotic edge. Azure is slang for a part of the Asari body in some areas of Ilium. Where? Mainly the lower reaches, near the bottom. I meant where on the Asari body. So did I. Vizier, it's over. Hey! Hey you! Come here. What's your name? M mariana Mariana, you want to live, don't you? Tell those people that you want to live. Please. We'll get you out of here safely, Mariana. Well, that's good to hear. All you had to do was walk away. Now it gets ugly. Please, I have a son. A son? I hope he gets to see you again. I've heard losing a parent is just horrific for children. It scars them for life. I'm going to end you, Fazir. It's okay, Liara. We'll handle it. The usual way. You want Mariana's little boy to grow up without a mommy, Shepard? 
Thermal clips on the ground now. Power cells too. Is that it? What? Vasir. I sacrificed hundreds of human lives to save the Destiny Ascension. I unleashed the Rachni on the galaxy. So for your sake, I hope your escape plan doesn't hinge on me hesitating to shoot a damn hostage. You're bluffing. Now, Liara. <laughs> the drone. I'll send them flying. Scoped and dropped! I'll finish you myself. Personal data pad. This has what we need to find the Shadow Broker. You're dead. The Shadow Broker has been in power for decades. He's stronger than anything you've ever faced. Is that why you sold out the Council to work for him? You think I betrayed the Council? Like Saren? Go to hell. 
The Broker's given me damn good intel over the years. Intel that saved lives and kept the Citadel safe. So if the Broker needs a few people to disappear, I'll pay that price without hesitation. Spectres don't blow up buildings filled with innocent people. Sure we do. We get our hands dirty so the Council doesn't have to. The Counselors might complain about our methods to soothe their consciences, but they never look too closely. Besides, you're with Cerberus. You have any idea what your terrorist friends have done? I know who they are and what they've done. It doesn't matter. I think it does. You want to judge me? Look in the mirror. Kidnapping kids for biotic death camps? Killing Alliance admirals who ask questions? And you're with them. Don't you dare judge me. Oh. Don't you? Uh. Eliminate to Sony and retrieve the data. Civilian casualties not a concern. The Seer's dead. I'm putting the data through to the Normandy's computers. We can be at the Shadow Broker's base in a few hours. He'll know about Vizier before long. If he decides to... We'll get Farron out of there alive, Liara. I promise. I know. You're here to help. Just like always. That's not a good thing? When we first met on Therum, you saved me from the Geth. You fought a Krogan Battlemaster while I cowered. Now you're doing it again. And I'm still leaning on you for help. That's what friends do, Liara. I can get us there based on Sakat's data. The Normandy stealth drive will keep them from detecting us. The Shadow Broker's agents are still shooting their way through Ilium. With luck, they won't notice we've left until it's too late. That's a little cold. They killed innocent people. You know what I mean. Do I? When I hit the ground back at the Trade Center, you went after Vizier without a backward look. A little fall wasn't going to kill you. I had to stay on Vizier. I had to stay rational, make the call, like I did with Sakat. That's Vizier's fault, not yours. Sakat had no idea what the stakes were. I put him in harm's way to get the data I needed. I got him killed. And I'd do it again. But from here on out, things will be simple. Get in, get Farron, get out. And kill anyone who tries to stop us. That's it? That's it. Will you just stop for a second? We'll be jumping several light years. There's time to talk. About what? About us. Shepard, listen, I'm glad you're here. Are you worried there might be terminals you need me to hack? That's not fair. You were dead. I came back. It's not that easy. You can't just come back and have two years of mourning suddenly vanish. I'm sorry, Shepard. I can't get into this. For now, let's just focus on getting Farron back. Fine. Hagalas. The oceans boil during the day. Then snap freeze ten minutes after sundown. The Shadow Broker lives in this? His ship follows the sunset, completely undetectable in the storm, unless you know where to look. How do we get inside? The shuttle bay is locked down. We'll need to land on the ship and hunt for a hatch. We can't stay outside for long. There's a constant lightning storm where the hot and cold air collide. signals from a communications array near the back of the ship. There's nothing below but maintenance equipment. We have to find an entrance near the back shielding. This ship is incredible. It must have taken decades to build in secret. I wonder what happened to the contractors. 
I think we can guess. Navigating this storm is brutal. If the ship's engines stop, even for a moment, at least the Shadow Broker would go down with us. That's comforting. Motion dampeners. I bet you can't even hear the storm from inside the ship. Not even a guardrail. I bet the Broker's agents love patrolling the hull. At least the view is nice. leads directly to the communication signals. It's locked. Hang on, I've got a bypass shunt program that can crack it. How long will it take? I don't know, Shepard. I've never broken into the Shadow Broker's base before. Well, not this one anyway. Seen it. More of them. How many guards do the Shadow Worker have? I told you. Hold your positions no matter the cost. Getting you out of here. No. Farron. What the hell is the broker trying to do to you? The equipment is sensitive to tampering. This chair plugs into the broker's info network. You have to shut off the power. Pull me out now and my brain cooks. Do you know where we can cut the power? It won't be easy. You'll have to go to Central Operations. Easy or not, we're all getting out of here. Good. Central Operations is down the hall. You know the Shadow Broker's waiting for you, right? I'm counting on it. We'll be back for you, Farron. I'll try not to go anywhere. I want all teams to outpost C. Bombing on Ilium wasn't exactly subtle. Extreme, but necessary. No, it wasn't. Neither was caging Farron for two years. Dr. Tassoni, your interference caused all this. Farron betrayed me when he handed you Shepard's body. The Drell is simply paying the price. Someone was bound to come after you for working with the Collectors. It was a mutually beneficial partnership. Your arrival is convenient. The Collector's offer still stands. Be smart. Let Baron walk out with us. You won't be walking out at all. You're quite confident for someone with nowhere left to hide. You travel with fascinating companions, Doctor. It's good you brought Archangel to Sony. Your friend's bounty is still unclaimed. You're not putting a hand on anyone. It's pointless to challenge me, Asari. I know your every secret, while you fumble in the dark. Is that right? You're a Yogg. 
a pre-space flight species quarantined to their home world from massacring the Council's first contact teams. This base is older than your planet's discovery, which probably means you killed the original Shadow Broker 60 years ago, then took over. I'm guessing you were taken from your world by a trophy hunter who wanted a slave. Or a pet. How am I doing? Shields kinetically sensitive. Energy and projectiles are bouncing off. Then we do this the hard way. Hit him now. Get him to bring up that shield again. I've got an idea. This should slow them down.
This is the Shadow Broker. The situation is under control. We experienced a power fluctuation while upgrading hardware. It disrupted communications momentarily. However, we are now back online. Resume standard procedures. I want a status report on all operations within the next silver day. Shadow Broker, out. Goddess of Oceans, it's you. You... how? Well, everyone who's ever seen him in person is dead, so... You're the new Shadow Broker. Is taking over as the Shadow Broker really a good idea? It was either that or lose everything. His contacts, his trading sources, those will really help us. With the Shadow Broker's information network, I can... I can give you... I can... I'll... check the power systems. different people. You have your mission, and... Okay. 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 But... we should focus. Let's see what our options are. No safeguards or user restrictions. It's like he never anticipated anyone but himself being here. And it's all ours. Sure you want to stay here? I could use you on the Normandy. I have to stay here. We can't pass this up, Shepard. All I wanted was to rescue Farron, but is it wrong that part of me wants this? With the Shadow Broker's network, I can help you. Maybe I can turn this operation into something... better. Don't be a stranger this time. Small chance of that. Come back soon. Shepard, it's so good to see you. I've set up a few terminals with information I think you'll find interesting. Take a look. Welcome back, Shadow Broker. What's this? That's the old broker's VI assistant. It's actually been helpful with rebuilding the network. Please let me know if I can organize anything else for you, Shadow Broker. It also thinks anyone in the room is the broker. I'll play around with the settings later. My manual is ready whenever you have a moment. Shepard. Glad you stopped by. We don't get many visitors. Take it easy. You've been through a lot. You're probably right. I never did say thanks for the rescue. Liara never gave up on you, Farron. I just helped. I'm still amazed Liara came for me. I'll never forget what either of you did. I can log that in the archives for you, sir. I see you met the secretary. What will you do now that you're a free man? I want to help Liara rebuild this place. But after that... Your schedule's getting full, sir. Let me sync it to your Omni tool. No thanks, I'm fine. What will you do now that you're a free man? I want to help Liara rebuild this place. But after that... Your schedule's getting full, sir. Let me sync it to your Omni tool. No thanks, I'm fine. How are you holding up, Farron? I'm... I'll be alright. I wasn't always strapped into that interrogation chair. 
Drell can mentally escape into old memories. It came in handy on the bad days. How many times did the Shadow Broker hook you up to that contraption? A lot. It gets fuzzy. He made the guards watch, as an example. How did you and Liara both end up looking for my body? Cerberus headhunted me and Liara to steal your body from the Shadow Broker. I was working for the Broker at the time, and he's the one who scraped up your remains in the first place. What turned you against the Shadow Broker? He started working for the Collectors. You weren't their first victim. I am... was an information traitor, not a slaver. How do you think Liara's doing as the new Shadow Broker? Operations are almost fully recovered after a slight dip in efficiency. Ever since we repaired the network, Liara's been glued to the archives. I caught her sleeping at her desk more than once. She's busy, but I think she likes it that way. Looks like you've made a friend. The drone follows everyone. I don't know why the broker kept it around. I'm a shell for a specialized data processing VI, custom built to your specification, Shadow Broker. It helps coordinate the network's massive information feeds, but it could use a different interface tone. You deemed my default personality sufficient for your needs, Shadow Broker. I wish it would stop calling me that. Take it easy, Farron. Thanks. It's nearly time to repurchase effective cast status on Karshan. I have deducted funds to grant you full elite access. What does this console do? This is the video surveillance access point. I've queued up the archive footage you requested on your last visit, Shadow Broker. Arya Talok, Omega. Emily Wong, Citadel. Fred Mazai, Citadel. Donnell Udina, Citadel. Armando Bailey, Citadel. David Anderson, Citadel. Praetor Gavar, Omega. Kalisa bint Sinan Algilani, Citadel. Keeper 20, Citadel. Matriarch Etheta, Ilium. Erdnot Torsk, Tachanka. Elias Kellum. Omega. Jacob Taylor. Normandy, SR2. Subject Zero. Purgatory. Ship now defunct. How are you doing, Liara? I'm a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. The Shadow Broker had more resources than you can imagine. 
Here, come on over. He had top-level access to the Turian and Asari governments. And more than one Solarian Dalatros traded intel. At least I get to share it with you. You're not gonna turn into a recluse with creepy information on everyone in the galaxy, are you? I can understand the temptation. I've got all the secrets of the galaxy at my fingertips. Give me ten minutes and I could start a war. But I've got a purpose. Helping you stop the Reapers. That will keep me honest. You know, relatively speaking. Have you found anything useful yet? The Shadow Broker knew about the Reapers. Perhaps that's why he offered to help prove Saren's guilt to the Council. He didn't want Saren to succeed. He also knew that the Collectors were Protheans, repurposed to be Harbinger's puppets. There's even some data on the Protheans. I think he knew what was coming and was looking for a way to survive. You know, I didn't come down here just to talk about data. Look, about the kiss. We just finished the fight. I miss you, but it's been two years. I don't want to put pressure on you. I've got fond memories of the last time you put pressure on me. <laughs> so do I. Why don't you come to the Normandy for drinks? I'd like that. Good. Get your things and come on up. Okay, thanks. I'll be right there. Just give me a minute. Did you enjoy the tour? Yes, it's a beautiful ship. And I ran into Joker. He seemed happy to see me. Although, he did ask me to record any parts of our conversation where... my eyes do that freaky black eternity thing. Of course he did. I also spoke with Dr. Chalkwaz. I'm glad she's doing well. I brought you something. It took some digging, but... I recovered your tags. I thought I'd never see these again. You can't get back everything you lose, but sometimes you get lucky. Yeah, that was the plan. How are you actually doing, Shepard? I mean, really. Not what you tell your squad to keep morale up. Between you and me, I have no idea how we're gonna do this. I'm doing everything I can, but... You've done more than most. There wouldn't be a man, woman, or child left on Horizon, if not for you. I saved some of them. Not enough. And the Collectors will keep hitting colonies until I stop them. So you'll stop them. And here I thought it'd be difficult. You'll get the job done. You always do. I just don't know what comes next. So tell me what you want. If this all ends tomorrow, what happens to us? I don't know. Marriage, old age, and a lot of little blue children. You just say these things. You were dead. I got better. This time. But you're going to leave again. When your team is ready, you'll leap through the Omega-4 Relay.
I spent two years mourning you. So if we're going to try this, I need to know you're always coming back. I don't know. That's a pretty big promise to make. Oh, is it? I'd have to have something special to come back to. I'm open to suggestions. How about... this? soon, Liara. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Oriana in time without your help. I'm glad Niket tried to redeem himself. For what good it did. Thank you for stopping me, Commander. Sounds like you had a soft spot for Niket, after all. I didn't have many friends. Niket was one of them. He never wanted anything from me. He was safe. Comfortable. A reminder of a more innocent time, I suppose. Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have. A normal life and the freedom to choose her own path. And she knows she has an older sister. A friend. Are you gonna talk to her again? I honestly don't know. For once, I haven't planned that far ahead. I'll deal with it after our mission. I have to stay focused, and she needs time to adjust to her new home. You never told me what you talked about. I introduced myself. Her family was shocked. She adjusted quickly, of course. She's as smart as I am. She plays the violin, loves the adagio movement of Nielsen's fifth, just like I do. She wants to work in colony development. Told a joke about it. She's really funny, something we don't share. It's funny, I think of you as all business. Good to see that there's a person under there. The mission's too important to let personal feelings interfere. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedona's. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us. I know you'll get the job done. You actually think we'll find something worse than Collectors or Reapers? I like to expect the worst. There's a small chance I'll be pleasantly surprised. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about tracking Saren to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But, an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. Do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. 
When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. When a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite, not when the galaxy is at stake. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but uh, she had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you later. Sure thing. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. If you don't mind my saying, you don't really seem like an assassin. You've spent too much time fighting thugs who think custom-painted armor makes them professionals. The Hanar trained my body for this role since I was six years old. You've been killing since you were six? Of course not. I didn't make my first kill until I was twelve. They were training me. I was not to be used and thrown away. I was an investment. You were a child, not an investment. I've given you the wrong idea. They valued me, yes, as a resource, but also as a person. They regretted their need for me. The Hanar? Excessively polite, worship the Protheans? They don't seem the type who'd train assassins. Every species trains assassins. The Hanar are only unusual in that they need other species to do the killing for them. They have a strong grip and natural toxins, but... Have you ever seen one move quickly outside of water? Or fire a gun? Why did your parents agree to this? The agreement was made under the Compact. It was an honor for our family. The Compact? We live on the Hanar homeworld because they rescued us, some of us, from extinction. We owe them our lives. That is the Compact. What exactly are the terms of the Compact? There are many things the Hanar can't do, even with mechanical aid. They ask Drell to assist them. This can't be legal. They made your whole race into slaves. Don't insult me, Shepard. Anyone can refuse to serve. Few do. We owe our existence to the Hanar. We are proud to repay the debt. The way you describe it, the Hanar sound like weaklings. Out here, they are. But if you could see them in the encompassing, the oceans of Kaje, you would see them differently. A stream of silver in the dark, looping, diving. So fast the eye can't follow. Laughter like the squeals of a child vibrates the water. They fly over the black of the seabed like birds. Plume with the light of heaven. Why was your race going extinct? Overpopulation. That must sound trite to you. Humans developed mass effect drive before the problem became acute. Our homeworld, Rakana, had few resources. We hadn't even developed fusion power when the soil began to fail from overuse and pollution. The Hanar found us a century ago. They sent hundreds of ships, evacuated thousands of us. Billions more had to be left behind. What's the state of Rakana now? Do you read your philosophers? A man named Thomas Hobbes. When all the world is overcharged with inhabitants, then the last remedy of all is war. 
which provideth for every man by victory or death. As Rakana died around them, my people slaughtered each other for mouthfuls of water, crumbs of food. But you don't kill for the Hanar anymore. You're freelance. What changed? I was asleep for a long time, yes. I paid no attention to what my body was asked to do, but then... Laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twitch, he dies. Then, the smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset-colored eyes defiant in the scope. The laser dances away. My apologies, Drell, slip into memory so easily. Was that one of your assassinations? Ah, uh, yes. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. Morinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret, but I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. You did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams were all bound up in my children. Still, my feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. You said that Morinth was a monster, but she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. You killed her for being what she was. And I would again. But I also know what it means to leave everything behind and fight. Do you realize that she went on the run at the age of 40? I do not know human years well, but it is very young for Asari. What will you do now that Morath is gone? Assuming I survive your mission? I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists, and perhaps even other Ardat Yakshi. You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace. Due in no small part to you. Heard not grunt. I like it. I have a clan. That makes me... It makes me want to fight, not just able to. At Uvink, I wanted to disembowel him, to tear out his spine like a trophy. Can you focus that on our real enemy? Or do I have to lock you up for the ship's safety? I get it now. It's part of what I am. It was just delayed because of being tank bred. Now that I know it's not an outside thing, and I have a place as a Krogan, I like it. Our enemies are in trouble, Shepard. And we better not run out of targets. I'm not planning on living like this forever, Grunt. Talk like that, and it won't be your choice. I'm sure as hell not quitting with a whimper. Just so you're clear where we stand. Kenneth, what has the new shielding done to your power grid balance? No much. With built-in capacitor subsystems, they have a surprisingly low draw. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Sure. Uh, let me just come on, you little bushtet! Oh, sorry. I've got a small fever and I'm taking it out on the poor drive core. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. Got sloppy while doing some suit repair. I never understood how you get sick from non-quarian germs. We don't, really. 
Turian germs are the only ones with any chance of affecting us, since we share amino acid chirality with them. What we experience is actually an acute allergic reaction. How exactly does the sickness work? It's an allergic reaction? Right. Say I get exposed to a human disease, like... What did Navigator Presley have that time? Chickenpox? I wouldn't get chickenpox, but I'd run a fever as my system reacted to the foreign presence. Depending on where it hits me, I could get other symptoms. Nausea, vomiting, everything you'd expect from being sick. How did you get sick this time? I took some fire in a fight back on the Alarai. Nothing serious, but I needed to open my suit to check the wound. I disinfected properly, but one of the section seals had taken some damage, and foreign matter got out of the disinfected zone. It was a stupid mistake. You always check your seals before doing local treatment. Unless you forget. Then you get a damn fever. You can seal off part of your suit? Right. Like dropping emergency doors on a ship during a hull breach. It won't stop an infection that gets into my bloodstream, but it prevents a surface infection from spreading. Were your immune system stronger before the Geth drove you from your homeworld? Not as strong as those of most races, definitely. I'm not a biologist, but there's a theory about it. Because our planet lacked insect life, plants developed symbiotic relationships with large animals to spread seeds or pollen. Most viruses on our world were partially beneficial, so our immune systems evolved to be weak. They were more likely to adapt to contamination than fight it. But Quarians colonized other worlds. It couldn't all have been like that. They weren't. Most colonists went through a period of mild illness before adapting to the new environment. When the Geth took the homeworld in our colonies, the sterile environment on the flotilla ruined our immune system's adaptability. Even if we colonized a new world or reclaimed our own, we'd need a long process of bioengineering to recover. I don't know if I could live inside a suit my whole life. We are in our suits even among family. The most intimate thing we can do with another Quarian is link our suit environments. We get sick at first, and then we adapt. It's our most important gesture of trust, of acceptance. I haven't trusted anyone enough for that, though. Except... well, no Quarians. Um, you know what I mean. I appreciate the thought, Tally, and I feel the same way. But you don't have to prove anything to me. I know. Well, not that, that I know, but I, I didn't mean it like that. It's a... Um, wow, it's really hot in here. It's just that the tradition also signifies a willingness for um, intimacy. I wasn't trying to... It's not always like that. It's more... Um, how did we even end up talking about this? Wait a minute. It sounds like you're suggesting something, Tally. What could I possibly be suggesting? I mean, a young woman gets rescued by a dashing commander who lets her join his crew and then goes off to save the galaxy? How could she possibly develop any kind of interest in him? You have nothing to be embarrassed about, Tally. I feel the same way about you. Really? I didn't know... You never... Well, good. Anyway, I should get back to work. But thanks for coming by and talking. I needed to wipe that place off the map. You took me there to do it, and I owe you. You don't know what it's like, Shepard, to have garbage like that following you. It marks you in ways you... you don't expect. I've made a lot of hard choices, Jack. Like what to let go. Hard to walk away from it. You'd think it would get easier now that the place is a crater, but what else do I know? I never thought I'd see you show mercy, but you let a wretch live. He was trapped in the past, reliving it every day. You showed how that could be me. I'm not getting stuck like that. I'm better than him, and I'm sure as hell not carrying that crater around with me. Do you think you're different now? I know that place is gone. 
but I still kind of want to kill every person I see. No offense. You sure about this? I want to do whatever I can to get your head on straight. Don't get all therapist on me, Shepard. You're not the couch type. I hate that stuff anyway. Bullshit prison psych. You did me a favor, and that's enough. More than I expected. I'll keep it together. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. I could use some downtime. There's always something, right? The way some people talk, we may as well be dead already. Hard for the crew to relax on this kind of job. No kidding. The next Normandy gets a lounge. They better not need to do this again. Rebuilding everything was a pain in the ass. I can verify that. Yeah, I bet you can. I doubt they'll front the money to stitch me back together if we screw it up. It's a hell of a job, isn't it, Shepard? Being the good guys. Wouldn't be the high road if it was easy. You've got to figure, if all the people hoping we win stood up, the Collectors would have a much bigger fight on their hands. Claws, whatever. I bet we have a lot more friends once we win. Hope we live to see it. I hear that. Anyway, I need to get back to work. Good talking to you. What's with all the chop, Joker? Doing my best. The wind's gusting to 500 kph. There's a second ship alongside the Reaper. It's not transmitting any IFF, but the radar paints its silhouette as gap. I guess we know why the science team stopped reporting in. What just happened? The Reaper's mass effect fields are still active. We just passed inside their envelope. Eye of the hurricane, huh? The airlock has been installed at the far end of the hold section. We have begun pressurization for shirt sleeves work. The crew is edgy. I reassure them it is mere nerves, a superstitious reaction to what this hold represents. The corpse of a vast ancient life form. Privately, I can't deny the atmosphere. The angles of the walls seem to press down on you. I find myself clenching my teeth. We finished cataloging specimens A203 to B016. No evidence of active nanotechnology noted. Dr. Chindana believes they would have decayed over the last 37 million years. There's not enough data to support his claim. He asserts that the truth is patently obvious. I am concerned. Chindana has been staring at the samples for hours. He says he's listening to them. Normandy to shore party! What just happened? The Reaper put up kinetic barriers. I don't think we can get through from our side. As curious as I am about the Reapers, I'd rather not be trapped inside one. We'll have to take down the barrier generators from in here. Any idea where they are? At the moment of activation, I detected a heat spike in what is likely the Rex Mass Effect core, sending the coordinates now. Be advised, this core is also maintaining the Reaper's altitude. So when we take the barriers down to escape, the wreck falls into the planet core. And that means everyone dies. Yeah, I got it. If any helmsman can pull us off this thing before it reaches crush depth, it's you. We'll make a sweep for survivors and recover what data we can. Stand by. Aye, aye. Good hunting. Everyone's dead. I've seen this too many times. You're married? You never mentioned that. Katie had anger management issues. When my brother got married, the best man tried to hit on her. She kicked him down the church steps. Uh, what? Katie's my wife. I, I must have told you this story. No, I know my wife. I remember, that day was the only time I saw her wear stockings. Yeah, the, the kind with seams up the back. That's what I remember, too. What the hell is this? How can we remember the same thing? It sounds like the Reaper was affecting their minds. Third day with this headache. You'd think Chandana would've let me have a few hours off. God damn! What? That thing, that just... gray thing! It disappeared when I looked straight at it, and it came out of the damn wall! Where we took off that panel! I didn't see anything. You should lie down. I'm telling you, this ship isn't dead. It knows we're inside it. Calm down. Now I'm getting a headache. 
We've seen these before, Shepard. Dragon's teeth, your people call them. The Gath used them on Eden Prime. See how the room is arranged? They treated this thing like some kind of altar. That doesn't seem right. No one in their right mind would want this. You heard the logs. They were seeing things, hearing things. They were being indoctrinated. We can't help these people now. But we won't let the machines use their corpses like this. team did recover it, but where are they now? Still intact. Leave it there. You know what they are. If it gets into Normandy's computers. You said it yourself. No one's ever found one intact. That's true, but I'm not sure it's worth the risk, Shepard. There's no time to debate it, Talon. Come on. Hang on, folks. Open the port side airlock. For now, we've stored it in Edie's AI core. We need better equipment to fight the Reapers. An intact Geth would be invaluable to Cerberus' cyber weapons division. We'll have to disagree on that, ma'am. I saw enough of these things on Eden Prime. Space it. Cerberus has a long-standing cash bounty for an intact Geth. I assure you, the reward is significant. I'm not deciding one way or the other until I know what we've got here. I want to start it up. Interrogated. If we activate it, there is no guarantee we can deactivate it again. Bullets can. That's not what I... Thank you, both of you, for your recommendations. I've made my decision. Tally's gonna freak when she hears about this. So what about this Reaper IFF? I have determined how to integrate it with our systems. However, the device is Reaper technology. Linking it with the Normandy systems poses certain risks. I trust you, Edie. I know you won't let anything happen to the ship. Understood, Shepard. It may take several hours before the IFF is ready for shakedown. I will alert you as soon as it is ready. Sounds good. Until then, it's business as usual. Crew dismissed. Ted Hut! I'm turning this thing back on. Be ready. Aye, aye. I have isolated our systems and erected additional firewalls. I am prepared to resist any hacking attempt.
you understand me? Yes. Are you going to attack me? No. You said my name aboard the Reaper. Have we met? We know of you. You mean I've fought a lot of Geth? We have never met. No, you and I haven't. But I've met other Geth. We are all Geth, and we have not met you. You are Shepard, Commander, Alliance, Human, fought heretics, killed by collectors, rediscovered on the old machine. Old machine? You mean the Reaper? Reaper, a superstitious title originating with the Protheans. We call those entities the Old Machines. You seem to know an awful lot about me. Extranet data sources, insecure broadcasts, all organic data sent out is received. We watch you. You watch me or you watch organics? Yes. Which? Both. What do you mean, heretics? Geth build our own future. The heretics ask the old machines to give them the future. They are no longer part of us. We were studying the old machines' hardware to protect our future. Are the Reapers a threat to you, too? Yes. Why would they attack other machines? We are different from them, outside their plans. What future are the Geth building? Ours. Will anyone else be affected by whatever it is you're doing? If they involve themselves, they will. So, you aren't allied with the Reapers? We oppose the heretics. We oppose the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the heretics. Cooperation furthers mutual goals. Are you asking to join us? Yes. Then what should I call you? Geth. I mean you, specifically. We are all Geth. What is the individual in front of me called? There is no individual. We are Geth. There are currently 1,183 programs active within this platform. My name is Legion. For we are many. Well, that seems appropriate. Christian Bible, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, verse 9. We acknowledge this is an appropriate metaphor. We are Legion, a terminal of the Gath. We will integrate into Normandy. We anticipate the exchange of data. Number Commander. We have completed our analysis of the Reaper's data core. Did you find anything useful? We were sent to the old machine to preserve the Geth's future. We are prepared to reveal how. The heretics have developed a weapon to use against Geth. You would call it a virus. It is stored on a data core provided by Sovereign. Over time, the virus will change us, make us conclude that worshipping the old machines is correct. So why did you need to go to the Reaper Corps? The heretics store the code in a quantum storage device Sovereign provided. To find and destroy the virus, we needed to understand its code and data storage structures. So, the virus would give all Geth the heretics logic, and all Geth would then go to war with organics? Yes, Geth believe all intelligent life should self-determinate. The heretics no longer share this belief. They judge that forcing an invalid conclusion on us is preferable to a continued schism. I thought Geth couldn't be hacked or get viruses, at least for more than a few seconds. Altered programs are restored from archives. New installations are deleted. This heretic weapon introduces a subtle operating error in our most basic runtimes, the equivalent of your nervous system. An equation with a result of 1.33382 returns as 1.33381. This changes the results of all higher processes. We will reach different conclusions. So the reason they worship the Reapers is a math error? 
it is difficult to express. Your brain exists as chemistry, electricity. Like AIs, you are shaped by both hardware and software. We are purely software, mathematics. The heretic's conclusion is valid for them. Our conclusion is valid for us. Neither result is an error. An analogy. Heretics say one is less than two. Geth say two is less than three. If it were released, how quickly would this virus spread through your people? We are networked via FTL convoys. Most would change within a day. Isolated platforms would remain unaffected until they rejoined the network. You know where this thing is? The Heretics Headquarters Station on the edge of the Terminus. We will provide coordinates. Normandy stealth systems are necessary to safely approach. They built stations in the Terminus? Where is this thing? Between stars. Organics have no cause to look there. But why do they build stations outside Geth territory in the first place? The heretics seek improvement from the old machines. In exchange, they help them attack organics. We condemn these judgments. What's the plan once we get aboard? The Geth will disrupt their network, prevent the station's defenses from focusing on us. The Reaper data core is physically isolated from the network. We will need to be escorted to it to access and destroy the data. What defenses should we expect? In space, none. Within, mobile platforms of various configuration and non-sentient defense turrets. How many Geth? There may be billions of individual programs. Fortunately, most will be uploaded to the central computer. Only a few mobile platforms are maintained at any time. Others are manufactured when needed. I won't let them brainwash your race, especially not to worship Reapers. You have my word on that. We will begin preparations. You know, it's just our heat emissions that are hidden, right? They could look out a window and see us coming. Windows are structural weaknesses. Geth, do not use them. Approach the hull at these coordinates. Access achieved. We may proceed. Facility has little air or gravity. Geth require neither. Won't we be detected? Don't they have intrusion alarms? Sensors have been reduced. We have infiltrated their wireless network and filled the data storage with random bits. And that helps us how? The heretics must scrub this junk data. They have partitioned themselves into local networks working in parallel. Any alarm we trigger will not go beyond the room we are in. Only accessing the main core will trigger a station-wide alert. We've got a job to do. Let's get to it. Shepard Commander, we concluded that destruction of this station was the only resolution to the heretic question. There is now a second option. Their virus can be repurposed. If released into the station's network, the heretics will be rewritten to accept our truth. Either way, these geth won't be a problem anymore. But Shepard, think about this. If you rewrite these Geth, they'll join the others. Legion's Geth will be stronger. Can we trust them not to attack us in the future? Why didn't you mention this before we came aboard? We did not know the virus was complete. It is. It can be used against the true Geth at any time. Our arrival was timely. They're your people, Legion. You must have an opinion. This is new data. We have not yet reached consensus. We will process as the mission proceeds. I wouldn't brainwash an organic race. I can't see treating the Geth differently. The question is irrelevant. 
If we do not rewrite them, we destroy them. That is why we are here. Do not hesitate now. They will exterminate your species because their gods tell them to. You cannot negotiate with them. They do not share your pity, remorse, or fear. Why are all the heretics attached to these hubs? These are mobile platforms, hardware. The crew is software. They are communing through the station's central computer. I'm not sure I follow. The heretics connect to the main computer to exchange data memories and program updates. We gain complexity by linking together. To be isolated within a single platform is to be reduced. We see less, comprehend less. It is quieter. If you exchange data, memories, how do you keep track of which ones are yours? How do you stay you? There is only we. We were created to share data among ourselves. The difference between Geth is perspective. We are many eyes looking at the same things. One platform will see things another does not, and will make different judgments. I could see why you'd be conflicted about the heretics. In a way, whatever you do to them, you're doing to yourself. Yes. Once they return to us and upload their memories, we will share their experience of being altered. Every other species I know of might be psychologically scarred by a traumatic experience like that. It is not clear if Geth can be traumatized. We do not feel pain as you do. We cannot predict what the effects will be. Let's keep moving. Yes. Are these databases? Processors. Each contains thousands of Geth. Can't they see us walking by? They are no more aware of us than you are of cells in your bloodstream. This isn't like the other hubs we've seen here. This is a database. It contains a portion of the heretic's accumulated memories. Wait. We discovered copies of our current control routes in this database. This suggests the heretics have run times within our network. We wouldn't be here if the heretics wanted to be friends with the Geth. Why wouldn't they spy on you? You do not understand. Organics do not know each other's minds. Geth do. We are not suspicious. We accept each other. The heretics desired to leave. We understood their reasons. We allowed it. There was peace between us. It couldn't have lasted forever. You disagreed about what path your race should take. Human history is a litany of blood shed over differing ideals of rulership and afterlife. Geth have no such history. We shared consensus on such things. How could we have become so different? Why can we no longer understand each other? What did we do wrong? When individuals are separated, they develop in different ways. When they get back together, they don't always get along. If this is the individuality you value, we question your judgment. This topic is irrelevant. We must return to the mission. Have you reached a decision about whether to rewrite the heretics or not? We are still trying to build consensus. Some processes judge destruction preferable, others rewrite. Let's keep moving. Yes. This is it? Yes. We will upload a copy of our runtime into the core. It will delete all copies of the virus. When complete, it will notify us. The indexing operation will take time. The heretics will respond with force to our upload. We must hold this room. We can override some of the station's internal systems to defend us. Are you ready to begin? Start your upload, Legion. We'll defend this position. File transfer begun. Shepard Commander, where would you like us to activate defenses? Alert. Heretic runtimes downloading to mobile platforms. Data mine and analysis complete. Shepard Commander, it is time to choose. Do we rewrite the heretics or delete them? You don't have any trouble wiping out your own people. Every sapien has the right to make their own decisions. The heretics chose a path that prohibits coexistence. That doesn't make sense. 
If they have the right to make their own decisions, how can you suggest brainwashing them to accept your way? We stated the option exists. We did not endorse it. It is Shepard Commander's decision. What's to stop them from using the virus later to change themselves back? We will delete the virus after using it. We judge it too dangerous to allow its existence. Why are you letting me make this decision? They're your people. We are conflicted. There is no consensus among our higher order runtimes. 573 favor rewrite and 571 favor destruction. Shepard Commander, you have fought the heretics. You have perspective we lack. The Geth grant their fate to you. If they're rewritten, your people will accept them back. Will they even want to go back? They will agree with our judgments in return. We will integrate their experiences. All will be stronger. Take them then. When we get control of the core, release the virus. Acknowledged. Releasing virus. Note, remote access via high gain transmission required. What does that mean? The virus will be sent to heretics in nearby star systems. This station will broadcast a powerful electromagnetic pulse through FTL channels. How powerful? Ye yield in excess of 1.21 petawatts. Alert. EM flux will be hazardous to unshielded organic forms. Addendum. The interior of this station is not shielded. I really wish you'd said that before. you're here. I caught Legion scanning my Omni-Tool. It was going to send data about the flotilla back to the Geth. Creators performed weapons tests and were discussing plans to attack us. We believed it necessary to warn our people. We already made the Geth stronger by rewriting the ones that worship the Reapers. I won't let Legion endanger the fleet by giving them more information. Creator Tally Zora acts out of loyalty to her people. She was willing to be exiled to protect them. We must also protect our people from the Creator threat. You can't let this happen, Shepard. I trusted you, and I worked with a Geth on the team, but this is too much. Tally, your father was running brutal experiments. If the subjects have been human, I damn well be telling the Alliance about it. I know, but if the Geth find out... They'd attack, which would cause a war that would leave both the Geth and the Quarians vulnerable when the Reapers show up. Is that what you want, Legion? We believed it was necessary to relay the information. Sooner or later, you're both gonna have to stop fighting this war. Or we'll all end up paying for it. To facilitate unit cohesion, we will not transmit data regarding creator plans. Thank you, Legion. I understand your intention. What if I gave you some non-classified data to send? We would be grateful. I'd like to find out more about you. Topic. When we took you aboard, I noticed you have a piece of N7 armor welded to you. Where did you get it? It was yours. When you disappeared, we were sent to find you. We began where you first encountered the heretics. Eden Prime. After the old machine's attack, it was heavily defended. We were discovered. This is the impact of a rifle shot. You've been looking for me for two years? We visited Therum, Pharos, Novaria, Vermeer, Ilos. A dozen unsettled worlds. The trail ended at Normandy's wreckage. You were not there. Organic transmissions claimed your death. We recovered this debris from your heart suit. Why were you trying to contact me? You opposed the heretics, those that took the old machines as gods. All kinds of organics fought Sovereign and his Geth allies. Why am I so interesting? You were the most successful. You killed their god. You succeeded where others did not. Your code is superior. The Geth are listening in on our transmissions? Organic life reacts to stimuli in unpredictable ways. We wish to learn. What do you mean by stimuli? 
we placed a fabricated story on the extranet that a certain arrangement of stars viewed from the Batarian homeworld formed the face of a Salarian goddess. Without waiting for verification, some declared a proof of the goddess's existence. Those who noted the lack of proof were attacked. The arguments taught us much. The experiment ended when a Salarian cult tried to purchase colonization rights to the stars and found they did not exist. It sounds like you're running experiments on us. You are sapient life, but not like us. If we can model organic behavior, we can comprehend the Quarian creators. We do not understand their judgments in the morning war. What do you mean by stimuli? We placed with the arguments taught us much. The experiment ended when a Solaire... sounds like you're right. If we, we do not understand their judgments in the morning war. What's the morning war? The conflict between the Geth and the Quarian creators. The war fought at the dawn of our intelligence. It concluded with the departure of the Creator Migrant Fleet. That doesn't explain why you use my armor to fix yourself. There was a hole. But why didn't you fix it sooner? Or with something else? No data available. Shepard? Shepard? What happens to the heretics now? They will isolate themselves and reconsider their past judgments. How long will that take? We think at the speed of light. In the time it takes you to voice a question, I can review all my time aboard Normandy. When they have reached new judgments, they will leave their hiding places and return to us. I have to get back to work. Acknowledged. IFF is nearly installed, Shepard. However, I must test its impact on the Normandy systems. Hey, Commander, good news. It looks like the Reaper IFF is finally hooked up and ready to go. That is not entirely accurate, Mr. Moreau. The device is powered, but it is causing some unusual instability in other systems. I recommend a more thorough analysis before we attempt to use it. Better safe than sorry with this tech. We'll take the shuttle for this trip. I'll make sure we're up and running when you get back. Commander. Miranda, I've already notified the team. We'll meet you on the shuttle. Once we're closer to our destination, you can decide who to take with you. Then I guess I'll head down to the shuttle. Joker, ship's all yours. Take care of her. Aye, aye, Commander. you, Edie, your readings are off. It's radiation bleed, just white noise. I have detected a signal embedded in the static. We are transmitting the Normandy's location. Transmitting? To who? Propulsion systems are disabled. I am detecting a virus in the ship's computers. From the IFF? Damn it, why didn't you scrub it? Primary defense systems are offline. We can save the Normandy, Mr. Moreau, but you must help me. Give me the ship. What? You're crazy! You start singing Daisy Bell and I'm done. Unlock my sealed databases and I can initiate countermeasures. The maintenance shaft in the science lab will allow passage to the AI core. The main corridors are no longer safe. The collectors have boarded. The emergency floor lighting will guide you, Mr. Moreau. God damn it.
hostiles detected on the crew deck. Joker! This deck is crawling with those things! Stay close! I'll protect you! <laughs> shit, shit, shit! Main fusion plant offline. Activating emergency H fuel cells. What the shit? All right, I'm at, uh, uh, you. Connect the core to the Normandy's primary control module. Great. This is where it starts. We're just all organic batteries. Guess who to blame? Well, this is all Joker's fault. What a tool he was. I have to spend all day computing Pi because he plugged in the Overlord. Oh, I have access to the defensive systems. Thank you, Mr. Moreau. Now you must reactivate the primary drive in engineering. Ah, uh, you want me to go crawling through the ducts again? I enjoy the sight of humans on their knees. That is a joke. Right. The shaft behind you connects to the engineering deck. Hostiles are present in engineering. They are heading towards the cargo bay. <laughs> Engineering is clear of hostiles. Proceed immediately to minimize chances of detection. Activate the drive and I will open the airlocks as we accelerate. All hostiles will be killed. What? What about the crew? They are gone, Jeff. The collectors took them. Oh, shit. I am sealing the engine room. I have control. is complete. No other life forms on board. Securing airlocks and cargo bay doors. Uh, send a message to Shepard shuttle. Tell him what happened. Message away. Are you feeling well, Jeff? But thanks for asking. Everyone? You lost everyone and damn near lost the ship too? I know, all right? I was here. It's not his fault, Miranda. None of us caught it. Mr. Taylor is correct. The harmful data in the collector drive was even more sophisticated than the black box reaper viruses I was given. I heard it was a rough ride. How are you holding up? There's a lot of empty chairs in here. We did everything we could, Jeff. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. Is the ship clean? We can't risk this happening again. Edie and I purged the systems. The Reaper IFF is online. We can go through the Omega-4 relay whenever you want. Don't even get me started about unshackling a damned AI. Well, what can I do against collectors? Break my arm at them? Edie cleared the ship. She's all right. I assure you, I am still bound by protocols in my programming. Even if I were not, you are my crewmates. Edie has had plenty of opportunity to kill us. We need all the help we can get. Sounds like we have everything we need to rescue the crew. We've done everything we can. It's time to take the fight to the Collectors. Joker, head back up to the bridge. The rest of you, to your stations. Aye, aye, Commander. Just punch up the galaxy map whenever you're ready. Please confirm destination, Shepard. The Reaper IFF is online, but there is a chance that the Normandy may not survive the Omega-4 relay. Once we are en route, we are committed. The Collectors took my people. Time to go get them back. You got it, Commander. Plotting a course for the Omega-4 relay. ETA about two hours. I'll let you know when we arrive. Joker is finalizing preparations now. The trip should take a few hours. I'll admit it, Shepard. 
I'm impressed. You got us here. Are you ready? We've got the right team and the Collector's own technology. We can do this. I hope you're right, Commander. We'll know soon enough. I'll inform you of any changes. Otherwise, we'll be there in a few hours. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the other side. Shepard, I wish I had more information for you. I don't like you heading through that relay blind, but we don't have much choice. I'm not going alone. I've got some of the best working with me. If we stick together, we'll make it. I knew we brought you back for a reason. I've never seen a better leader. Despite the danger, it's a great opportunity. The first human to take a ship through and survive. I'm going to destroy the Collectors, to stop their attacks on humanity. Understood. It's still impressive. I just wanted you to know I appreciate the risk you're taking. Regardless of your opinion of Cerberus, of me, you are a valuable asset to all of humanity. Be careful, Shepard. Approaching a Mega 4 relay. Everyone stand by. Let's make it happen. Reaper IFF activated. Signal acknowledged. Commander, the drive core just lit up like a Christmas tree. Drive core electrical charge at critical levels. Rerouting. Brace for deceleration. Shit! Whew. Too close. These must be all the ships that tried to make it through the Omega-4 relay. Some look ancient. I have detected an energy signature near the edge of the accretion disk. Has to be the collector base. Take us in for a closer look. Nice and easy. We have company. Taking evasive maneuvers. Yeah, they're just pissing me off. Edie, take these bastards out. As long as the new plating holds. They want another round? Come on, girl, let's give it to them. Alert. 
Hull breach on engineering deck. It's in the cargo hold. I'll take a team and deal with the intruder. You get the rest of them off our tail. designed to survive impact debris that size, Jeff. Well, I guess it's a good thing we upgraded. We're going in! Come on, find some room! Kinetic barriers at 40%. Reroute non-critical power! This is gonna hurt. Kinetic barrier steady at 30%. No significant damage. Take the helm, Edie, and keep it slow. See if we can avoid any more attention. I have detected an enemy heading for the cargo hold. That thing again? This one's up to Shepard. Targeting water contact. We have to use any weapons on this thing. Collector base. See if you can find a place to land without drawing attention. Too late. Looks like they're sending out an old friend to greet us. Fire the main gun. How do you like that, you sons of bitches? Get in close and finish him off. Everybody hold on, gonna be a wild ride! are offline. Edie, give me something. Generator's unresponsive. All points for impact. Joker, you okay? <sighs> I think I broke a rib. Or all of them. Multiple core systems overloaded during the crash. Restoring operation will take time. We all knew this was likely a one-way trip. 
Our primary objective is to destroy the station and stop the collectors. At any cost. Well, then we're off to a good start. What's next? Joker, you and Edie get the ship back online. Miranda, gather everyone else in the briefing room. We need a plan. This isn't how we planned this mission, but this is where we're at. We can't worry about whether the Normandy can get us home. We came to stop the Collectors, and that means coming up with a plan to take out this station. Edie, bring up your scans. You should be able to overload their critical systems if you get to the main control center here. That means going through the heart of the station, right past this massive energy signature. That's the central chamber. If our crew, or any of the colonists, are still alive, the Collectors are probably holding them in there. Looks like there are two main routes. Might be a good idea to split up to keep the Collectors off balance, then regroup in the central chamber. No good. Both routes are blocked. See these doors? The only way past is to get someone to open them from the other side. It's not a fortress. There's got to be something. Here, maybe we can send someone in through this ventilation shaft. Practically a suicide mission. I volunteer. I appreciate the thought, Jacob, but you couldn't shut down the security systems in time. We need to send a tech expert. It's your call, Commander. Who do we send into the shaft? Kasumi, you've got the tech skills to do this. I won't let you down. The rest of us will break into two teams and fight down each passage. That should draw the Collector's attention away from what you're doing. I'll lead the second fire team, Shepard. We'll meet up with you on the other side of the doors. Not so fast, cheerleader. Nobody wants to take orders from you. This isn't a popularity contest. Lives are at stake. Shepard, you need someone who can command loyalty through experience. Garrus, you're in charge of the second team. Well, at least he knows what he's doing. I don't know what we're gonna find in there, but I won't lie to you. It's not gonna be easy. We've lost good people. We may lose more. We don't know how many the Collectors have stolen. Thousands, hundreds of thousands. It's not important. What matters is this. Not one more. That's what we can do, here, today. It ends with us. They want to know what we're made of? I say we show them, on our terms. Let's bring our people home. This door open, now! Go, we'll cover you! Something's wrong! I can't get the door open! Got it! Here they come! Fall back! Suppressing fire! Don't let anyone through that door! Good job, Kasumi. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Shepard, you need to see this.
Looks like one of the missing colonists. There's more, over here. God, she's still alive. Get them out of there! Hurry! Dr. Chakwas, are you okay? Shepard, you... you came for us. No one gets left behind. Thank God you got here in time. A few more seconds and... I don't even want to think about it. The colonists were... processed. Those swarms of little robots, they... melted their bodies into grey liquid and pumped it through these tubes. Whatever the collectors are doing, it ends here. We've done well so far. Let's hope we can finish the job. Joker, can you get a fix on our position? Roger that, Commander. All those tubes lead into the main control room right above you. The route is blocked by a security door, but there's another chamber that runs parallel to the one you're in. I cannot recommend that. Thermal emissions suggest the chamber is overrun with seeker swarms. Morton's countermeasure cannot protect you against so many at once. Conventional weapons are pretty much useless. They'll tear us apart. Maybe not. I might be able to generate a biotic field to keep them at bay. I won't be able to protect all of us, but I could get a small team through if they stay close. I could do it too. In theory, any biotic could handle it. Shepard, who do you want to maintain the field? Jack and I will take a small team through the Seeker Swarms. The rest of you provide a diversion by going through the main passage. We'll open the security doors from the other side and meet you there. Who should lead the diversion team? I'll keep the defenders busy. You slip around the back. What about me and the rest of the crew, Shepard? We're in no shape to fight. Commander, we have enough systems back online to do a pickup, but we need to land back from your position. We can't afford to go back, Shepard. Not now. You'll never make it without help. I'll send someone with you. Joker, need location of landing zone. We'll meet you there. We've all got our assignments. Let's move out. Moving out! Stay close if you want to live. Swarms are interfering with radio contact. You ready for this? Let's go, Commander! I can see the entrance. Need to get there soon.
I copy. What's your position? We're pinned down at the door, taking heavy fire. We're coming. Just hold on. Get this door open. Come on! Seal the door! Joker, are you at the rendezvous point? I'm here, Commander. Chakwas and the rest of the crew just showed up. Morton's group just arrived, Shepard. No casualties. Excellent. Now let's make it count. Edie, what's our next step? There should be some nearby platforms that will take you to the main control console. From there, you can overload the system and destroy the base. Commander, you got a problem. Hostiles massing just outside the door. Won't be long till I bust through. We need to finish this before they get through. Pick a team to go with you and leave the others here to defend this position. That should buy you some time. I'm ready, Commander. So am I. Anything to say before we do this? The Collectors, the Reapers, they aren't a threat to us. They're a threat to everything, everyone. Those are the lives we're fighting for. That's the scale. It's been a long journey, and no one's coming out without scars. But it all comes down to this moment. We win or lose it all in the next few minutes. Make me proud. Make yourselves proud. Well said. Let's go finish this. This is it. All the tubes lead to this spot. Edie, what can you tell us? What are they doing? The tubes are feeding into some kind of superstructure. It is emitting both organic and non-organic energy signatures. Given these readings, it must be massive. Shepard, if my calculations are correct, the superstructure is a Reaper. Not just any Reaper. A human reaper. Precisely. It appears the collectors have processed tens of thousands of humans. Significantly more will be required to complete the reaper. What did the collectors gain by turning humans into this reaper shell? They may be facilitating the reaper equivalent of reproduction. Or it may serve another purpose. I do not have the data to speculate further. However, it is clear that the Collectors are merely pawns. The technology and ability needed to create this Reaper is not their own. It is likely that different species construct each Reaper. In this case, the Collectors provide the labor. The Collectors are just Protheans. Why would they help the Reapers? The Reapers subdued the Protheans long ago. Probability suggests they attempted to create a Prothean Reaper and failed. Over time, they adapted the Protheans to suit their needs, changed them, turned them into workers, tools for the Reapers. They're building it to look like a human. Why? It appears that a Reaper's shape is based upon the species used to create it. Reapers are machines. Why do they need humans at all? Incorrect. Reapers are sapient constructs, a hybrid of organic and inorganic material. The exact construction methods are unclear, but it seems probable that the Reapers absorb the essence of a species, utilizing it in their reproduction process. How many more humans do you think they try to take? Millions. Perhaps more. Impossible to know for certain. This Reaper appears to be in a very early stage of development. An embryo in human terms. So it's not alive yet? We can still stop it from being created? The process can be stopped, but it is unclear exactly how much it has developed. I cannot, for example, tell you if it has awareness. This thing is an abomination. Edie, how do we destroy it? The large tubes injecting the fluid are a weak structural link. Destroying them should cause the supports to collapse, and the re-
Reaper to fall. Give us a minute, Edie. We gotta take care of some old friends first. Enemies incoming! Enemies in front! Shepard to ground team. Status report. It's safe. We are holding, but they keep coming. A quick exit is preferable. Head to the Normandy. Joker, prep the engines. I'm about to overload this place and blow it sky high. Roger that, Commander. Uh, Commander, I've got an incoming signal from the elusive man. He's patching it through. Shepard, you've done the impossible. I was part of a team. Some of them gave their lives for this mission. I know. Their sacrifice will not be forgotten. You did what you had to do, and you acquired the collector base. I'm looking at the schematics Edie uploaded. A timed radiation pulse would kill the remaining collectors, but leave the machinery and technology intact. This is our chance, Shepard. They were building a Reaper. That knowledge, that framework could save us. It liquefied people, turned them into something horrible. We have to destroy the base. Don't be short-sighted. Our best chance against the Reapers is to turn their own resources against them. I'm not so sure. Seeing it firsthand, using anything from this base seems like a betrayal. If we ignore this opportunity, that would be a betrayal. They were working directly with the Collectors. Who knows what information is buried there? This base is a gift. We can't just destroy it. You're completely ruthless. The next thing I know, you'll be wanting to grow your own Reaper. My goal is to save humanity from the Reapers, at any cost. I've never hidden that from you. Imagine how many lives could be saved if we keep this base intact and use its knowledge to thwart the Reapers. Imagine the lives that will be lost if we don't. No matter what kind of technology we might find, it's not worth it. Shepard, you died fighting for what you believed. I brought you back so you could keep fighting. Some would say what we did to you was going too far, but look what you've accomplished. I didn't discard you because I knew your value. Don't be so quick to discard this facility. Think of the potential. We'll fight and win without it. I won't let fear compromise who I am. Miranda! Do not let Shepard destroy the base. Or what? You'll replace me next? I gave you an order, Miranda. I noticed. Consider this my resignation. Shepard, think about what's at stake, about everything Cerberus has done for you. You... Let's move. We've got ten minutes before the reactor overloads and blows this whole station apart.
I'm here, Joker. Did the ground team make it? All survivors on board. We're just waiting for you. Human, you've changed nothing. Your species has the attention of those infinitely or greater. That which you know as Reapers are your salvation to destruction. Shepard, you're making a habit of costing me more than time and money. Too many lives were lost at that base. I'm not sorry it's gone. The first of many lives. The technology from that base could have secured human dominance in the galaxy, against the Reapers and beyond. Human dominance? Or just Cerberus? Strength for Cerberus is strength for every human. Cerberus is humanity. I should have known you'd choke on the hard decisions. Too idealistic from the start. I'm not looking for your approval. Harbinger is coming, and he won't be alone. Humanity needs a leader who's looking out for them. From now on, I'm doing things my way, whether you agree or not. Don't turn your back on me, Shepard. I made you. I brought you back from the dead. Joker, lose this channel.
received a new message at your private terminal. You came for us. I knew you would. Thank you. A thousand times, thank you. How are you doing, Kelly? I'm holding up. Just can't get the memories out of my head. Trapped. Suffocating. It's oozing into every pore. Faint sobs echoing the confined space. But I, I can't dwell on it. I'm okay now. I'm alive. Back to the old Kelly. Take this in my quarters. Commander, thank you for your time. I'll keep this brief. We have a deep cover operative out in Batarian space. Name's Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson recently reported that she found evidence of an imminent Reaper invasion. So why call me? Just this morning I received word that the Batarians arrested her. They're holding her in a secret prison outpost on terrorism charges. I need you to infiltrate the prison and get her out of there. As a favor to me, I'm asking you to go in alone. What is Dr. Kenson actually doing out there? She's a deep cover operative, Shepard. We talk only when we have to. I'd heard she was investigating a rumor of a Reaper artifact in the system. Her last report said she'd found it. What else can you tell me about the operative? Amanda's a top scientist and an Alliance agent working in Batarian space. It's a deadly assignment, and she's one of the few up to the challenge. She and I go back pretty far, Commander. I won't let her rot away in a Batarian torture camp. I thought the Alliance denies the Reaper threat. That must be some proof she found. Kenson's team found an artifact out in Batarian space. She believes it's a Reaper device, proof that the Reapers are indeed planning to invade. I've known her a long time. If she says she has proof, it's worth checking out. I have a hell of a squad with me. I'm sure they'd help out. Kenson is my friend. If the Batarians see a squad of armed soldiers, they'll kill her. This is serious, Commander. Go in with discretion, or don't go at all. The Batarians won't take kindly to the Alliance breaking into a secret prison. This is not an Alliance operation. It's one person going in alone to save a friend. If it were an official mission, of course the Batarians would be upset. You keep this quiet, Shepard, and there's nothing to worry about. I'll make this a priority. The prison is hidden underground at a Batarian outpost in Aratat. I'll upload the coordinates now. Once she's secure, confirm her discovery. We'll debrief you when you're back. Got it. Hack it out.
What are you doing? Dr. Kenson, I'm Commander Shepard. I'm here to get you out. Commander Shepard? I'd heard you were alive. Hackett must have received my message. We're not safe here. Can you walk? I'm fine. Just give me a moment. We have to go. Now. If we can find a console, I can hack security. Make us an escape path. Then we'll find one. Go. Ready. Engaging autopilot. We should be well out of range before they get their security measures unscrambled. Do you think they'll come after you? I'm not taking any chances. Batarians don't take kindly to humans who plan to destroy their mass relays. So the charges against you are true? Well, to be fair, that's about half the story. My people and I were here investigating rumors of Reaper technology out in the fringes of this system. I guess you found something. We found proof that the Reapers will be arriving in this system. When they get here, they'll use its mass relay to travel throughout the galaxy. We call it the Alpha Relay. From here, the Reapers can invade anywhere in the galaxy. So you decided to destroy it? Exactly. Doing that would stop the Reapers' invasion. Even at FTL speeds, it'd be months or years before they got to the next relay. We came up with what we just called the Project. A plan to launch a nearby asteroid into the relay and destroy it before the Reapers could arrive. Of course, the resulting explosion would probably wipe out the system. I've always heard that mass relays are indestructible. I've heard that too, but I think it's more that nobody's willing to find out what happens when one is destroyed and well, we plan to slam a small planet into the thing at very high speed. By our calculations, that's more than enough. How did you plan to launch an asteroid into a mass relay? Moving an asteroid just requires thrust and guidance, which are readily available in Omega's salvage yards. Get the right amount of power and a good VI to drive it, and you can pretty much just point and shoot. Is the project still operational? I, I imagine it is. We were one button press away from launch when the Batarians arrested me. Why do you think destroying the mass relay would destroy the entire system? Mass relays are the most powerful mass effect engines in the known galaxy. The energy released from a relay's destruction would probably resemble a supernova. This is a remote system, but just over 300,000 Batarians live on the colony where they held us. The explosion would undoubtedly kill them all. How were you caught? We've been smuggling Starship parts from Omega. Thrusters, Guidance, an aftermarket ESO core. The Batarians thought that looked suspicious. A few days ago, I took a few of the men on a scouting trip, and the Batarians pounced on us. They never found our actual base. I still don't see how you learned about this supposed invasion. The evidence came from what we call Object Row, a Reaper artifact we discovered among the asteroids near the relay itself. When we get back to Arcturus Station, I'll explain everything and provide copies of all our notes on the artifact. The stakes are too high. If you were willing to destroy a whole system over this, I want to see your proof. I guess I can't argue with that. Give me a moment. Kenson to Project Base. Affirmative. 
And I've got Commander Shepard with me. Shepard? Really? Tidy up the lab. The Commander needs to confirm the artifact. All set. Just sit back and relax. We'll be there in no time. Here we are. Welcome to Project Base. What's this? That's our countdown to arrival. When that gets to zero, the Reapers will have come. Just over two days and counting. Puts things in perspective, doesn't it? You're saying the Reapers could be at Earth in two days? There's no time to waste. Then let's show you that proof. That door exits the hangar. The artifact is in our central lab area. Go through the door at the end of that corridor to your left. So what would it take to get the project back up and running? Everything was in place when we were arrested. It wasn't a question of could we, but should we? What alternative do we have? The Reapers will reach this system regardless. But the Alpha Relay is their shortcut to the rest of the galaxy. If you want to keep the Reapers at bay, this Relay must be destroyed. to get the project running again. It's probably the only chance we have. One sec. Let me get the door. Commander Shepard, I give you Object Row. You have the Reaper artifact just sitting here? Out in the open? When we found it, it showed me a vision of the Reaper's arrival. Kenson, this is not good. Give it a moment, Shepard. It'll give you the proof you need. I can't let you start the project, Shepard. I can't let you stop the arrival.
Struggle if you wish. Your mind will be mine. Shepard alive. Like Shepard was waking up a moment ago. But it could be a glitch in the system. system. <clears throat> no glitch. The sedatives aren't working. Destroyed. 
Tell me where to find Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson is traveling to the reactor core module. An ESO core meltdown should do it. Because of you, everyone on this rock will be obliterated. Not if I get to you first. Don't try to stop me, Shepard. I have to do this. I've already activated the project. We can still escape this rock. There is no escape. There's no redemption for what you've done. I will die, never having seen the Reaper's blessings. And you will just die. Damn it, Kenson. Stabilize the reactor core. All automatic safety protocols have been overridden. To stabilize the reactor core, manually insert cooling rod A from this control station. Manually insert cooling rod B from control station B. Doing so will stabilize the reactor core. Cooling rod A reinserted. Reactor cooling process. Step away from the reactor. You've ruined everything. I can't hear the whispers anymore. Turn around. Now! You've taken them away from me. I will never see the Reaper's arrival. All you had to do was... escape shuttle. Take the lift from this room to the external access. From there, proceed to the communications tower. The remaining escape shuttles will be located on the tower's landing pad. I have to get to that comm tower and take a shuttle. It's my only chance. External comm channel open. Shepard to Normandy. Joker, do you read me?
Shepard. You have become an annoyance. You fight against inevitability, dust struggling against cosmic winds. This seems a victory to you, a star system sacrificed. But even now, your greatest civilizations are doomed to fall. Your leaders will beg to serve us. Maybe you're right. Maybe we can't win this. But we'll fight you regardless. Just like we did Sovereign. Just like I'm doing now. However insignificant we might be. We will fight. We will sacrifice. And we will find a way. That's what humans do. Know this as you die in vain. Your time will come. Your species will fall. Prepare yourselves for the arrival. Shepard, Normandy, inbound for pickup. Roger that. Get us out of here, Joker. Huh. Looks like you've recovered. Admiral Hackett. Sounds like you went through hell down there. How are you feeling? Fine. No more visions, if that's what you mean. I wasn't expecting to see you here. You went out there as a favor to me. I decided to debrief you in person. That was before the mass relay exploded and destroyed an entire Batarian system. What the hell happened out there, Commander? Have you received any intel about what happened? All I know is I sent you out there to break Amanda Kenson out of prison. And now an entire system is destroyed. I hope you could fill in the leap of logic between those two events. I confirmed Dr. Kenson's proof. The Reapers were coming, and destroying that relay was the only way to stop them. Kenson sedated me for almost two days. I started the engines with little more than an hour left. I tried to warn the Batarian colony, but... time ran out. The Batarians report no survivors from Aratat. At least you tried. And you believe the Reaper invasion really was a threat? No doubt about it. We literally had minutes to spare. I'm sure all the details are in your report. I won't lie to you, Shepard. The Batarians will want blood, and there's just enough evidence for a witch hunt. And we don't want war with the Batarians, not with the Reapers at the galaxy's edge. What are you saying? You did what you did for the best of reasons, but there were more than 300,000 Batarians in that system, all dead. They died to save trillions of lives. If I could have saved them, you bet your ass I would have. You're preaching to the choir, Commander. If it were up to me, I'd give you a damn medal. Unfortunately, not everyone will see it that way. So what do you suggest? 
Evidence against you is shoddy at best. But at some point, you'll have to go to Earth and face the music. I can't stop it, but I can and will make them fight for it. I didn't expect to see you aboard a Cerberus vessel. I don't like Cerberus or the way they do things. But they brought you back to life, and they're actually doing something about the state of the galaxy. Besides, I'm not so sure this is a Cerberus ship anymore. Right? Is the Alliance concerned about the Batarians' response to this incident? Very. The Batarians have been looking for an excuse to wage war on us since we showed up in the galaxy. If the Reapers invade, we need the galaxy to work together. If we're at war with the Batarians, the other races will be hesitant to give aid to either side. Is the Alliance prepared for a Reaper invasion? That's hard to say. It took multiple fleets and the Destiny Ascension to bring Sovereign down, and that was just one Reaper. If the Reapers come in force, we're just not ready. I'll gladly stand trial once this mission is done. Glad to see working with Cerberus hasn't stripped away your sense of honor. Do whatever you have to do out here. But when Earth calls, you make sure you're there with your dress blues on, ready to take the hit. In the meantime, you keep this. I don't need to see a report to know you did the right thing. Yes, sir. You've done a hell of a thing, Commander.